Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and I am definitely not late. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Man, I can never get this right. <laughs> but anyway, you guys are joining me for some more Retro Roulette. It has been a while, and you know what? I figured, um, we just beat Dark Souls and Shin Megami Tensei 5 on here. How about instead of playing that uh, brand new Zelda thing that everybody else in the world seems to be playing because I don't have any money, man. We're going to be playing, <clears throat> like, the entire library of the Nintendo Entertainment System as well as the Famicom Disk System all randomly today. <clears throat> so, um, there has been a lot that has actually changed on my uh, NES Classic and I'm going to show you guys some of that today. So I did take off a lot of stuff that's... I'm gonna at least tell you the bad news first. Took a ton of stuff off, and uh, this is the main um, lineup of the games, by the way. Um, so I guess I'll just scroll through this really quickly. Uh, the stuff that I took off was the Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Reason being, I um, converted them all into CIA files, which is something that you can install on your um, 3DS if it has homebrew software. Hopefully our audio is okay as well. I'm not really seeing immediate problems with it, but we never know. I remember uh, Game Boy titles were especially loud, so hopefully this will level that out. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I took Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color off and installed them as CIA files on my 3DS, um, so that's where they live now. Um, only some of my save files actually uh, were able to convert. It, I spent way too much time, time trying to get... Uh, Advance was actually easy. It was um, Game Boy and Game Boy Color, that was really difficult. And the reason being, um, the software you're technically running on this uh, NES Classic when you mod it is RetroArch, and RetroArch does some really stupid stuff with um, converting its save files. It works perfectly if you never leave RetroArch, but if you try and move it to real software, or hardware, I'm sorry, it, it gets really screwy really fast. So, that stinks. Anyway, uh, if you're curious, these little blue dots under these guys are basically just save states I had. I'm not even sure how far I was in some of these, but uh, some I might have just booted to make sure that they function. Something as simple as that. But uh, others, you know, um, if, if they have more of them down there, I might have beat them on here. I don't think I beat Mario 3 on here. That's probably just Zack messing around. Uh, in five minutes? What am I? Eight? Two? Sheesh. <laughs> I, I started going really, really far in that one. Anyway, um, so those are missing. However, I added much, much more. I know there's less things we can see on here as options, but there are quite a bit more to play. First of all, aside from the rest of the NES library, and I mean like close to, there is a ton of NES games I have on here. There are a ton of uh, Famicom games. Like, Famicom Disk System exclusive stuff. Oh, I say a ton, but I'm thinking of um, the Super Nintendo. I have a ton more on there. This, there's very few that I could even get to function, and there's so many I just can't even find. Like, these files are, like, lost to the internet, it seems. These are, like, probably the four biggest ones that I would want on here. This was actually, if you're curious what this is, this was a almost uh, a recent thing. I think just, like, a couple, maybe not months ago. It might have been uh, not quite that recent, but... Within the past year, at least for sure. Uh, this game recently got translated by fans and patched, and it's apparently the originator of the uh, the dating sim, I think? It's really weird. So there's that. We might randomly hit that one today. I basically just popped it open to make sure that it functioned because the Famicom disk system is really screwy with how it loads stuff. Um, but anyway, the Famicom Metroid. Um, this is Mysterious Murasame Castle. And it was the biggest pain to get functioning on here. So I actually made a hard locked state on here. So you can actually begin the game from the beginning. And don't have to worry about flipping discs. Because that's very, very hard on emulator. Um, Super Mario Bros. 2. Looks like I just booted it on here. I played it on Switch, I think. And this I was actually just playing the other day. Um, 15 minutes, but I'm at the save screen. I guess I manually saved for some reason. But anyway, this is the original Legend of Zelda. It was actually a Famicom Disk System game and was ported to the NES. That's why they had to put a battery pack in that. And look at this, guys. I have an NES Hacks folder. And we can randomly hit any of these as well. I'm actually really excited to play this one, Metroid Rogue Dawn. This is a full um, mod, just a mod, of the original um, Metroid game. I was looking for one where somebody updated it a little bit, just gave you some better features, like let you shoot down, um, you know, little things like that, you know, just like quality of life things, maybe add a map, it's just stuff like, let me still play the original game, 
that's not Zero Mission. I just want to play the original game, but like, fix it up for me a little bit. And this is not that. This is like a whole new game somebody made just by modding the original files of the original Metroid game. It's wild, and I actually played some of it. That's what this is here, I'm about 15 minutes into it, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, it's crazy. If we randomly land on that one, that'd be pretty sweet. RNG Glaceon, welcome to the stream. It's gonna be a fine evening program. Evening! At over uh, where I'm at, it is uh, 11 in the morning. So, but still, I will be doing this for quite a while. I, I like streaming, like, once a week, but they are long streams. Came back from my pogo stroll just now. Wanted to catch some fennekin. Now I'll warm up dinner watching stream. Fennekins? There's some sort of fennekin event going on I'm not aware of. I don't really pay attention to pogo events anymore. I, I've been so... I dropped out of that game hard. Um, this, I'm not even sure about this yet. Actually, Zach, I think, gave me this. Um, I think it's a mod of Mario 3 called The Lost Levels. I guess someone just added a bunch of new levels to Mario 3. And, oh yeah, there's like, the worlds are all different too, so that's fun. This was like a famous thing back in, um, the day for me. I remember seeing people play this on YouTube, like in 07. And, um, it's a hack of the original Mario Brothers, except it is made to be impossibly hard. I actually thought originally that this was, um, Mario Lost Levels, um, but no, it is specifically titled Super Mario Forever, and it's awful. It is awful. It will be unbearable if that's what I land on. So, we're gonna start doing our wheel spinny spins. Wish I could spin it, speed it up a little bit, but, uh, some of the, uh, some of my settings got screwed up. Um, oh, it's cropping off a little bit there, but it says the Battle of Olympus. What did it say? Shoot, well, I gotta scroll and see that. I'm gonna, who's, wh where? Mm, the Battle of Olympus is actually all it says, so I'm assuming that's an NES game. I've not even got a chance to play all of these on here, because uh, luckily it is in this folder, the one I didn't show you yet. There's a ton of them. A Fennekin Community Day. Oh, cool. I've been uh, distraught by the evolution Pogo is going through at the moment, but I definitely wanted Shiny Braxton. Yeah, I'm really um, disappointed with um, Niantic and what they've done to that game, because it was such a... I'll make a video. Actually, I was even thinking of making up my next Pokemon review, though I really want to do Red and Blue. I was thinking of actually reviewing um, Battle of Olympus. Here we go. Yep, so I'm not even familiar with this one. Um, anyway, I was really disappointed. I'll put my timer on as well now that we've booted the game. The Battle of Olympus. Let me know how the audio sounds. But yeah, I, I was like really falling out of what they were doing. Just Hmm. Like I said, I will review it. Uh, I don't want to review one series twice in one season of playing with myself, so... Um, might not be this one. I'm still thinking I'm probably gonna do, um... The font was actually really nice. Hmm. Let's do Hamster and Bomb. It kind of stinks when I have to blow my time like this, but I'll go quick. How many characters are you gonna give me? Yeah, I thought so. I can't even go back? Let me go back! Oh my hamsty! <laughs> it won't even let me go back. Can I not? No. Start hits takes you to zero, and I, I can't go back after this point. <laughs> that sucks. All right, hamsty. We're living with it, I guess. Hamsty and bomb. All right. Well, sure. This is where um manuals come in handy. Oh, this game. Yeah, yeah, it's like this uh, Zelda 2 clone, but it's not really a clone. I don't remember if this one actually came first. I don't think it did. But it's it's obviously like another Zelda 2 game. I saw somebody, watch somebody play this for the longest time. Inside the cave, there may be an invisible door. Noted. Hope you guys can uh, hear okay. Like, between me and the, the game's volume, because for me the game's quite loud, but it happens. Hey, sir. Heard that there is something hidden in hive in the trees. Actually, I think I'll be becoming a uh, patri patriot, a uh, Patreon. I mean, just to influence playing with myself reviews and, of course, to support you. I would very much appreciate it. I tried making. Oh! Whoa! What? 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 I assume that's how you pick up items. Excuse me? Okay, so a, a hidden door in the tree or something. Probably that right side. Uh, this way leads to Ar Argolos, but with the power you have now, you better not go there. I'm gonna try. 
No. You got a spear on your head, and I see you. Oh my god. How am I supposed to fight you? Oh my god, slimes are the worst. Oh, and he's gone. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, come on! No. No, you stupid bear! <laughs> I shouldn't have gone here. I should not. No! Ah, oh, I should have attacked. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can't even jump as high as I can in Zelda 2. Ah! Wow. Okay. Wow. I think I was watching somebody speedrun this. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. I don't remember, but I, I know this is actually my only option? Good, I can't keep going. I was gonna say, you don't, don't tell me to just like progress. Like they're like, oh, this area is too dangerous. You can't go there yet. And it's the only way forward. Good. Uh, do I have like, yeah, I do. I kind of have like an inventory. I don't know what that is. I guess that's my club I'm fighting with right now. Ah! Slimes. Oh, is that health? No, I don't know what that is. This way leads to Argolos, the power you have now, you better not go there. Okay, okay. Whoa! Oh! Up! Oh, I can't mash faster. Oh my god! That might be health, I don't know. Good. Maybe I gotta run under them or just try and jump over them. They're not worth fighting. Forget the slimes. What now, old lady? Ah, uh, the oracle is speaking of a person. The first heart is the proof of his courage. The second heart is the power to undo the barrier. The second heart is the start of the ordeal. Yeah, that makes sense. This very much is feeling like Zelda 2 now. Very confusing. Huh. Okay, I can run under them if I just book it. And <laughs> This might be... Are you the oracle? I heard that the staff of Fennel is in Attica. Okay. I guess that's your life. You just stand there to tell whoever comes into your tree. The staff of Fennel is in Attica. Yeah, this is the way to do it. Don't even deal with them. Why'd they make enemies you can't fight? It's like I was just complaining about Zelda, or I'm sorry, not Zelda, uh, Metroid 1. Like, why'd you make all these enemies that are just under my beam and I can't hit them? Uh, the pet, pet, Peloponnesus, the power to jump and control fire will be necessary. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, fine. We are not doing well there, but hey, um, I tried it. I can now say that I actually tried it. I think there's um an option in here for me to tell us to go faster, but I can't do it while it's spinning. It, mi it might just look a little weird for the moment. We're just gonna have to remember... Crystallis. Okay, we actually did play this one before. Um, you might see this. Volume, I don't need any of the volume. Uh, spin time! One second. Thank you. Um, okay. So now, just to see that it does this, and I've done crystals. Good, it works! Okay. Let's do that instead. Sure. I told it to do it. I'll do double dragon. Which I think I actually had to add in here. For some reason. We should get to the D. There's a lot of new stuff, if you're, you're seeing, paying attention here. Like these, man! I know I just beat, um, Smut 5, but, uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Oh, Double Dragon, I can actually continue from somewhere. Oh, I think I just beat, um, what's his face? Yeah, we're in Mission 2. Sure. Oh, wait. Um, timer. There we go. Whoa! Oh my god. Gotta remember the controls. Okay, so that's kick. Ah, whoa! whoa. Punch. Punch and kick. Okay. It's like the original, um, ah, Streets of Rage kind of thing. Alright, give me, give me, I don't know what this is, but I want it. Oh my god, stop punching me in the face! Oh! There was a way to jump. I know that, yeah, that's it. The jump is busted in this game. Okay, there, there. Boom. Jump kick, boom! These guys have a ton of health! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> And there goes that uh, big, what is that, B a BLT. I'm gonna say it says BLT. Boing, boing, boing. Now pick us up. Come on. Pick it up, pick it up. No, nothing happens. Yeah! What you chuck at me? 
I don't think I've ever gotten this far in Double Dragon, by the way. Nice, you can just knock him off the edge. Oh, I can climb on this? Did I take damage from that? I don't know what happened. I guess this is just the- Oh my god, he's got a bat. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Yes! Now it's feeling a little River City Ransom here. Okay. Now, is it hurt to go down that way? I can't- can't continue to climb. No, it doesn't hurt. Okay. What's the guy's name? Obobo? The boss dude that you always have to fight? Ow! No! Oh, is that it already? Oh! Now there's checkpoints. I don't see, uh, do we have lives anywhere? Good. Come on, get up, get up. Good. Grab. Good thing he just drops this instantly. I mean, you kick him in the face, but... Oh, you can! Don't... Oh, come on! <laughs> no, that was lives. P0 now. I have no lives left. Oh, come on! Kick in the face. Grab this. Get ready to bat. Alright, so... That is so unfair. So you can't climb down. And I did. I did take damage for doing that. Is that like a headbutt? I had like a unique animation there, if you saw it. Now, one of you guys had a grenade or something. Molotov cocktail. I mean, it's probably more fitting with the theme. Okay, good, good. He's down. Ah! Oh my god! It's using my tactic. No, stop it. Both of you. Stay down. Oh my god. I don't even know how far I was in crystals. Oh, a whip. Oh, of course, the women have the whips. That's that's so appropriate, guys. And now I'm just whipping them with the... I don't really remember the story of Double Dragon. I just know that there you are and you're just gonna go try and kill people. If there really was much intent on story. This is so much easier. Just whipping the women. Oh, what are, what are you doing? We go okay, okay, you're coming down. Okay. Whip, whip, whip. Oh boy, my score is going up. It was really like the point of these older games too, just to get a higher score, but um... Any more um, people going back to play these are more than likely just interested in clearing the game the one time, not so much getting a number to go up, but that's what games were. Okay, I hear the musics. Okay, here's gonna be our tactic. I think this is actually the boss. Oh, 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 won't you punch me in my nuggets? Okay, good. Boom. Gotta get him, like, before he can even attack. Is that his... Ow, ow, oh, right in my tuckus. Mm. Is that his HP at the bottom? Increasing. Oh, oh, oh. He hurts so bad. Oh. Or, or she. We don't know. He, she, it could be just not wearing a shirt. No, no. Good. What is your health? Good! Yeah! Hey look, we did it. That's actually a great point to put one of these down. We're at 15 seconds anyway. Cool. A beat up mission in Double Dragon. Whew! Alright. Oh god. Timer up? Yeah, 8-2. Okay. It's already on. 8-2 is such a long level. Ah, oh, no! Oh, it's already not worth it. I'm noticing the audio is off sync. I didn't notice it before. But it's obviously very important in a platformer. Please keep coming. Alright, I gotta get that. I wonder how to fix that. Faminator! <laughs> oh, thought I had enough speed. And now I don't have a power up. But still, I mean, we had that safe state where it was. Oh, that was nifty. Boom. Okay. You gotta get rid of that lock you right away. I could have sworn that was a power up in there. I, I check every time. This, uh, this, I actually think that Bowser's castle is easier than this level. I think that the next one's easier than this level. This might be the hardest level in the game. Gotta keep momentum. It helps a lot. 
Because this level is extremely long. I was trying to clip that one, keep running. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh my god. Okay. It's actually probably because of this level in particular that I had so much trouble beating this game as a kid. That's why when I made my review, but we have to get this every time. That way we're not actually losing lives. <laughs> like that. Oh. Oh. And then it's, it's when you rush and get impatient that you have troubles. I love doing that jump, like the jump up on the paratrooper. Can you tell that I've played this a lot? I gotta figure out how to fix my um, audio sync though. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Mm. Ah! Whoa! <sighs> I pushed it, man. Faminator, I am doing okay. I'm doing okay. I've had some horrible allergy problems lately. Like, I actually had to go to my doctor for it. Get, um, antibiotics. All that. Which I am um, taking. Even some steroids to try and, like, keep it down. Because the inflammation was ridiculous. Um, I was getting allergic conjunctivitis every night. And I couldn't sleep because I couldn't see. <laughs> well, back at um, this again. Ah, there you go. That's what you gotta do. Come on, little jump man. That could have been bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was inside of his sprite. Did you see that? Woo! All right. All right. All right. Pollen allergy. I'm allergic to the spring. Just in general. You know what? Just because I'm just gonna sunk that into there. Between levels are kind of where I like putting these. Also, this level sucks. <laughs> and I don't know um, how far away the 1-Up Mushroom is. I know where it is, but... Ah! Oh, damn. I did not want that to happen. Oh, good. Mmm. It's one of the uh, castles. The top right pick... Uh, or maybe top left um, doesn't quite look right. Yes! Locked out there. Um, whoa! Whoa! Watch out. Ah! Oh, oh, there it is. No, it's just coins. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Hey, oh! Boom. Boom. Gonna beat Mario 1. <laughs> I'm telling you, 8 2 is the problem. Even though I was like, I had footage uh, playing up to this point. I actually think in my original Ocarina Hero video. Let me turn my game down a little bit. I think it's down. Down, 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 down. Good. All right. So, in my original Ocarina Hero video, I could have sworn I actually had footage of um, 8-4. And um, it was part of the joke. Like, I can't get there. Because oh, it was like a tiniest bit of footage and it wasn't worth it. Because I just died like... Probably like that. You know, something stupid. And um, actually, why did that kill me? I must have clipped it at the side of him. But so, I'm actually... I want to see that, um, that one Koopa playback again. That's what I was trying to do. I think you can make this as a running jump, but I don't want to test it. Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. There is a fake block there. And then you go in this pipe. This is the one with the cheap cheeps? Yep. Alright, so from here, I think you take this one. Now I'm underwater. Yep. Oh my god, come on, I'm gonna do it. I'm out of time though. But granted, uh, a little bit of my fault. I did um, save state between these and I really didn't need to. So, I want to see this through. Just be safe and walk. I don't think bloopers can ever get to the bottom floor of that. Alright, this is it. So, all standing between us is a hammer, bro. Oh my god. I hate you. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, I'll not save that. We already had one saved there, so... Brrr. Ninja Gaiden 3, the Ancient Ship of Doom. The text is a little big there. But at least I can read it. It's all that matters. 
I kind of wish it would like stay on there so you can see what it was, but at least you can see whatever um, is, is happening on the spinning wheel. I'm not making it up. Welcome, G. Welsh. Happy Sunday. Your stream wasn't showing on my sub, so I just now stumbled across it. D I don't understand what is wrong with YouTube, man. Oh, I see. It's way over here. Ninja Gaiden 3. I did beat this on here. So if you're curious, I could, like, jump you into the final boss. Um, I think this is actually the final boss. <sighs> you know what? Here, hold on, hold on. I gotta do this now before I... Okay, let's go. I'm gonna show you the final boss in Ninja Gaiden 3. There's probably no way I'm gonna do this. Okay, come on. Ah, that, how'd that clip me? Mmm. Shoot. Oh! Oh. Oh, right, right, right. My HP is gonna stay the same. So, yeah, now I'm thrown all the way back at the beginning of the stage. Isn't that cruel? That's just messed up. Hit. And you really can't waste so much time here. I should be going a lot faster. It's the pumpkin head guys with... Yeah. Do I have a... Okay, I actually had a shuriken, but... Come on, I gotta kill you. Whatever, we're here. Oh my god. See, there's no way. Like, do you see my health already? Oh my god. Oh, these things are horrible. Um, I'm gonna die just getting there. I uh, believe you have to hit the notification bell. I don't know how, like, YouTube keeps telling me, like, oh, well, you just gotta tell your subscribers to watch your stuff. Like, no, that's not how it works, man. They don't see my stuff. I swear. Done. Hey, you know what? Let's just uh, do a fresh install, or a fresh replay. Or I get to show you another one of the final bosses. This is, um, the guy you have to fight beforehand. Oh! Actually, just uh, saved here. Whatever. You wanna see a cutscene? Finally. Yeah, this game's so hard. Hey, what's this? This is probably in English the hardest of the three. Oh, sorry. Seizure warning. Don't look at the screen for a moment. Epileptic fits. There you go. Oh, it just sends us into this. I didn't realize I had uh, effectively two. Um, I mean, I know I beat this at one point because. Dang it! Did I take damage from that? I took damage from that! I'm taking two for shot! Yeah. He does two per hit! Uh... People, I have no time to beat one game. Hamster. Amateurs! <laughs> Plays literally everything ever. I'm just gonna keep loading this one, I guess. I'll try and beat this for you. I mean... If I had the, um... Shoot. If I had the funds, man, I'd be playing uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for you. Let's it's be safe. We need to be safe. Actually, what's my special right now? I don't have any Ninpo. That, that does it. That does it. Whoa! Trying to be safe and sorry. Okay. I can, like, correct my jumps a little bit midair. Oh, my God. That was so close. Dude, what's your health? Oh, that was not- that was not even the health. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I don't even remember that phase. Oh, <sighs> This is ridiculous. I did beat this. I showed a picture of it in my video. Did you ever play Scarlet and Violet? Uh, no. Once again, I don't have the money, man. I would- I would totally play it with you guys if, um, someone was willing to donate the game. If not the funds for me to pick the game up. Same for Zelda. I would really love to play Zelda. Got to play a little bit with Zack. Ah! Shoot, saw that coming from a mile away. One shot left already. Worst part is I don't even know what the HP of this thing is. It's just a lot. But I blew it up. It didn't matter, I died. Oh. And then I forget to show my subscriptions when I'm subscribed, I see others. I swear, there's something wrong with this channel. Like, YouTube just refuses to do anything about it, too. Uh, I, though, maybe it's the first game. You can, like, mash down and attack, and you can attack faster. 
Oh, that came out way too quick. Oh, crap. We're dead. I beat this at one point. I did. But if you're curious, I'll just, since we only have like 30 seconds left, I'm just gonna do a fresh boot. Oh yeah, this is the in-between quill, if you remember my Ninja Gaiden review I did. Um, this is the one where, uh, story-wise, it happens after the first game, but before two. <laughs> so, if you'd played Ninja Gaiden 2, you should already know that Irene can't die here. And I'll just let the cutscene play out. Even though I don't think it's quite as good as the ones we have in the first. Because that run is just like that, you know? Maybe anyway, yeah, I was serious. She's over a giant ravine. What's wrong? Don't you understand this is the end for you? Ryu, what are you doing? Ha ha ha. No one has seen what's going on. There, can't live to tell about it. Obviously the real Ryu. This, this one's story is just bonkers. <laughs> oh, she just falls over. I could have sworn he, like, attacked her. Chopped her off. Maybe a slight mistake in my video. But yeah, deceased killed in mission. Oh well. We're out of here. Spin that wheel. We got Metroid. And it just says Metroid. Um, not uh, the Famicom version. So I'm going to honor that and I will play Metroid. Um, uh, that passed it, passed it. Hey, look, I haven't even booted it on here, so here we go. DK Renegade, welcome to the stream. I just randomly got handed Metroid, and look at me, I didn't even turn on a new timer. Let's go. All right, let's see how far I can get in Metroid. Oh, shoot, you know what I should have done was, um, can't you input, like, a password to tell it, um, well, uh, let's just play traditional Metroid. I was gonna say, you, you can start in all sorts of forms. Um, but... Eh. I, um, actually was practicing quite a bit of this, so that I could, um, actually 100%, like, not 100%, get, like, the good ending, the best ending, rather. I gotta fill up our energy tanks. And I had never actually done it before, believe it or not. For as many, uh, old games you see me play. So I actually, uh, practiced, I got pretty good at, um, some new tricks. One of his uh, screen wrapping. I could do it here, but I don't want to go down and fight Kraid. We need a little bit more than this pea shooter. Um. Uh. Mm, yeah, you got to screeze and zoomers. You know, I, I think I just made a joke about this, wasn't it? What, what did I review last? Um. Oh, Link Between Worlds. Yeah, yeah. Um. I was like, what if Samus has to start? with all of her equipment, but she has to grind it all by shooting pe like zoomers and screes. There we go. Not nearly worth it, but oh well. Um, I think we wanna go up. But anyway, you could do like uh, screen wrapping by jumping into a door as it's closing. Um, and then just like repeatedly jumping. People can do some crazy stuff with this online that I cannot replicate. I swear I tried. Um, even with save states and all, I just can't do it. Because I considered even like trying to learn how to speedrun this game. But it's it's so janky, man. I can't. I don't think I can make that jump. There. I think that's the door we want. Uh, from here, we might want to go down. It's been a while. Look at this pea shooter. It stinks. Or no, 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 don't we want to go over directly? Ah! Maybe we did want to fall down. I think you do. Just take damage. I think this is the actual door we want. Uh, there should be a missile pack that we're looking for. It's usually the first thing you want to get. So you can, you know, open doors with goodies. Come on, come on. I at least want to get to this in five minutes. Yeah, there you go, okay. Oh, good, hey. Healing station, effectively. Though what you could do is what I just did and um, leave that there. There. And that way they can't keep respawning. There can only be so many sprites on screen at once. I believe we did actually go the correct direction. Should be right here. Good. Whoa! Um... I don't think we want to go further to the right. That'll take us to Ridley's Lair. We don't want that. We are absolutely not prepared for that. 
Give me up. Yep, good. Mm, can't take it. Shoot. Forgot to squeeze blow up. Ah! Oh! My gosh. Oh. Yeah, the people saying they don't have time to finish all these games. Well, just play something else, man. Like, um, in real time with save states and everything, you can beat the Ninja Gaiden games in like an hour. For your first time, too. Um, and I'm not exaggerating or anything. I think I actually beat, uh, what was up? This is this where you get like long beam or morph ball bombs or something? But if it's morph ball bombs, we absolutely need that to progress. So yeah, what all did I use? Oh, so I actually did another trick uh, in this game to uh, beat it in under one hour, I think is your requirement, which is nuts. Um, and uh, it involves luring an enemy into the final room. Ah, that is the goodie we want. The door, I guess. Woo! And using the ice beam to freeze it in place. So that way you can use it as a platform. Oh my god, we are not... Maybe there's an energy tank in this room. This room looks very familiar. Uh, yeah, this is, um... Something we can't do yet. We need the bombs. Anyway, yeah, you freeze an enemy in place, uh, allowing you to bypass the bridge. It's really hard to get it to happen, so don't even, like, attempt it unless you're doing save states or something, or if you practice it a lot, but... Just trying to bounce off stuff so I'm safe. Not enemies, preferably. But anyway, yeah, it's it's tough. You freeze it, and that way you actually don't even have to go fight Ridley, which is um, a huge part of this game. Takes a ton of time to go find and fight Ridley. Ah! So being able to bypass that's incredible. All right, looks like I'm out of time. I'm gonna try and just get to this door up here. At least get that pickup. Uh, I don't think it's this. I don't think it's this. Oh well, it's something. All right, whatever. We'll we'll pick up whatever this is. It's probably long beam. It's a skippable one, I think. Cool. You can actually trigger those guys to jump, because they jump when you jump. By the way, if you're ever having trouble with them. If anybody actually goes back to play these, I swear, they're good. They're good. I ripped on these games a lot when I was reviewing them, but I, I promise, they're actually really good. Alright. What do we win? Yep. Long beam. It's something. And the sound effect changes. You know, if you actually play on the Famicom version, which is why I was saying we'll honor what it tells me, you, um... Yeah, this is gonna help a ton. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's odd. Kinda wanted to show you, like, the screen wrapping and all that, but, uh... For the sake of moving on, I will not play Metroid forever. You know, Metroid, um, is probably the only series I re or the video I reviewed. Alright, it really wanted me to go back and play Crystallis. I will honor it. I will do it. Um, Metroid's the only video I did where I actually regret how I wrote the episode. This is gonna sound weird, but I, I think I gave my script to the wrong persona. Um, Hamster should have had Bomb's script, and Bomb should have had Hamster's script. It's a little messed up. Um... And the reason I say that is because, uh, what Hamster keeps saying sounds like stuff that, um, where is it? Here it is. And we were somewhere. And what, um, Bomb keeps saying sounds like stuff that, uh, uh, Hamster should have said. Use your power to open the way. Oh, alright. I think we tried this before and I was like, what, what's my power, man? Well, I have nothing equipped, so that's important. Um... Okay, well, I can't push anything. Did I not get the starting sword and shield? I'm pretty sure you get a starting sword and shield, and I'm not sure where it is, but... I can tell you it's definitely not in that cave. Kind of hard to play the game when you can't actually attack or do anything. Let's try and find the opening town. Wherever it was. Yeah, it's kind of like the object of the game. 
And I can't do it. Because uh, I guess I was impatient, didn't talk to enough people. Now, ah, here we go. Alright, who wants to give me a sword and shield? You talk to people by walking into them and then you push a button to make it go away. Zebu says he's having a hard time with the windmill guard. Ah, I forgot to put my timer on. Serves me right. <clears throat> so he's sleeping. That's good for him. Um, okay. You know, I could actually go for a heal too. I took some damage out there, looks like. So, if you remember this game, I believe we like awoke in this weird like time capsule thing. But we're like in a medieval-ish kind of world, like a village, an inn. Need a rest? Please stay, it will cost you. Well, how much cash do I have? Oh, not that much money. Wait, no, I, I do, but we really need weapons. I would rather have weapons over health. Who cares about health if I can't you know, do anything? When here's always cold, we'll get used to it. How about the shield? Maybe that's an armor. Armor shop, well, how much does it cost? Can't afford it, and I could get a carapace shield, but it would cost all of my money. Okay, where's the actual swords? The shop, or the tool shop. What do you want to buy? Sure, let me look. Uh, medicinal herb, antidote, warp boots, and an alarm flute. Huh. Is it really just like a generic shop? But there's no... Please be careful, our destiny is in your hands. I can't do anything if you don't give me a sword! There's an old windmill to the north, but I've never seen it working. Alright, so a lot of people are talking about this windmill. It's probably going to be the first place we got to go. Uh, I went in there. Um, I think I went in every every place. How do I talk to every character? Because... Yeah, I think we have. I need a uh, Crystallis Pro. This uh, village of Leaf, there are great dangers outside of town. Please be careful. Did you visit the Elder's house yet? Did I? So, here's my thought. We got the money. We're here. Let's get the shield. I know it seems kind of dumb, but I need something. Purchase a carapace shield. No, please come again. All right, with that, I can now... What the heck? Do I have it? What's going on? <laughs> Alright, how do I equip stuff? There. Okay. Sword. Now using Sword of Wind. It was, um, select on the main screen, not minus. Okay. I had it already. Oh, save. Which doesn't even kick me out. There. Oh my god. Now we got a sword and shield. Okay. Oh, we can... Wow, you can rapid fire that. Oh, game changed, man. Good. Oh, so much better. Stupid cat man. Look at that. Frame one attacking. Boom. They told me to go to the north before. Let's investigate this windmill. No, no slimes. By the way, have you thought about streaming on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time? I used to do it. Um, problem was, I had to load up multiple, uh, chat logs at the same time. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but... Man, we run fast. Oh, a dead guy. No, he's just sleeping. We gonna wake him up? No. But anyway, yeah, I, I used to do that. Um, it just kind of became a pain. It would slow my computer down. Um, the, the stream, uh, would, uh, lag a little bit more. But my internet's better now, so who, who knows? It might actually work better. Okay, so yeah, they're right. It doesn't work. Nothing I can seem to do about it. Oh, well. Hmm. Maybe there's something I gotta give this guy. But I, I don't really seem to have an option. Hmm. Well, I don't back. <clears throat> I'm glad I finally got this game in a working condition. I love this, you can actually attack as you're walking. You can't even do that in like Link to the Past. Super Nintendo games. More cash, please. I see, I am instinctively stopped too. All right, Catman. Yo. It's pretty good. 
No! We can't die, come on, somebody drop health, is that a thing? They're all drop, oh. That's clearly something you blow up. Which is actually more generous than uh, Zelda 1. Zelda 1 didn't even allow you the privilege of knowing which things are gonna burn or blow up. There's that cave again. Personally, I prefer watching live streams on Twitch, but I don't mind either way. Yeah, I, I should probably um, get back into that. Um, thing is, it's gonna take me um, a little bit of time to get it working again. Use your power to open the way. Yeah, that power, huh? Wait. So you saw that force thing that pops up? I don't know what that means. Whoa. What did I just do? Hold A and B at the same time, then let go and nothing happens. Thought for sure that was gonna be it. Well, now I know I have that ability. Cool. You can charge a beam shot. Boom! I don't see what that does me, but okay. Anyway, I wanna, I wanna lay a cat man to waste with this thing. Boom! Oh, what's the point? I guess I can attack from a distance and that's it. Well, after all that grinding, we only got 27 gold and it's time to go back to the village, I guess, so. Because we're gonna die otherwise. I think we need like 16. All right, well, I'll go pay to heal at the end and um, we'll be on our uh, way scrolling a brand new game. How do you feel? Please come again. Oh, I was gonna say, I didn't heal. Screw that! No, I did. It just didn't heal until I left the conversation. All right. Wheel of spinning things. Tecmo Bowl. For some reason, this was actually included on the original. No worries, hope that it might uh, help you get more exposure. Eh, that was the thought before, and um, I don't think it ever helped. Uh, sh I'll just be from scratch, who cares. Anyway, Tecmo Bowl. So, this is actually a football game. But what's interesting, and I have no... Dude, dude I don't know anything about sports. Um, uh, pff, I've been to Miami. I'm just at least looking at, like, places I've been at least. Sure. Whatever. And it looks like we're gonna play against, um... Oh, Minnesota. Probably one of the only places um, on Earth that might be worse than Ohio, but don't tell them that. Is that me or them? Uh, okay. Well, I'm running. Actually, for any ass, this looks really good. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I gotta pick one of these to do? Sure, why not that one? I don't know. Even with audio like that, it's pretty sweet. Mmm. Going for the run. And I'm down. Oh, yeah, my timer's going. <laughs> I am... I don't know what I'm doing. There's gonna be a way to throw. Okay, so... Oh! 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 Can he go all the way? No! Um, oh! So, let's do this one where I make the run for it. Make sure everyone's accounted for. Oh! Ah, it didn't work so well. This is actually, like, pretty well done. I mean, they have cheese, though. Minnesota? <laughs> Apparently, they're pretty good at football, too. Or at least, they're just better than me. I mean, granted, I, 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 it's still... Whoa! We lost some yards, I think. Let's do this again. Actually, this didn't go so well for us before, but... Ah! So close to that. Cancel, field goal, or punt kick. Oh, oh, I'm on fourth down. Um, I can totally get there. I can get there. I just need, um... Hmm. I don't know what was the winning one that I did before. Hey, questionably optimistic. Looks like you changed your name. Okay, how do I know which guy to throw to? Throw to a guy! Good, good, we made it. Oh my god, did we go? Oh! Ah! That was risky. We don't have much farther to go, but I'm gonna try this again anyway. 
All right, somebody get in there. Somebody get in there. Whoa, I did a thing! Hey, look! Oh, that sprite art's so weird looking. <laughs> uh, try for point, okay. Successful try. Okay. Was I give you an extra one? I know how sport games go. That might have been too hard. You don't want to kick it into the... There. Oh, well, why didn't he just... Whoa. Oh my god, where am I? Am I even anywhere here? Wait, now I have to... Oh, now I'm selecting defense. Um... Uh... Things are just gonna happen. But what's actually really impressive, there's a lot of sprites going on screen right now. Oh, I got him. Yeah, I did that. I did that. Uh, sprite art relies heavily on your imagination. I, I don't know. It's actually like for NES, this is really nice looking. Look here, think of how many things are moving on screen at once. Like the, I don't know how it's actually pulling this off. And it has scrolling. Oh no! Well, way to go, that guy. Oh, I just found out there's a button I can push for, uh... I'm pushing random ones here, I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Whoa! Whoa, I got thrown away! Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I died. Uh, oh god, they, they, uh, they decapitated me. In the back. But yeah, that sprite, this sprite is what I was saying, that ain't great. Oh well. 30 seconds. Alright, so we're gonna watch them score a, a- Ow! What happened to my guy back there? See, he just got like, <laughs> drop kicked and flung in the air like an anime or something. Okay, so, our ball again. I'm not gonna complete an entire game of Tecmo Ball. But it's possible, we'll see. I'm gonna hide behind my goons. Oh my god! You guys suck! You ran right past him! Uh, we had luck with this. I say this, you don't know what I'm pushing. <laughs> Unless someone's actually played this and like knows what's going on. Oh, yeah! no, that can happen. Get him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're out, oh my God, I'm gonna get slaughtered. I at least wanted to end this winning, but no. Oh my God, no. We're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. Forget that. <laughs> uh, Vice Project Doom. You can actually play this one on NSO. Never had an NES. My first console was a Sega Master System. Uh, so, funny you bring that up. Um, I managed to get um, a lot of systems working on my um, 3DS. And... Um, when I'm a Sega Master System, I've also got, like, every Atari. I have Turbo Graphics. I have ColecoVision. I feel like there's too much going on at the point. I can hardly tell where the ball is. I know. It was actually really... I, oh, yeah. I know you were Mystic Flash. I'm sorry. I can tell by the icon. You haven't changed your, uh, your Narga Kuga. But, um, that, that was actually really impressive for the NES. There was a lot going on. And from what I remember... I wish you're going left instead for Vice City. There we go. Vice Project Doom, I think is what it was actually called. Um, I'm safe somewhere, but let's just boot it from scratch. I, it was only like eight minutes. Plus, I've not beaten this, so who cares? Push start button. All right, start button pushed. All right, maniac loose in area D on route 246. Take him down nice and easy. Yeah, I got him. Just what I needed. Another nutcase loose in the city. It's showtime. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. But anyway, I believe Master System's also on there. Whoa, what? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh! I'm supposed to be shooting the other cars! Oh, right, there's a nutcase loose in the city. It's not me. <laughs> you know, there's a murderer loose in the city. Don't worry. It ain't me, man. This is... What's happened? What are those? What are those? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I would love to show you my uh, 3DS. The problem is, um, I actually modded both of my 3DS. And um, one of them, I don't know if swapping SD cards would actually do this. Woo! One shot. But uh, by swapping SD cards, I might be able to show you both of them. Because I have two different um, 3DSs modded. One of them is exclusively for 3DS games, because they're huge. The other one has DS, uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. You name it, it has all the other portable stuff. Mm -hmm. There's no record of this guy, but his hands, his fingers were twisted. They weren't human, more like claws. But the artist didn't want to draw them. And that gun he carried. Also, what is that? Talk about the creeps. Christy, can you run a check on that stuff I found in the vehicle? Sure. Christy looks like a guy. Who's there? Show yourself. Uh, don't worry. Just your guardian angel. <laughs> It's okay for the it's okay for the greater good collateral damage. Yeah, and now we're actually into gameplay. So, weirdly enough, this is what the game looks like. Which well, actually it runs really well. Like you can see, I could turn after jumping. Looks like a lot of stuff will drop things too. Can't move while I'm attacking though, but that's kind of asking a lot. What are they just like monks on pogo sticks? I'm trying other buttons. Okay, so let's just jump and sword swipe. Oh my god. What is this city? Oh, I'm supposed to go down, okay. It said G, I assume that was a gun. So you have a 3DS for everything but 3DS games. Yep, I do. And my other 3DS is just for 3DS games. Thought he was gonna- Whoa! That was quick. So yeah, uh, the problem is, um, only one of those 3DS's is actually a capture card. So that's why I was saying I wish I could show you the other one. Like, we could do a retro roulette on that system. Whoa, that was close! See, it worked that time. But I would have to, um, be assured that if I- Or just try out. If I switch my SD card, what happens? Yo, a magician? Monks on pogo sticks. What is up with this? Oh my god. Am I fighting a werewolf who's chucking, like, steel beams at me? Oh my god. I can't take every hit. I took every hit. <laughs> yeah, the backdrop is parallaxing. On the, uh, the 2D sprite area. Which we're out of time as well. What's going on around here, Christy? Sorry, it's me, Sophia. Christy asked me to check out that stuff, and what I've been able to find all leads to Kim Ron. Kim Ron? Rumor has it that he practices black magic. Hmm. Or who said that? <laughs> That's the end of that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these devs must have been under the influence. Those monks on pogo sticks appear to be Jiangxi, a Chinese reanimated type of vampire. Really? I'm gonna go with, uh, <laughs> with my thought. But I'm sure you're, you're more than likely correct. Ice Climber! We've had this before on Retro Roulette. And now I can tell you once again, I hate Ice Climber. I love the Ice Climbers in Super Smash Brothers. Love them. Like, they're one of my favorite characters. Uh, Ice Climber. But, this game? I hate this game. This was actually, um, intended to be one of my next, um, Ocarina Hero videos, before I stopped, by the way. Over the top, 90s, edgy, brooding action hero. Yep, none of that here. This is Nintendo weird. Alright, we're gonna climb all the way to the top and get an eggplant from a pterodactyl. Alright. Mm. Alright, he dead. He dead. Anyway, the jumping in this is horrendous. And it's a game all about jumping. I think that's why I don't like it so much. Like, once you jump, you've actually committed direction everything. 
what you know, like an actual jump, but like you can't change a thing about it. Now we're in bonus stage. This is where it gets hard. So you want to grab these, but at the same time, you can't fall. Then the whole thing's over. So anyway, I still beat the level, but you don't get any bonus points. I get that. The reason I assume that's the way they move because the uh, mortification is advanced so far. They can only hop, and the tiny talisman on their hearts, their hats. Like, why is the go the the goon that we're playing as like worried about black magic when that can happen? You know, like, oh no, that guy practices black magic. Literally just killed monks on pogo sticks, and. Undeniable sorcerers with pumpkin heads. Another reason I was thinking Ninja Gaiden. Pumpkin head monsters. Uh, well, same area. Actually, no, it's not. I can't fall to my doom as easily. Though I almost just... Oh my god! There is a bit of a slip, like, physics to it, but... Ugh, I hate this game. I didn't even put my timer on! What am I doing? Well, my punishment. I must continue to play Ice Climber. Alright, well at least I got a hole over here. Those guys on the right will actually like repair the holes, which sucks. I tried attacking, you can't attack mid-air. So the level was just breaking um, the floor and jumping up. Yeah! That was supposed to be a bonus? Yep. Yeah, I actually beat the level. It sure looks like you failed everything, doesn't it? But no, that's not failing. Go to up. Okay. Okay, now these actually take longer. So yeah, if you've never actually seen or played Ice Climber, this is the game. Now, it was actually intended to be two-player, and I'm not exactly showcasing that. Oh, for the love of... You gotta jump on that one. Mm, okay. I'm gonna try really hard to get one of these freaking eggplants on top. Don't even be distracted by the bonuses. Just get to the top. Huh? Oh, okay, wait for the next one. Wait for the next one. Oh, oh, we're doing this. Oh! I'm telling you, these jumps controls are horrible. I have to do it from the right side. See, you can just clip through stuff. But it's okay, I'm up here. 12, 11, and then there's a time limit on top of all that. Ugh! I hate this game. Black magic, necromancy, it's all the same. Oh, you can even pause on the screen by accidentally hitting start. Stupid, stupid ice climber. That was weird. Can I actually, like, hang in the air by... Hmm. Okay, come on. I only have like one pixel window to get through. Yo! Okay. I think the icicles can also repair stuff. Stupid. Okay, go to up. Mm. It's slippery! It's horrible! I mean, it's supposed to be ice physics. That was clearly what they were going for. Huh! And then to make matters worse, in Smash Melee, they decided let's actually make a stage based on this. Pickles! Granted, the Ice Climbers were introduced in that game, so it makes sense. <laughs> mm. No! Like, what am I supposed to do? These are the worst jumping controls I think I've ever experienced. You have to be honest, though, ice climb climbing ice is a tough feat. Oh, yes! They uh, definitely got the... <gasps> oh, are we gonna do it? Where's my eggplant? But still. Yeah! I beat a bonus stage in Ice Climber. Winner bonus. See, like, don't you want to end a stage not crying? Sheesh. Why would you start me here? Why would you do that to me? Oh my god! Why would you do this to a person? Oh, he can walk through that? But I can't! Oh my god. Okay. No, don't fail that in, you... Oh my god. 
It's agony. Oh, so those I can't break. Oh, I'm up. Okay, before he comes. Okay, good, good, good. Oh! Oh, I was so close with the stupid bird. Get the dumb bird. Mm -hmm. Dumb bird. Good. Okay, now. Here. I forget the name of those guys. But, um, they have names. Not Nana and Popo, the enemy things. Woo! Ah, shoot! I'm in my window. Ah! No! No! Oh my god. Yes! Die. You. No. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go! They can even repair the parts that... Oh my god, stop. Stop. Oh, you just stop. No! Three, two, one. Alright, it's my last level. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, this has to be my last level, so I think I'm gonna lose my lives here. I don't even know how many lives I have. I'm not even allowed that courtesy. Ah! I tried to just turn around. Simply turn around. We're gonna make this impossible. Come on. This has to function. Good. Okay. Now. To the top. Come on. Bonus stage. Forget the freaking corn. So like sometimes you jump really far, other times you just don't. All right, I'll take that. Okay. Oh. Ceiling, what was that? Okay, okay. Oh, oh lordy. Oh. Good enough. Why does it keep winner bonus there? I'm gonna just. Eight minutes versus the three we did before, sure. Alright, spin us. Super Mario Brothers 3 lost levels. That was the hack I was telling you about before, so we actually get to try this out. And, um, I don't really know much of anything about this. Um, and I might as well start it from scratch, because I think I just opened it to make sure that it functioned. Let's check it out. This is, um... A hack of Super Mario Brothers 3, effectively making it a Lost Levels uh, sequel. So it's harder levels, but it just continues the world from where um, the last one left off. From my understanding. <laughs> it's interesting, I can already go to level 5 or level 1. Let's do level 1. Alright. It's obviously very different already. It's just its own game. Yeah, we got the Hammer Brothers and everything. So it really is just going to be the same thing. I don't think the original screwed up the hills like this, though. See that in the background? What I was intending to do was that. And hope it doesn't come back and, well, clearly won't. Oh. I gotta slow down. I'm just trying to be, you know, level one. I mean, it's intended to be like a Lost Levels variant on its difficulty. However, um, it's not going to be uh, as bad as Super Mario Forever. I thought I was sliding. Oh, he picked up the shell. How many lives do I have? One? I'm not even going to make it five minutes. Alright, let's try this again. This is not hard. This is embarrassing how bad this is, actually. For me. Not for the game. Game's fine. Mm, bonk. Good. This did something. Um, there's nobody here. That, not a pipe. Try to duck in it. Taking my time. Take that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Here, I'll grab it. Just to be safe. Of course. Oh my god. Well, no lives left. There's no last try. Here we go. Stage one. <laughs> it's not impossible. 
by any, any means. It's actually not even that tough. I think I'm just doing badly right now. To be fair, like, all these slopes, it's kind of gamed against you. Mario isn't really designed to be playing constantly on slopes. Alright, let's actually take this. Okay, never mind. Game is fine. Yeah, I'm the one who's not. Come on. I could go to World 5, I just have a vendetta against Stage 1 now. I thought I beat this on my save state too, and I beat it like on my first try. This is pathetic. Phew, like every jump I do I have to like hang backwards. Just let stuff spawn. Okay. There's no piranha plant here. I'm using this as a shield now. Uh, is it just Mario World where they can come back out of those? No power-ups, either. Ah! This is- this is mean! How hard is this gonna get? I don't know where Zach found this. I've never, um, even heard of this one. Oh, okay, okay. Good. That's what I actually wanted to have happen. Good. Got all three. Now this one. He's a problem. Good. Okay. The fire breathing one's gone. Stand here and his is gone. Just have to jump. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to have that um hazard floor, so ignore this. Down. Up. Good! I beat one stage. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, um... And, uh, oh, oh good, I have my lives back, right. Alright, how bad is this for the next 30 seconds? That's a red one. Hey, finally, a power-up! Had I lost it right there, I'd have screamed. That might have been my way up. Oh, uh, good. Give me a fire flower or something. Uh, that's not worth going to. Uh, it wasn't worth it. Oh my god. Hey, hey, I'm out of time anyway. There, I cleared the first freaking stage. You happy? <laughs> I've lost patience for this game in less than this, uh, in less than those five minutes. Hey, you know, that's why I have a timer, because a lot of games I will want to play for more than five minutes, and others, the five minutes is an eternity. Oh, no! <laughs> I have to play Punch-Out. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can, uh, beat Glass Joe. Where's Punch-Out? Where's Punch-Out? Don't tell me this didn't come with Punch-Out. Oh, it did. It's right here. Um... I think I have to fight Von Kaiser in this, actually. That was the end of my five-minute trial last time, so... Let's do it five minutes, and I'll start from here. My fighting Von Kaiser. You want to buy a, time, a TKO? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're fighting Von Kaiser. It's gonna be so much worse. Alright, so... A is your left, and B is your right, and the D-pad lets you dodge while you fight. I gotta remind myself with the, own, with the song I came up with from the Fresh Prince to know how to play this game. Okay. And then, um, good. Okay. Hmm. Ow! I'm gonna run out of energy by not paying attention. Yes! Oh my god, I'm actually doing well. Yo! Come on! Hmm. I got a star, how do I use that? Oh! I've never done that before. He's getting back up for sure though. <clears throat> right? Yeah, he totally is, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Thanks Mario. Daddy, please come home. Oh my God.
Okay. That that tactic, just baiting him into that move, is working. Boom! There's two! Oh, Von Kaiser's voice acting in the Wii version. Uh, did I have the Wii version on my Wii? I've recently modded my Wii as well. Anything where the Nintendo is just, woo! Not gonna sell me the freaking games anymore. Or, like, take down their shops. I'm getting tired. Come on. Yes! Three times in one round. Yes! I just beat the first actual guy. Oh my god, I've never done that before. I'm saving that. I'm sorry, I have to. I'm so bad at Punch-Out. I can beat a ton of NES games, but not Punch-Out. Um, title bout. I don't even know what that means. I've never gotten this far. <laughs> okay. Um, Piston Honda. Okay, okay. Round one. Oh my god, he's enormous! <laughs> Well, we are Little Mac. Like, God, I, I can't, I don't even stand up to his dick. I don't even stand up to the man's dick. Can I just punch down? Okay. Gah! Oh, I lose my star when that happens? I feel like I actually play this now. Oh my God. It's like it makes sense to me. It's all falling into place. Oh, he has three po Whoa, whoa! Holy crap! You gonna stop? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> get up, get up, little Mac. Get up, little Mac. Alright, he's actually quite good at blocking. He's not like the other chumps. Boom! Playing way better than I ever did. I, I don't know how I'm even doing this at all. I mean, I'm evenly matched with Honda right now, but I can't believe I'm actually, like, fighting Piston Honda. Okay. Boom! Yeah, he got me with his. Oh, shoot. Mac, come on. No energy, I couldn't move. Come on, buddy. I don't know if this actually gets you up faster or what. Okay. It's my only way I can get anywhere. Ah, I had a star. I think I keep it. Keep your guard up. You should wear a helmet when you fight me. Why? <laughs> Look at Max's face. <laughs> alright, alright. We're close. I think... Oh, it takes my star away, but it refreshes my heart, which I guess is, um... Okay, you gotta watch for the eyebrows. Boom! How many times do I gotta knock him down? Four, five. He's up. Nope! Six, seven, eight! Ah! Okay, okay. No. Come on. No, this. I'm trying to dodge him so bad. Oh my god! Holy crap, how are you supposed to deal with that? Okay, come on man. I've got nothing left. I gotta do so well. Oh! Mac! Oh my god, I ran- I had nothing left. Come on. Get up, Mac! He won't get up. I'm out of time. Well, I could swear I was so close. I could have done it. People do this game blindfolded. I, I don't understand. Don't cry, Mac. You lost. You'll be ranked down to number two. We win Bucky O'Hare. It's actually a new one I had on here. I did not um, originally have this. It's, um, it's a weird one. I wish I had the manual for this so that we could really get the... Uh, Full extent of how strange this game is, but uh, Bucky O'Hare. Here we go. Yeah, you, know, you saw that rabbit shooting laser guns in space or something. This is gonna get weird. 
Konami game. Bucky O'Hare and his crew, Blinky, Deadeye, Jenny, Willy Fight. Is his name Willy Fight? There's no common there. His name is Willy Fight? Oh my goodness. No, fight to save the Aniverse from the Toad Menace. One day, a transport bringing Bucky's crew to the righteous was attacked. <laughs> the Toads kidnapped Bucky's crew. Blinky is a captive on the green planet. Deadeye is sent to the red planet. Jenny is held at the blue planet. Willie is held on the yellow planet. Air Marshal, ha ha ha, Bucky O'Hare, your friends are mine. You are next. Bucky escaped the Toad Armada by a hair's whisker. Now he must save his loyal crew. From enslavement by the terrible Toads. Well, it starts me on this one, so here we go. Well, I gotta uh, put my timer on. All right, <clears throat> we'll do the green planet, I guess. Anyway, is this what you were expecting? Um, such original planet names. I know, right? Like, th try. At least try. That's my jump sound. Yeah, it's weird. The, the sound is now in sync. Was it really just Mario 1? That's weird. I'm just realizing that. It was, it was fine in uh, Punch-Out as well. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Ah! I don't know what these coins are, but I want them. Sheesh. Oh, life, right? L? I'll take the L. I'm a, I'm a rabbit in space with a laser gun. Whoa, of course! Of course the spiders explode! Oh my god. The bee is the worst. Okay, don't shoot the hive. I thought it'd be an enemy. And it was, but it was so much worse. How do you make this jump? Oh, he jumped higher that time. I'm a rabbit. I should, oh my God, outspeed the bees. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. This is actually working. Ah! Bucky's one weakness, bees. Oh no. Oh no. Sometimes he jumps high enough for this. Do you like crouch jump like Mario 2? No. But the enemies instantly respawn. No, 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 no. This is basically Jazz Jackrabbit. This is actually kind of tough. Oh. Oh, why would you? Uh. Oh, nice. That is a lot of noop nopes. <laughs> I don't know what the P is. I don't have enough P. You want me to stand on the platform that's gonna fall out from underneath me? And then jump on the swinging platform that you have to time? Good, it didn't fall, actually. Uh, 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 uh. Ah! I did it again, I fell right for it. Yes? Maybe only some fall. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with only some of them fall and there's no way to tell. That one, they were out of sync with me. How many lives? Zero. We're about to die in Bucky O'Hare now. All right, well that was the green planet. Yeah, uh, let's go red, I guess, sure. Of course it's all fire and volcanoes. And it's the same alien species, you kidding me? Okay, no fire here. 
Oh, that was actually kind of neat. You see that? The volcanoes in the background will shoot fire, which makes all this fall down. Okay, it's actually kind of hard to dodge. So this is kind of like a Mega Man thing where I'm gonna get upgrades and stuff over time, or, uh... Okay, thanks. Yep, don't mind if I do whatever that does. What? I couldn't make the jump to the... Is that a, is that a trap? Mandatory forest level, mandatory volcano level, mandatory water level. What was I, that on the left? Game actually looks decent. It, it actually is pretty good. <laughs> Except this. Like, what was that? That's a trap. It has to be a trap. So that has to be the obvious water planet. Let's see what the yellow one is. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, I'm going left. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bucky, I, I gotta tell you, your friends are dead. You're not saving anybody. My god, it's finally dead. Why do they do this crap? At least in Metroid, like, when you shoot something, you stun it a little bit. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's a one-up. Those jerks. This is one of those games. Oh my god, no. 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 Good. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I'm out of time, too, so next death, I'm out of here. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, we need that. You just gotta tank stuff. Oh my god. Oh. Come on, fly faster, man. Oh my god. Ah, I missed the life. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh -uh. Dodging the asteroids, I assume? Oh my god. Am I platforming now? Like, going up? Oh my god, I am. This is just random! Oh my god. Huh? There was no- You just have to take that. Okay. Oh, this is horrible. This is so bad. It's not that bad. It's act like It actually controls really well. It's just- and it is doing a lot of interesting things, but good god. Okay, now I know one of them stays in the center, fall to the middle. This is- this is abysmal. Actually. I take it back. This is horrible. I take it all back. Yes! Yeah, but now what? Now frickin- oh my god, you're kidding me, I'm not- You're- you're joking, right? Okay, one shows up here. I think. They want me to what? Alright, I'm- this is only gonna take a moment, so I'm just gonna let this happen. Supposed to do that? Here's the last one. How are you supposed to do this? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Bucky, your friends are dead. Okay, your friends are just dead. Let them go. It's not worth it. Gargoyles Quest 2. No. Nope, they're dead. Just accept that they're dead. Oh my god. That was horrendous. <laughs> um, wait, G's before this. There we are. Oh my god. Well, good god, I freaking tried it. Oh my god. 
So this is the sequel to um, a weird spin-off of uh, Ghosts and Goblins where you play as the Red Devil. Long, long time ago, before a human being appeared. <laughs> ah, it's one of those Capcom translated games. These are great. There lived a monster named Firebrand in a town of Ghoul Realm at Truly, at Truria. At Truria. At, that's. Ooh. To become a true warrior, Firebrand trained himself in the Warrior's Training Center every day, but one day. Welcome, Firebrand. Here is the Spectre's fingernail. You will have the honor of receiving this when recognized as a true warrior. It's time for you to go to the Warrior's Training Center. Okay. They have like a whole civilization of um, gremlin uh, red devils. Once people leave this town, they never come back. Hmm. I wonder what happens to them. The honor of receiving a fingernail. Firebrand, won't you give up becoming a warrior? Don't waste time. Give up. Is that a zombie? I often see strangers hanging around outside. Who on earth are they? Let's check one of the houses. Well, that was worth our time. Alright, screw the houses. Okay. Am I not allowed to leave? Firebrand, you are just a trainee. You are not allowed to leave this town. Unless you become a true warrior. How do I do that? Alright, so we gotta figure out how to do that. What the guy say with, with the fingernail? This is Etruria, where King Morok rules. Okay. And I can't walk there. Well, I might as well check. Is any but Nobody's home. Why do you put a house here? If there's nothing in it. I mean, you could be especially mean and basically just make, you know, a Bucky O'Hare level. And luckily this isn't that. There is a warrior's training center in this town. I gotta watch, you know, I wanna see a speed run of Bucky O'Hare. That sounds, that sounds amazing. It's just a training center somewhere in town. Good. What the heck? Oh. Why would you think you could walk on the stools? Hi, Friar Brown. You can go to the training center. Through the room on your right. Well, we figured it out. Guess it's this. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, they nerfed the flying. You can climb too, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember the controls from the other game. The colors are really nice. There's also a Game Boy one. I believe there's a Game Boy one. Why is the hospital the training center? Well, oh, oh! oh my god, I thought I could climb on that! Never mind, I take it back. Graphics suck. Alright. Because, like, clearly that looks like a platform. Uh, uh. Uh, okay, okay. That's gonna be a pain to get to. I don't even know what it does. <clears throat> but we're in a training center, so I guess we might as well try. Oh my god. Nope, screw trying. Huh! Okay. Uh, I shouldn't have done that till I. What the heck? What's the point of the training center? There's nothing in here. Or is it just to get that thing? Was I supposed to prove myself by getting something? That might be it. That might seriously be it. Okay, so if that's the case. Biggest jump. And... Oh! You had to, like, fly at the last moment. I'm glad to see you are safe, Firebrand. The black light appears suddenly, and hurry to the king, hurry! Okay. Oh, they're all gone. Is our town now a level? Bark. I guess our town's a level now. Okay, so I have to jump from here and then... Okay, I don't know what that is, but it sure was good to get last time, so let's let's try and get it again. Good. Good. What is it? What is it? 
Well, eyeball skeleton bat. I guess. Oh, this one's just laying here. Are these not actually special? Uh, that flying is worse than most jumps. Yeah, it was actually a lot better in the other one I played. Maybe I played, um... Maybe I played the Super Nintendo one. And I'm actually getting these mixed up in my head. Can't... Can't crouch. Man, they thought, oh yeah, let's play as a red devil from Ghosts and Goblins. Don't you want real power instead? But... The problem is, like, they gave us horrible, horrible controls. Well, I gotta get it, whatever it is. Maybe it's life force. Because if it is, we need it. No, I have no clue what it is. You saw I only had one little health thing left. The enemies can walk on the spikes! I put my timer up, so I'm assuming that was the end of that. <clears throat> well. Asher. Ah, throw it there. Uh, let's spin her. We got... Mega Man Cinco! I don't think I've even gotten to start this one. Let's see. Three, four, uh, nope. Let's start it fresh. I don't think I played any of five. Wow. Okay, so this should be at least a little bit better of a platformer. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I don't remember the beginning of this, but were they... Mega Man, like, legitimately tries to tell an ongoing story, somehow, and I just really got so confused with it. Uh, man, as I am about to get invested, we get ripped out and placed in another game. <laughs> That's how it works. That is how Retro Roulette works. Proto Man? Alright. Um, well... I don't know who's intended to go first, but, um, idiot me, I always t like to go in the top left. So, I guess it's Stone Man. Yeah, he's not gonna be defensive at all. <sighs> yeah, I, I really wonder what was going on with that one. But still, as I had, uh, mentioned before, I will do requests on here, if you guys wish. Donation of literally any amount. And cheers. Tell me what you want me to play. Hmm. We could continue something, too. Oh my god, that was nowhere near me! Did you see that? I was trying to jump over it. Mega Man, you gotta duck, man. I somehow beat the first two games. One was much harder than two. But even still... <clears throat> ah! Oh my god. I'm so bad at Mega Man. Come on, somebody drop some life. Good. Okay. This is doable. This is doable. This is doable. Good. Good. Oh, good. Forget. Uh, no, don't forget. Ah! <laughs> it wasn't worth it. How on earth am I gonna kill a boss after this? These guys suck. Their, their hurt boxes are outrageous. Nothing. I do like the, the, the personality that everything has in Mega Man, though. Okay, got a random, um... Drop for a, uh... Oh, God. Oh, extra life. Yeah, a lot of older games are difficult for unfair reasons. Mega Man in particular, it's like it's designed to just be unfair. And there was life right there. Is this the whole level again? Oh, you're, you gotta be joking. You gotta be joking. Well, that's, that's a good drop though. Blue bomber. I believe uh, Mega Man 1 was also going to be a uh, Ocarina Hero video at one point. What is happening? Well, enemies come back. Excuse me? No, no, just no. Thank you. 
all that unfairness, at least something good happened. Ah! Oh my god, he gave me twice. Forget it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just go. Okay. Okay. It's not worth it. Just go. Okay, wake those guys up. Pop one. Pop two. Ammo means nothing right now. These, I think I have to... Oh my god, they're gonna keep respawning. Yeah, that's the one we just killed. No! Oh! We almost got knocked back into a pit. <sighs> okay, okay. No. Good. Okay, that one's done. Good. At least it's how we died before. Okay, well at least we got it to this point. Whatever this point is. Uh. Yeah. Ah, I try to get you stupid. It's too low. But that's between the shots. Are you? Who designs enemies like this? All right. Okay. Okay. Forget them. Forget them. They suck. They suck. They suck at sucking. <laughs> How long is this? Freaking stage. Okay, okay. And we're out of time too, so next death is it. Mm, mm. Okay, cool. In fact, I'll take another, please. Okay, alright, alright. Whoa. Hey, that was actually kind of nifty. Sprite rotation on Mega Man. He, like, notoriously has pretty bad graphics. Outside of, like, putting eyeballs on everything. Which is kind of cute. And... Gimme, 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 gimme. Open up! Nice. Oh, we're ready. Okay, we were ready. That actually hurt a lot. Oh my god, and he's back! Oh, hey! Well, whatever. It's worth it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Mm! Oh my god, and it despawned. It's gone so quick, too. It's like, who makes the rules here? That's gotta be like, um, a crash bomb or something. Something we don't have. Uh, no. This is obviously a trap. And I can't even shoot on this thing. They didn't want to draw any more sprites than they had to, I guess. Oh no. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna work. Huh? Mm. No, it's absolutely not worth it. That stupid E-Tank. Oh! You must be a, a helpful guy. There's me trying to kill him. Where is the boss thingy? You see how I shot forward when I was, like, facing the other way? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Freaking Mega Man. Yeah, you can just jump on that down there. Don't worry about it. It doesn't hurt. Oh my god! Oh my god! I swear. I saw... I shouldn't have done that. That's the door! Where am I supposed to spawn? Eh, it's not so bad. Well, I'm slightly farther than that. Whatever. Do a little spin. Bionic Commando. I heard um, they actually made another one of these. Like, I don't remember when it was done, but there is another Bionic Commando game. Mm, there it is. So, um, this is a weird um, go kill the Nazis with a grapple gun game. Captain, it's from headquarters. The commander is as follows. Enter the enemy area. Must go Super Joe while staying in. Touch with agents. There are many agents in area one now. First, go see. Them. We rely on you. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, we'll move. I forgot about this part of the game. It's very, uh, Star Fox 2-y. Please instruct us. Or Star Fox 2 is like Bionic Commando. 
Descent transfer. Okay. What did I just do? Did I just give up my gun? No, no, you got it. So anyway, here's your big thing. You have this grapple thingy. And um, I'm trying to remember how to use it. Because you can't jump. You have to swing too. I'm trying to remember how to swing. Okay, I forgot my timer for one, as it as I bumble around Bionic Commando trying to remember how to swing. But I know it's the point. Well, I can ascend. Just hit start or something. <laughs> what? Hold on. I remember, like, swing jumping. You do it here. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay. Um. There you go. See, I swear, I can do it. Come on. Can you do it again? Do the thing where you went up? <laughs> okay. Oh, that thing's above my head. I see, I see. Um, so what I gotta do is go here. Okay. I'll slowly figure this out. Come out now. Come, com, com communicate wire tap. Oh, communicate wire tapping. This is MA1. I've been waiting for you. Oh, we need the old timey voice. Many of our agents have already. Infiltrated these sectors where you will be traveling. To contact them, you must find a communication room. Your success depends on stay. Ing, in touch. <laughs> you should be able to wiretap and intercept important information. Ignore all dangers and proceed to the open door. We'll contact you later. Ignore dangers? Shoot with bazooka, he meant. Die, you Nazi scum! Oh my god! What are you- Oh my god! <laughs> the end! What even- Shows how far I've gotten in Bionic Commando, but- Oh my god, these games are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I, all right, all right. Let's try this again. I could do it. I still have more time to blow here. Forgot, you have to grab the ones with nothing on top. That's actually a really hard one to grab that they want you to start on. Whatever that is. Well, we know we have to go up. Weird, like they made a, a 2D platformer and you can't jump. Was this on my 2D platformers list? For hitbox? Good, we can just shut that up. All right, so I'm going to the left this time. To kill this guy first. Okay, kill him first. Oh my God. Oh, well why kill him? Okay. I'm pretty sure you could jump. Yeah, that's right. Uh, crap. Um, got nothing I can reach from here. At least it's finally becoming a game. Oh yeah, can't aim the gun up, god forbid. <laughs> I can only aim this. The door actually opens and shuts, that's kind of neat. And I can grab power-ups too. Uh, uh. Dude, just, just. I'm gonna assume that's where we're going. Well, no, I don't see anything up there. 
It's probably down here. Why didn't he shoot while he was crouching then? That's water though, I'm gonna die. I like water about as much as a cat does. All right, maybe um, get the diagonal shot. There you go. What? What? Oh my God! What kind of contact damage is that? I'm not gonna learn my lesson, am I? No! All right, you can't. You just can't. No! Whatever. Works out. How did I do this? <sighs> get get back down. Um. Dude. Alright, I don't even know what that is. Whatever, it's gone. Okay. Just just You know, he went in this door. Can I go in the door? No. I'm, I'm, I swear, the end of this game is actually really hilarious. I'm pretty sure you blow up Hitler. Am I too close to him? I think I'm too close. Let's try this again. I need to be, like, as far away as possible. I can do it. Okay, there, there. That's better. Ugh, one shot and you're dead. Alright, I see it, I see it, I see the ending. Okay. Well, well, now what? It doesn't open? The door doesn't open? Oh my god. I made it on top of the thing. I killed all the guys, I got there. Start. Uh, select opens my pause menu. Can't even rip it open with my, my grapple gun. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's just not made well. Maybe that's health. All right, we gotta go below them, I think. I think. Uh, dude, I don't know. I'm on my last life, too. No, I can take damage! Or that was the yellow, that was the thing. That was the green thing. In which case, we need that. Did I get it or what? Come on, why would you? They designed the grapple, and it's like just. I can't even swing. So I'm stuck. Oh god. Fighting the same goons over and over again. It's clearly supposed to be up there where I'm supposed to go. Did I try shooting the door? I know it sounds dumb, but... But if this doesn't work, I, I don't... What am I... All right, we beat it. Yay, that we got to the end. Duh. There's clearly a lot more. I swear, you gotta look up the end of this game, it's hilarious. Bionic Commando. Spinsies. Crystallis, I know you really want me to play Crystallis. It's three times we landed at today. Batman, the video game. It's actually right next to us. So, this is known for being one of the hardest NES games. So, enjoy uh, me playing this for I think the first time. I might have, like, dabbled this a little bit, but... The sprite art in this is actually really good. This is the NES, not the Super Nintendo. That looks really good. <clears throat> anyway. Sunsoft. Brings us, um... Some really nice... Really nice NES cutscenes. And the bat. Ready to go kick some butt. Alright. With his trademark punching. <laughs> Don't walk.
Wondering how I throw my, um, batarangs. I know you do. I cannot take that kind of damage from something so early. And so it looks like I can turn once I jump. But I've still committed. I just walk right up to people and punch them. I'm sure bats don't punch. Who you who do you to say that bats don't punch? They walk up to people and punch them right in the kneecaps. Okay. This is actually... Oh, you can also, like, grab walls. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, the shading is done really well. The sprites make it look all dark and gloomy. I know, right? Most NES games, like, their, um, colors, like, suffer somewhere. I barely made it through that. And I'm, st I'm like, yeah, an inch from death. Told you this is hard. But at least I got to this stage. Now we got a full heal. And you do not have infinite lives. I absolutely need to figure out how to shoot my batter ranks. I don't know how to do it. Because I don't know what I'm picking up. Because right now, A is jump. B is punch. Uh, down is crouch. Up and B. Up and A. Uh, side and B. Side and A. Yeah, I... That's all the buttons. Well, outside of, like, start. Oh, which switches me to my batter ranks. Yeah, I'm, I'm a smart person. And, of course, it's, like, the only way to fight those guys. Hmm. Okay. Uh, start. Oh, now I have a gun. Maybe A and B. And what's that one? It's just Batman. Batman is just punch. Well, we don't have that much HP, so... What the... They take so much. Okay. Yeah, like, you need a projectile on this, and I'm still not even doing well. Alright. What happened to Gotham? This place is all screwed up. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. 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 Can't let him despawn either. Okay. Imagine trying to just do this without the, the punching. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna switch to something else here. Yeah, these worked pretty well. And I got, I think I got more. This, this game gets really hard, really hard later. Oh my God. These are terrible. Oh my God. Forget it. Forget it. These, oh, these like those kind of enemies that speed up when they see you. People speed run this game. I promise they do. I've seen it happen. In fact, I, I like to watch um, Arcus sometimes. The guy is pretty famous for um, speed running Ninja Gaiden, and he will do these streams where he just like blasts through like tons of NES games all at the same time, like one back, back to back to back to back. All right, give me a good uh, missiles. This might help. Yeah, it helped a lot. Well, five minutes and one run of Batman. But anyway, he can he can like run through this whole game without even paying attention. Are you kidding me? He wants me to go back to Mario Three Lost Levels. <sighs> Fine. All right. Where were we in this? <sighs> Here we go. No, 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 no! Not disc system. It's in hacks. See if I can beat the second stage in five minutes. Huh. 
All right, here we go. All right, there was a mushroom in here. That's mandatory. By the way, if I lose uh, two more lives, we have to do world one or stage one again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you didn't. Come on. Mario! I've still not gotten to see the Super Mario Brothers movie either. I would like to see it. It's not that I don't want to, it's just uh, movies are expensive. So are games. Games are expensive. There we go. This might help. I think those were all coins. Okay. No. Mario, but every time you lose, you eat a, a, a button mushroom? What's a button mushroom? Okay, clearly that's like... I, I'm gonna trust it. Something good. Something good. Oh, that was so mean! Why would you make it so hard to get to those and, like, there's nothing in them? Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Lost interest in movies long ago. Yeah, I I was actually thinking of making a video of Hitbox where we just discuss video game films. Because I'm in the same mindset. I, I haven't really seen a good one in a long time. The power-up has not saved me one of these lives yet. I fall in the pits. Ah! But at least we know now it's not worth it. But yeah, like, the thing is, I haven't seen the Monster Hunter movie when that came out. I was like, it's gonna be terrible, and of course it was terrible. I didn't want to watch... I didn't want to watch a lot of movies. I just know that, like, they're gonna suck, and I don't want to watch horrible adaptations made by Hollywood who never understands the source material. Um... Oh god, I don't know. Let's keep it. Oh, oh no, not you. Oh! It mattered. It mattered. I, I, ugh. The white mushroom used on pizza. Wait, the type of mushroom used in cooking? Oh, it's actually called a button mushroom. What's wrong with those? I don't know. With the, I've, I've had mushroom on pizza. Love to watch a hitbox about you complaining about movies today suck and they were um, not worth your money and certainly not worth your time. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Mostly, just to keep it in, in theme of Hitbox, video game films. Oh my god, that was it. I have to do stage one again. I'm doing five. Nice. There. Investigate everything. No! Oh my god! What? Okay. That's weird. It's like mandatory to get out of that pit is to get a one-up mushroom. That never happens. Come on. Give me a fire flower. I just need bunny mushrooms. Funniest Mario eats him his power. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would dig it. I would totally get mushroomed out. Ah! No! I got double shot by a cheap sheep. Come on. There's a one up in this stage, though. This one's the one to go for. Screw stage one. How are you supposed to jump this if you actually accidentally break those? All right. Bye. Oh, it was close. It'll add up. I'll eventually get um a hundred coins. All right, now we're underwater. Screw the cheap cheeps. Go over. Oh, oh my God, the blooper trail thing. 
Oh, oh my god! I'm not getting double shot by a cheap cheap again. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Time's up too. Go under the pipe! Oh, the lag. Okay. That's the pipe. That's the exit. Oh my god, leave me alone! This thing. Really? You're gonna puppy guard it? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> oh my god. It's hard. This is really hard. Dragon Quest. It's actually called Dragon Warrior on the NES, but forgive me for getting one of these wrong. Slightly wrong. I know what it means. I agree to both of your comments here, Faminator. Okay. Video game movies are pretty horrible. But yeah, there's a huge disconnect between games industry and the movie industry. They're inherently very different things already. But what I really hate is that, um, people seem to have this, like, complex that, um, movies are inherently just better than video games. I don't understand. To where, like, oh, it's such a privilege to get a movie made. When usually, like, movies just do damage. Uh, we are merchants who have traveled much in this land. Many of our colleagues have been killed by servants of the Dragon Lord. Rumor has it that entire towns have been destroyed by the Dragon Lord's servants. Rumor. Huh? Are you stuck in there? There is no I I see that. Door? Thou hast not a key to use. This guy just locks himself in. In a face future trials, you must first battle many foes. Yep, gotta explain to people what an RPG is. I think we've been in this town? It's hard to tell. Um, but it looks unfamiliar to me. There's an inn, at least. Oh, that's the sign. Welcome to the uh, inn. Board, uh, six gold per night. I got plenty. I don't know how much my HP goes up to. But let's find out. I was at 29. 32. That was not worth it. Uh, movies are still uh, more popular than games. That is actually untrue, and you can prove it with um, stats. It's just, I, I don't know what it is. Like, the movies industry is completely dwarfed by the video game industry. And it's not even close. Not even close. Now, if you go back, like, 50 years, of course. But, you know, that's because it doesn't really exist at that point, dummy. How about 30? Go back 30 years. Not even close. There's something so cozy about these old RPGs. There is. Um, you need to invest a lot more time in a game to experience a story compared to a movie. You got, also, there's, like, that interactivity that's gone. And, um, in a game, it's you experiencing the thing. And games can already tell stories better than most movies can because of that. Think of games that are effectively, that's a Mario sprite. That tile right there. Think of, um, games like Uncharted. That's basically a movie that you get to play. It's better than a movie because you get to experience the thing firsthand. As opposed to the actual Uncharted movie, which a lot of people complained about. I haven't gotten to see it because I didn't care. <laughs> I think I even had the chance to see it for free, like on Hulu or something before we lost Hulu. And I was like, I still don't even really want to watch it. Um, what do we do to this? Oh, it's, it's something to stand on. 
Because I can stand on those. Oh, it's a house. Welcome, we deal in tools. Uh, what dost thou want? I don't know what any of these do, but I, I probably need a torch. <clears throat> yes, I know. Um, what would you define popularity? Oh, just pure sales. If you're just looking at, like, uh, the numbers of, like, how many people are interested in films versus, um, video games. Well, uh, yeah, that's also... <coughs> that goes back and forth a lot. <coughs> uh, I forgot I gotta take this. Like I said, I'm getting over being sick. Or I might have mentioned that, but I have to take these, um, pills. <coughs> and they're nasty. <coughs> ah! <coughs> I meant, like, total revenue. So, like, even though, um, Mario movies, like, breaking tons of movie records for animation, uh, in terms of its sales, <coughs> Zelda 2 is also doing that. And Mario movies making way more total, but in the end, video games bring in way more money. And movies do. Just because they're, um, I don't want to say player based, because what kind of uh, audience? Audience is the right word? Audience is much wider. Or at least people who still go. Hello? There's a town where magic keys can be purchased. That's nice. If thou art cursed, come again. Well, I don't want to get cursed. That might have been our starting town. Dude, I don't know where we're at. Red Slime. I'll just keep fighting these, I guess. And we're out of time. It's gonna take an eternity to actually level up in this game. But hey, I put um, some more time into it. There's actually an hour put into that one. <clears throat> wow. Punch out, are you? <sighs> Fine. No, we already played Punch Out. We already. I don't want to. Mm. Double Dragon to the Revenge. It's different. Where is that? Where is that? Where's Double Dragon two? Should be right here. It's not a hack or anything, is it? Where's Double Dragon two? Did it not show up in here? Where is Dexter's first line do? I don't see it. Ah, uh, but in your respect, is that the gaming industry is much more lucrative business, which I agree with. Oh, oh, well, sure. <clears throat> I mean, that's one way to look at it, but uh, just in terms of like, uh, it's it's reach. It's much wider. Do I not have it in here? Or is it like in the wrong spot? Maybe it's in the wrong spot. Well. Yeah, I'm not seeing Double Dragon 2. Unless for some reason it's somewhere else. You know what? What if it showed up on the uh, original game? I don't think it did. The original console? Oh, it did! That explains a lot. Uh, we'll boot from New Guinea. It's only got five minutes onto it anyway. Oh, I know a lot of people that never play games but watch movies every now and then, especially older people. That's the thing, yeah, it's an older generation. <clears throat> uh, sure. Uh, in 19XX, violence ruled the streets of New York City after the nuclear war, even with the uh, crime syndicates growing bigger every year, two young men were brave enough to challenge them while their names were It's Bimmy and Jimmy. It didn't even get to s I didn't even get to read it. People called them the Double Dragons Talk about games is mostly mobile games. Oh, I'm from Morocco Maybe 5% of the entire population plays games, but almost the entire population watches movies. Huh? It's it's very different here One day Shadow Warriors attack the city and uh, oh, it says Billy now. It used to be Bimmy. It was a typo in the first game, but it was. Oh my god! 
The Double Dragon swore to avenge her death. Let's go, Double Dragons. Into the turf. <laughs> her boobs were like popping out of her chest. Uh, what is that move? Well, I guess the animations are... Oh yeah, I forgot, like, in, in this one, attack, you attack either right or left. Like, B is left and A is right. And, uh, oh, it, 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 it stays that way based on which direction you're facing. Pretty sure the USA has a, the largest gaming culture. Which is, uh, is good. I was the weird guy, like, um, just, geez, my whole life. Um, who was really into uh, video games, old and new. <clears throat> oh, this is the first stage. Why do these all these people have to die? Or at least get beaten into the ground where they need a hospital. Can I get off? How do you swing a single punch and hit two people? Like, and knock them both down. These games are made for multiplayer. Kind of a shame I have to do it this way. So the weird guy over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be the weird guy, and then uh, it became the popular thing to do. You really jump by pushing A and B together. That's really awkward. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, do I go in the door? Why would you put a ladder there if I go in the door? What? People raise an eyebrow here because I have a desktop computer. Oh, it's so strange. Nope, that's the pause. Shoot! What do I do? Oh my... Hey, a weapon. I'll take it. I'll take it. Just whip... Chain whip all the women. That's, that's lovely. Do I still have it? It's already gone?! Oh, that's so weird. <clears throat> how, am I, how did I do all those like weird tricky jumps and stuff? Where'd you get the knife? Oh, I guess you just throw them. Yeah, now I'm allowed to go up. Jank. Yunk. Where did my knife go? Can you not climb a ladder while holding a knife? Oh, screen kind of bounced there a bit. Your jump kick is nowhere near as good as it used to be. Chain whip all the women. Can't make that kind of game nowadays. You shouldn't really chain whip anybody. <laughs> How do I have so much HP? I don't understand. Like how they just drop it on one attack. These things do not last long. Ah, oh, it's already gone! Eh, it's gonna be a boss. Uh, Bobo, are you all back? What the heck is that? Oh my god. Okay, good. That was good. I do not know how I did that big jumpy kick thing. What? Am I supposed to be like... You're not wrong, but it's a game. Yeah. They're escaping in the chopper! You'll never make it! You're right, because I think this is where we saved- Yeah, it's exactly where we saved last time. So who cares? Um, let's spin the wheel. We got Dragon Quest 4. Okay, so on the same system, let's see how uh, far Dragon Quest was able to go. So we played a little bit of the first one. Now we're going to jump all the way to 4. By the way, they are called Dragon Warrior. As I'd mentioned before. That is 3. Here's 4. It's like 4 didn't even get a chance to be started on here. Alright. Presented by Enix. Before the Square merger. Much nicer graphics already. 
Oh, I was like, what's with the... What's with the weird gray box? <sighs> Can you go slower? Sure. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go quick. A, M, S, T, and I don't have enough space. Wait, oh, wh whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did it multi-hit stuff? M, S, T, I can fit it. It just needs to, you know, pay attention here. Male or female? Oh, you can even choose that too. Select the message speech you like. Fast. More like Spleenix. Yeah. It's a story about royal soldiers of a small country called Bruland. One of the royal soldiers is you, Ragnar. I hate that name. <laughs> One morning, the king summons all the soldiers to the castle court. Okay. Oh well, joined right into Dragon Warrior. This is actually my first time uh, starting up for everyone at least. You must have heard at ease. You must have heard the rumor that children have been vanishing recently. The mothers from Ismit Village came to me in tears this morning, begging for help. As the king of this country, I cannot ignore this problem any longer. How long have you been ignoring it? That implies he was ignoring it. How long were you ignoring it? Oh, soldier, please find our children. They're alive, I know it. What are you doing in the king's chamber? All right. Oh, please tell me that's a mustache I have. A big, big purple mustache. Well, I have a sword, I'm holding it, so. <clears throat> I assume I'm capable to fight stuff. It actually looks very similar to the first one. Hello, item shop. Let's buy, we got some gold to start with. Uh, never mind. Don't know what we're gonna need yet. And we, uh, might actually need some good, good, uh, stuff to fight with. Assume all the... Bad idea to talk to any of the moms. This guy looks like Toad, but he's actually, what, a satanic ritualist? Ragon. Welcome to the House of Healing, what can I do? Oh, you can actually detoxicate. Inform, revive, uncurse, and save. Cool. I cannot ignore this any longer. I did it for 15 years, but this morning I grew a conscience. <laughs> yes, purple mustache. I, uh, yes, it's absolutely a mustache. It hangs down below. That's great. I'm assuming I cannot go across the water or the mountains. Oh. The other game had like this really cool background thing and it just happened on top of the screen. That kind of sucks. Anyway, defeated a beetle. I'm actually kind of surprised there's not slimes as the first thing. There's probably slimes all over. A stag beetle and a giant worm. Uh, let's take the beetle down. We know that they can go down in two hits, but the worm, oh good, one. The worm might poison us or something like that. I don't know, I'm not familiar, like I said, with this one. Zack would know. I'm sure he's very happy out there knowing that I'm playing Dragon Quest. Slash Warrior. These didn't come to the West under this name. Uh, the water looks like a dead end. There's our slimes. <clears throat> Ragnar takes. So what was the point of me naming my character, if I'm gonna be called Ragnar anyway. Is that naming the file? All right, we're not doing so hot on HP now. Here's an exit. No, no there's not. A slime and a dive rat. Uh, I hope we can get back to the healer. Oh my gosh. Two points. Okay, that one's dead. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Come on, go faster. Good, okay, do I have a potion or something? Ragnar! Gained 16 gold pieces and Ragnar leveled up. Do you heal when you level up? Is this like SMT? Goes up to eight points, vitality goes up two points, luck goes up by one, maximum HP goes up by five. That's all nice and all, but no, you don't heal. In fact, I don't even get the HP buff from what I just leveled up and got. Item. 
We're prepared. Um, yeah, we're in trouble. We're about to die. I don't know how I can get out of here. Uh, search. Do I have to do it like this? Finds the medicinal herb! Mmm. Do it! We're gonna die if you don't take it. What the heck? Yeah, you. Use. Wounds heal! Oh! Okay, good. We can get out of here. I'm going back. Sadly, in the old games, no healing from level ups. <clears throat> Attack! Giant worm! It's It goes back and forth in uh, the Mega Man... Megami Tensei series anyway, so that's why I was like, it might work, it might not. Okay. The hardest part of these games is always the beginning. At least I think so. Because you can get, you know, onslaughted like this, you don't have a party. And you just got junk. I'm supposed to be finding the missing children, but instead... I immediately, like, wandered off into a cave and just started fighting slimes. I'm gonna try and get back to this, uh, the healer guy, and we'll move to the next game. As long as we keep fighting slimes, we'll be alright. I think we outspeed them, at least. Ragnar! And the worms outspeed us. Yeah, that sucks. Not an expert of the series, though, I know a lot. Joe, uh, don't undersell it. Every time, um, we've been playing Almost anything. You seem to be, like, the go-to knowledge guy. Oh. Alright. Giant worms are defeated. A lot more experience than those slimes. Okay, get out of the cave. I don't even know what the point of going in that cave was. No, you cannot step on the mountains. Get back to the castle. Get back to the castle. Two slimes, we're alright. God, I'm barely going to make it back there. <laughs> and I already had to waste that item, but it was just to make sure I didn't die. Come on. Okay. God. Okay. 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 There. Now, where'd that healer guy go? You up here? The satanic dude. There's no one in that direction. I see that. Oh, welcome to the House of Healing. Um, um, oh, oh. This isn't like HP healing. That would be the inn, I assume. What's this guy do, though? Um, this is a weapon shop. Yes! Uh, oh. Well. We can afford a copper sword, but we might not be able to use the, um, the inn. And I could probably buy something better if we kept waiting. Let me see Cell. Can I see what I'm actually equipping right now? Oh, I have a copper sword. Okay, I thought so. So forget that. That's kind of weird. Why would you sell something worse than the opening weapon? You saw he had like a club. Good afternoon. Welcome to the inn. Four pieces of gold. Good, I would have been able to afford it. Good morning, have a safe journey. Okay! Just because um, we're here, let's do the save the way that the game intended. And I can't talk to him over this. Tell me all you've achieved so far. I went into a cave and I got an herb, and because of that, I was able to get out. Certainly record your progress. Are you continuing your request? Yes. Just so I can do that. Oh, oh yeah, it's the in for healing. Um, to reach the other side, of course. Uh, none of the buildings have doors. Yeah, they in Dragon Quest, you just kind of like have holes in the buildings. RC Pro-Am. This is actually kind of a neat game. Should show up down here a ways. Uh, there it is. All right, RC Pro-Am. I had a save at one point. I don't know why. It had no time on it, so forget that. So this is actually kind of interesting, because this is a, um... Well, it's made by Rare, for one. It's weird enough. But it's, um, like a racing game of RC cars. And, um, the reason it would be specifically RC cars is because, um, the way that, like, your view works... Yeah, we can't level anything up yet. 
It's this isometric, like, driving course? Oh. It's so interesting. Oh. Like, the physics for this are really cool. <clears throat> and you have to drive it like an actual RC car, where, um... It's, I guess it would technically, you would call it tank controls. It's kind of, it's not the same thing, but, you know, like, left is always turning left, right is always turning right. That is very rare. Chapter 3 is great for making tons of money. Uh, I guess it, like, auto-upgraded me with stuff? I played this one more than the others, so I would think that I would remember, but it's been a while since I played RC Pro-Am. Oh my god, that thing got destroyed! out you can spell nintendo too if you get all of the upgrades in time oh how did i get back in first you guys must be doing horribly oh oh ah, i'm not in first come on let me up there mm. okay okay all right, I got this time. Whoa! Gotta remember there's a boost over there. There were more of them! Oh, that's how they got up to me, too. Why am I flashing? Oh my gosh, you don't hit them. You, you are out of the race. Oh, I ran right over that! That's on the right, or the left side. Oh no! Can I beat anyone? Though uh, this game is very much first or nothing. Ah! Oh! By a pixel! Okay. Am I not getting a choice here And what I... Alright. Could have sworn you had the choice there. Yeah, see I have N-I-N down there on the bottom of the screen. You spell Nintendo and something great happens. I forget what it is. Don't you get like a different car? I think you get a different car. Okay, now their AI is getting a lot better. Oh no! Oh no. I can see myself on the bottom map, and it's not, not going well. I'll get the boost, please. Clutch win, yeah, that not this one. That, that one is terrible. And it's just straight up game over. Name registration. Um... Do you have, how many characters do I get? Three? Alright. Rub? Rub? What's rub? Alright, we, we, we played it. Though I've got like another minute on here. Don't worry about it. You saw RC Pro Am. Vice Project Doom, we like just played that. Though it's intense in the 90s and stuff. Adventure Island 2. Let's loop around. I already passed it. So this drives me insane. Why did people do this? Adventure Island. Adventure Island 3. Adventure Island 2. So what they did is they decided to go Roman numerals for one of their games, but not the next one. So alphabetically, this is correct. 1, 3, 2. Well, that would actually be the correct way to do Ninja Gaiden. That would have been very clever had they actually done it like Ninja Gaiden 2 Roman numerals and then Ninja Gaiden 3 with a number. But that's not what they did. Anyway, we're going to try um, some of this nonsense. This game, this series, just mean. I suck at these. And you're about to see how I suck at these. Okay, let's try... I think I played the first one the most. Anyway, I'm this tubby kid. Touching stuff. And everything, I think, is a one-shot kill. I forget what I wanted the- yeah, you want the eggs to get power-ups. And there- there it goes! One-shot kill. <sighs> Come on. I feel kind of bad for us. Uh, Skipping out on uh, RC Pro Am, but okay. So at least I got. S oh my God, I got a weapon. 
I did not know you can get a freaking weapon. Oh, this changes everything. Oh, this changes everything. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought I could destroy whatever that thing was that, that got rid of my, uh, skateboard. What is the theme here? Like, I see dinosaur bones, I see floating fruit that's not on the trees. And then, like, was I supposed to... Okay, now I got a dragon. Wait, do I fart that? Yeah, I'm farting lightning bolts. This is great. <laughs> I despise one-shot death games. Yeah, it's got it's got problems. It's got serious problems. Choose an egg. That one, I guess. 100. And the number 100 came out, guys. 100. It's like 10 tens altogether. It's almost as much as 100 pennies. You select... What? Oh, it's an item select, but I don't have an item? 1,000. As long as... I'm assuming the dragon guy is gonna count as, like, a Yoshi. Like, an extra hit. Uh... Oh, I'm invincible! Well, that was helpful. At least we got that much farther. At least, uh, having a chance to attack makes this a lot easier. The first one, I didn't even, uh, find a power-up. Or at least I just sucked that bad. Phew! That was close. Why is everything so dangerous? At least I can finally say I played one of these things. Doing, uh, this, um... Hitbox roulette live thing we do. What, are we, what do we call this? Retro roulette. It's like the only way I get a chance to even play some of these. I guess he's automatically just going to the next place. Eh. I don't know what's better. The, the dragon or... Because uh, the dragon's range is terrible. And if I mash it, it gets even worse. He can run... Uh, more like the power is being thrown from the tail. You mean he's- he's farting explosions. Obviously, that's what's going on. Go! <laughs> oh, well, yep, yeah, that- that easy. Well, you know what? This weapon's better anyway. But, I can't break those. And yeah, he really- oh, he takes damage from that! That's awful. Are those really just points? I was always bothered by this main character. At least I get to be a hammer brother. Oh, we need that. Oh my god! I want the egg. Wait, am I throwing? I'm throwing my HP away. You see this? Why am I dying? You see this? I'm dying. I have like one HP left. What happened there? Now, please tell me I still... I can still throw my... No. Okay, I got the axes back, at least. Okay. Man, you, uh... You trip up once. Now, watch my HP at the top. I assume that's my HP. That little bar? Maybe it's a timer. No, it went up. Maybe you touch fruit and you get more time? Don't touch the rock. And it goes up. But if it goes... Maybe maybe this Tubbo just gets, like, too hungry. And he just cannot keep going. Alright, so now I know I gotta be lower in this. Whatever. You have to take it anyway. What is that? Who knows? Oh. Well, that fully healed me. I think healed. What's the point of having HP if I die in one hit? But I did it! Look, I made it to the end of the thing! Choose an egg! Nope. Spin that wheel! Pac-Man! NES port Pac-Man? Oh, Lord. Alright. I don't think I had to add this. 
Axe take health and food gives health. So I was... Well, we say health, but I guess it's axes, so... But I might die if I hit zero, who knows? In which case it is health, but anything kills me in one shot anyway. Yeah, Pac-Man's on here. Let's just start it. With a timer. Hey, this is a horrible port of Pac-Man. Famously horrible port of Pac-Man. Wait, no, 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 I'm thinking of the Atari. The Atari's horrible. The NES port was actually pretty good. But yeah, the, um... I'm telling you, the Atari port, that was a disaster. Just hoping I could at least get some of these guys. Cool. And go. I've never been very good at Pac-Man. Shouldn't always be the same map either, right? Boom. Don't you follow me around. Ah, whatever. Screw it. Should have gone for the cherry. Yeah, should have gone for the cherry. Oh god, go up! Boom. Boom. Why is the cherry over there now? Hey, I did it! I did a Pac-Man. Look at me! Doesn't it just loop the same map constantly? Yeah, I'll take it. Sure, munch. Ball gobblers. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's the one that comes for you. And gobble- Oh, you little stink. Fine, I'll, I'll double up. Mm, munch. Alright, got him at least. Oh my god. Mm. I'll go up, I guess. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay. They are aggressive. Get him. Get him. Except all I really did was bring him back. I think you get more points, but oh god. Oh, I got out of that. Come on. No! Oh! No! <laughs> with, with that little left. Alright. I don't even think they could possibly stop me in this time. Oh my god, they can! That was weird. He he easily could have killed me. <sighs> Cute little cutscenes are still in this too. No, you never really get a power up to get bigger in Pac-Man. Isn't it always just the same thing over and over again? There's probably like a strategy of where you should actually be going each time. Like a, a proper uh, way to beat the game. Direction-wise. Oh, come on! The very final frame there. Ooh, for a moment there, the ghosts all, like, shared an eyeball. Cool. That was a weird noise. I swear they're as fast as I am. See, I don't know what go- Oh, good it does. To even eat them. Boom. Boom. This is a game you certainly can't be watching the uh, chat for. Alright, good. Just follow me, guys. So close. And ba -ba 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 boom! Still another minute on this. Pac-Man, it's such a basic game. And this guy made it into Super Smash Brothers. I, I just, I think that's so bizarre. Yeah, I'll just go up. Yeah! Man, that doesn't last long. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I swear that freaking red one. Whoops. Go! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Uh, do I even have lives? I can't even see. Okay. I'll try and stay safe before they actually come to me. And now, here, guarantee that we can do this. Boom! 27 still. I still have time on the pack. I guess that makes this the last one. 
Odd game. This game was like a whole generations. Like this was the video game. People went to the arcades exclusively so they could play Pac-Man. And I I do not exaggerate that. Though, um, personally I would have gone for um Mario 1. If you couldn't tell. I would much rather like this is still kind of puzzly ish. I don't know, I always kind of preferred Mario. Or just like Galaga. There's a lot of other options you had at the time, but Pac-Man was very popular. Power Blade! I don't even know what that means. So it's gotta be in here. I'm not even familiar. I mean, I put it on here. Uh, not uh, Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom, which I'm sure you're all now concerned about. I have two Power Blades, and oh my gosh, that cover. Clearly, I've not opened this one. Timer. Boing. Power Blade. Push start button start. Thanks for making that clear. There's no audio for this game. There we go. Sector. Oh, there's a one in there. It's just really hard to see. Okay, so we got platforms. We have... Whoa. A weapon of some sort. That run cycle does not match the speed that I'm going, and it's kind of hilarious. This jump is awful. Okay, come on now. Okay, it won't be that bad. That run is hysterical. Oh, what's this? Like seriously, what is that? Designed these games. Okay, now I can make these basic jumps. I've beaten so many like really hard NES games, but for some reason this. Oh wait, those are platforms up here. No, they're not. It's in the background. Oh my god, that was. I barely got anywhere. Oh my gosh, it's that Batman enemy that only gets faster when he stands on your tile. Stop, 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 stop. Don't even drop anything. Now nah, I gotta see that run cycle. Alright, so I just... This buff dude fighting with a boomerang. I guess I am, uh... Just some crazy Australian. Fighting mechs and... I don't know why, um... These armored dudes are trying to shoot and kill me. Oh, and I'm being attacked by whatever that thing is with homing missiles. I'm almost dead. I am dead. Oh, whoa! That was the end of that. No, I start at the very I start at the very beginning. I needed some more of that hokey story action. Do I have any other weapons? Well, I can throw up. Yeah, I can throw up. Because I look at the uh, the lovely color palette. That I, was probably an important power-up to grab. I think it makes the, um, the boomerang go farther. Might. Good day. Junk. And enemies instantly respawn. That's excellent. Alright, this thing was insane. Ooh, I can boomerang those out of the sky. Assuming I can... there. The jumping is horrendous. This had to have been Zach's recommendation to put on this thing, because I do not remember this game. Oh, so I can throw two boomerangs now. Forget it. Ugh, whatever. I'd rather take one point of damage and just run. Okay. I picked something up, whatever that was. And there's still- the best part is- Oh, a cheeseburger! Excellent. There's still an enemy bar at the top, just like, um, you know, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden. Meaning that there is some horrible thing I have to deal with at the end of this, and we haven't even gotten to the bad part yet. 
Just gotta get day made, everybody. Oh, God. Can I jump from a ladder? No, I thought I could jump to the right. Look at that timer, like, come on, man, hurry up. This is, um, ugh. I can do it, though. Beat one level? Can I? But can I? All right, this has to be my last try. Yeah, so that was an upgrade, having two boomerangs at once, so it is important to pick those up. But still. At what cost? Ugh, that's such a hard jump to make! And you can only damage that thing- oh. No, that's not the power-up! Okay, good. I don't know what powered up actually gave me multiple boomerangs, but... Wasn't that one. Uh, cheeseburger? Something? I, he dropped the burger before. What's a star? Ooh, that sounds special. Is it just distance? Yeah, okay. Power, I'm assuming, it just means distance. <laughs> oh! Well... Mmm. Yum. Ugh. Putting too much pressure on yourself. Ah! Come on! There. There. I did something. What's that mean? Oh, that's throwing two boomerangs. Okay. Is that a- is that a person I'm supposed to help? Dude, throw it up. Cheeseburger! Hey, we're actually doing well now that it, it doesn't matter and the time's out. There's another star. That would have been actually really helpful. Look at me, getting somewhere. Ugh. Oh my god. What have they done? No. <laughs> Just no. 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 Dropped a burger. Couldn't grab no burger. Well, I'm actually getting somewhere now. Run, big guy! Is that thing not defeatable? Yeah. Alright, forget that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no checkpoints either. That's cruel. Power blade. How did that happen? No. No. <laughs> Jackal. Let's find out what that even is. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a big N-O on the pow power blade. <clears throat> All right. Looks like an old Konami game. This battle will make your blood boil. Good luck. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Okay. Uh, top-down car with a gun that can only shoot up, looks like. Oh, was I not supposed to kill that person? Okay, so I can shoot grenades. Am I really supposed to be shooting people? Yep, they're shooting me. You'd think if you run someone over with a car, that, that would do it for you, but... Oh well. It says it'll make my blood boil. This is actually so much more calming than, uh, Power Blade. Like, this is- this is simple. It's a nice, cozy little, uh, bullets move at, uh, a couple frames per second. Just, like, casually blowing everybody up. A nice, simple game. Uh, oh, I had to blow up a hole in the... Okay. It's okay. This is fine. Much better. Much better. You know, there's, um, there's a stupid amount of games I have on this thing. I wonder, I really wonder if that's gonna work. If I switch my uh, 3DS SD cards over and, like, they will alternate so the capture card can actually play all the retro games and, uh, my, um, other system... Can I not just exclusively aim straight up? That's actually kind of annoying. All right, my, oh, is that supposed to be like a player two? 
Oh, you know what? Is that player two? Casual destruction. I wonder if that's a player two thing. Like, player two is supposed to... Did I, like, save somebody? That was kind of neat. A little chopper flies by. Yeah, like, those are impossible to blow up from that angle. Unless I had, I, I'm assuming, a player two. Blowing these up with me. Alright, now I got two lives. We're not supposed to go through here. Okay. By the way, um, one of the other things I changed on this system, it used to have um, MSX2 on it, but uh, because of control limitations, obviously, I shouldn't have even put it on my NES. But I had it before my Super Nintendo one, which I now um, can play in addition to this. And that now is the home of my MSX2. And I also put Metal Gear 1 on there. Because that version of Metal Gear 1 is completely different from the horrible NES game that we got. So it's interesting to see it. Okay. Something's happening. Oh! Wait, what am I supposed to be fighting? All of them?! Where do I continue from? This is the beginning of the stage. Oh my god. Talk about one hit kill and you're dead. At least this one's a little more generous. Like, what's gonna stop me from just doing this? Wait, now you can aim that direction? Nah, the gun still just aims up, but... I can shoot grenades wherever I want. Ugh. Well, it's not bad. It's fine. You know, honestly, if, uh, if you only had, like, five games on NES and this was one of them, this is... It's not terrible. It really is, and I'm sure you could get very good at this. Uh, and I am assuming a, a player two is necessary, because, like, I can't attack and dodge stuff at the same time if I have to. I'm gonna assume that is getting help. Because, like, those guys I can't shoot. Well, I guess I could have done that. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay, yeah, I should have been using rockets to fight the tanks. When we get up there. Though I only have 17 seconds, but I can get there. Especially if I stop dilly-dallying and, uh... Trying to fight all these guys. Here we go. We're back in the fray again. Wonder if I'm supposed to be fighting the chopper. Whoa! One rocket isn't enough. Oh, cause the blue ones, okay. Oh my God. Mm. Casual destruction, mutual destruction. I still survived. Here? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, two players. Okay, there's there is supposed to be a two player in this. Oh, uh, okay. Nope. No, 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 no. We ran out of time. We did our due diligence. We played some Jackal Casual Destruction. Load Runner. I am horrible at Load Runner. I'm horrible at this. But we're gonna play it. There it is. So, there's actually yeah, like in the whole edit mode put into this. I think it's what makes Load Runner so famous. <clears throat> because the actual game itself, I'm I'm so bad at this. It really looks like uh like 2D Bomberman. Except um you need to like dig holes, I think. Get people to fall in the holes. Um Oh god. Well, I'm done. That's that's the game. I I tripped in my own hole. Yeah. I warned you. It's picking stuff that I'm just exclusively, like, horrendous at. So I think what I gotta do... <clears throat> get these guys stuck inside of, um, holes, which I can't dig if they're here. Oh, no. My brain just... Games like, um... 
games like games like these, I kind of wish they had more of like a tutorial level instead of just throwing you into the first one, assuming you know what you're doing. But a lot of games were like this back then. Ah, oh, why would you aim that way? I wasn't aiming that way. Can you get out? Plays the, uh, the Mario pause noise, or maybe, uh... This wasn't before Mario. It was a PC game beforehand, so that's why I'm wondering, like, is this actually, like, before Mario? Now here, let me test this again. Face left. He digs to the right! Oh my god. I warned you. I'm so bad at this. And this is just the first stage. Alright, I don't know what the gold does. I'm gonna touch it. Dig the hole. Dig the hole! Dig the hole. Dig the... Okay, so you have to dig to your right. I guess. Huh. <sighs> But you can, like, use the enemies to run over them, assuming you can actually kill anybody. Yes? You want to play Pokemon? There. Okay, just keep falling. Oh, and there's another one, so there's nothing I can do about that. That's, that's... No more. I can't. I had two minutes on it, but you're going to help me stall with it. Don't, don't you want to say night night? What are you doing? Aren't you gonna take your nap? It looks like it's nap time. That's not what I'm playing right now. I don't think I have Pokemon as an option on any of these, actually. Oh, like in the bag? I think you need to take a nap, though. I have a visitor. You what? That's that's what we're doing. Why? Why is this what we're doing? Okay, here's a magnemite top. He can spin. You always want to stop him. Meowth can spin. I still have uh, a minute and a half. Pokemon? <laughs> Did you give up on Load Runner? I'm horrible at this game. I can't even beat the first stage, and I've tried. I don't know how many times. Power. Not even just today. Power. I've tried previously. Power. That's a polyrath. There you go. <laughs> Power. I hope people can hear her pronouncing Pokemon names. Why are we not taking a nap? We want to play Pokemon for a bit. Okay, okay. You know what, here. She wanted to see Daddy. Yeah? Dad. Dad's gonna um, put a, another spin on this while we're waiting. Punch out. Why does it want me to keep failing at punch out? You're so bad at that game. I beat Von Kaiser in Dragon Quest IV. We just did that too. Uh, Shatter Hand. <laughs> I'm gonna find a, a very silly 90s game. 80s, actually. There. Look at that cover. What's that? Uh, well, let's find out. I have 16 seconds, but then they're done. Is it a Pokemon game? No. No, it is not a Pokemon game. <laughs> I don't have a Pokemon game on here. No, it is 91. It's technically 90s. <laughs> He's Powerath. What and Dragonite? What other Pokemon do you have? Vileplume? Vileplume? I don't no, think Bafu. you do. Oh, Bulbasaur. His name is Bafu. What's his name? Ready, go! All right, so I can- Okay, Clover, what's his name? I can punch, and I can jump. What sound does he make when he uses thunder jump? Yeah. Okay, what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? Tidu. What sound does he make when he uses thunder shock? <laughs> so you can clearly say it. I'm supposed to blow up the entire... <laughs> Are you blowing things up by punching them? Yeah, I mean, the game's called Shatterhand, so... At least it's true to its name. Is it like Cyberpunk World or something? 
I don't know. I've never played this before. I think my jacket changed color. Can, can you what? A towel? Oh, she thinks it's a pencil topper. Oh, you want to try with the pencil. Some of her Pokemon toys are pencil toppers. So here, you can try this one. That one's a pink pencil. Uh, Dad's had that for like 20 years and he's never sharpened or ever used that pencil. It's a Valentine's Day theme pencil. And there it is. I don't like to use pencils anymore. Me neither. So I'll talk about how, whoa, I can jump on the walls. You got a power up. What? I don't know oh, what it is. Oh, he's helping? Yeah, helper power up. Oh, this, cool. power up. this game's actually kind of cool. I can't hear a thing of it, by the way. I, I took my headphones off so I could talk to her. Is this thing limited? Like, am I, am I listening to like somewhere it's like, dun, 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 you only have this for a minute. It is a pencil topper? Well, she put it on YouTube. Can I stand on that for it to work? <clears throat> Whoa! I like that they actually have multiple animations for him punching in one direction. A lot of cash. Yeah, that thing finally ran out. Well, now what? We're gonna double oh, oh grab right, I can grab on the walls. Yeah. I forgot that he could do that. No, let's just dodge this. Oh, well, that was pleasant. This guy's just don't need a weapon. That guy's like scared of you if you look at him. What is he, a boo? He has a gun too! Run! You need a what? Uh huh. I think you need a nap. Oh yeah, they try and run from you. I guess because they only have a gun. And they see what you can do up close. <laughs> So now I have two of those symbol things up there. Uh, maybe if I get the third, I get, um... Oh boy. What does that do? Complete? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how you get these, these... Goon things. Go away! No Pokemon are outside, yep. This little laser dude should be helping a ton, but he's not. Oh, he's lighting up. Whoa! Come on, stop doing what you're doing. I'm mostly trying to fight with the little guy now. Oh my god. Why is he not going down? Oh no, not this again. Hmm. Boom! Punches! Boom, boom! Oh, epilepsy warning. Chansey! Yes, that is Chansey! Oof. Area A clear, and we did it right on time. Yay! I did it right on time. That game is very silly. And the cover art is even sillier. Kim, do you see the cover art for this? Yeah. It's outrageous 90s man with uh, yellow rimmed sunglasses just punching the screen. Uh, Power Blade 2. Oh my god. The first one was so bad. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll try the second one now. With Taito from 92. Taito! Taito! I don't like Taito games much, Clover. In fact, I can't name a single Taito game that I was like, this is great! I'd have to look at their whole library, but... Stage 1, Stage 2... Oh, I'm choosing stages! How do I... What's that? Um, it's a sequel of a 
a game that Dad did not play very well last time. But he, he is going to try and at least beat level 1 on this one. I got a red duck when I got a poop. You have a poop? No. No? It's not a poop. Oh, what is it? It's not a poop. It's, it's funny, I, I didn't ask you about a poop, but... Okay, I'm, if you have one, you are supposed to tell us. She did have one, and she didn't tell me. Wait, what? What am I supposed to be doing here? Is that a platform over there? No. I can't crawl. Um, I can slide, apparently. Alright. Oh, I'm, I'm a crazy Australian in this one with a boomerang. They, they fixed my silly running animation. That was like the only part of the game I liked. Oh, just, they need to die. Never mind. This is just as bad as the first one. That's exactly what I was expecting. Another cheeseburger. You're eating goldfish. You gotta brush your teeth still. Ah, oh, is that why you were coming in here? You gotta get your, um, gotta play some Pokemon Smile. Catch a new Pokemon today? No. What do you think you're gonna catch today? So the slide works exactly the same as it did in uh, Mega Man. Or does. Mega Man still exists. Or wasn't that like my, uh, my rule, my rule of what determines a retro game or not. I don't know if I shared that with you guys. Um, if you find yourself accidentally referring to the game in the past tense, it is uh, retro. If it is in the present tense, it is classic. There's the difference. Let me guess, that bubble's gonna hurt me. Yep, it would've. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that's horrible, what are you supposed to... What even is the square? Why do I want the square? <laughs> oh, there were drills above the platform. I saw them. I was just trying to dodge, and I it couldn't do it. Hey, I can throw diagonals now. Now my boomerangs are red. Uh, this is so weird. So here, look. You hit slide and you just like catch, keep changing directions and you know, inertia be damned. You just kind of start doing whatever. Uh, ceiling spikes. Yep. Oh, I got a Game Boy. A Game Boy, Clover. A Game Boy. Game Boy Color was Dad's first uh, console, if you count portables, which you should. Ah, there's something good about now. Nah, it's gone. Alright, blow up the bubble. I'm sure that bubble's gonna hurt. Oh, thank you! Uh-oh. Alright, now, forget the square. And this is level one. Cheeseburger. Damn near necessary. Oh my god, kill the... It's exactly like that thing from Mega Man. Hey, a door. I finally made it to a door. A door! And I bet it's not a checkpoint, because none of the other doors were checkpoints. Okay. A door. Uh, the star was good before. What was the star? Uh, more power. Oh my god, I'm doomed. Oh, and that worked out. Uh, uh, uh. What? Okay. Six, five, okay. I, I, I made it to the end of my time requirement. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. I don't have the HP to be dealing with. Where do I spawn? Where do I spawn? Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't even have any continues. But if I choose to continue, am I permitted to. No! <laughs> No, thank you for the goldfish. 
Cover, do you want to play Princess Tomato and the Salad Princess or Salad Kingdom? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too bad, it looks like you're playing Solomon's Key. Two. Which, did it actually have that name? Let me see. Yep. The Ripperoni. <laughs> That was bad. It is nap time. A long, long time ago, there was an, uh, uh, an island. Uh, it was called Cool Mint Island. None of this matters. It's a puzzle game. Kind of a puzzle game, though it's going to play sort of like Load Runner. I actually think that this series stole Load Runner's thing, but it's only because I'm assuming this came after. That is an evil wizard named Druidle. He became a villain because his parents gave him such a terrible name. Yeah. In response to the crisis of the winter fairies, their queen called upon a wizard. Um, those are different animals. And there, there's a wizard named Dana who's going to do something about uh, the bad dude, whatever it was. And Princess Zelda says, I'll give you ice magic to extinguish the evil flames. But I'm really expecting is but i'm really expecting you is whatever we trust you dad sure oh i forgot to put the timer on but i guess it works out that was just the intro anyway okay solomon's key 2 i think you can actually play this on nso grandma can you tell me a story we have to watch the story anyway okay you want to hear the story about dana i thought we already where do you want to continue from? Well, it's like new game or what, so. We'll do beginning. Uh, we'll start in World 1, please. This, um, is a game about pushing blocks and making fires go away. You can also, um, you can also, like, shoot magic at, like, an angle. That wasn't even a level. It's like an impossible to fail level. There you go. Yep, makes the fire go away. There, I had to move out of the way of it. Those kids were so happy. <laughs> so far, these levels are like impossible to fail. Bleep, bleep. Yeah. They designed impossible to fail levels. I don't know why they bothered. Oh, thank you, another. That's a honey gram. You can eat it. Okay, okay, thank you. Hopefully there's actual puzzles. Hmm. Well, the whole thing's gotta come down first. Let's do this side, I guess. Oh. It just... Chain reaction. Alright. Okay, so this is the first one I'm gonna actually have to do something. Um... Should have done that first. Whoa, you all right? Just turn around. All fun and games until the ice um, block gets stuck in the wrong spot. Yeah, these games are not easy. Boop. There, I did it. That is a lot of Pokemon toys you have. Let's see if I can beat World 1 in uh, my time limit. Uh, push these together, now I can climb on it. Uh, make another one of these, make another one of these. Push, delete. Okay, um, I think you gotta make, shoot, actually, how are you gonna do this? I think you gotta, yes, and then just poof. Oh, I can't poof. Oh, uh-oh. It's all because your spell only works in that corner. Let's start over. That did not work. Okay, so I think you have to keep the one at the top. Boop, boop. What? Mm. Wait, no, this is right. That's what you needed to... No, it's not correct. 
Uh, uh. Why am I so dumb? What if I drop that side? The block in the wall on the left. Oh, I didn't see it! I didn't see it. Thank you, guys. Delete that one. Never mind. Minute, minute. I gotta pay attention to what I can mess with. <laughs> anyway, this one should be a piece of cake. Oof. Oh, you can't even just do that. Well, oops. Um, can I drop fire? Well, sure, but that doesn't help me. Eh. Uh, looks like we might have to just keep doing that. No way! I think yes way. Need something to stand on, but at the same time, I... Probably just screwed that up. Uh, you might be able to do it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no way. Yeah, with nothing to climb on. Actually, hold on. This might be doable. Not with it frozen to a wall like that, though, but... Okay. A very complicated way to drop one, but it worked. You want Fua? Eh. Eh, because I had to do two of them. I'm trying to brain myself. I only have two more stages. And I doubt I'm going to be able to pull it off. Stepped away for a bit. What's this game? This is Solomon's Key 2. You can actually play this on MSO. Magics. 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 Why not? I guess. You got it! What do you have? Splats. Okay, that one's done. Okay, so we gotta drop the bottom, but I have to go down there and probably take out the other fire on top first. How a fire got up there? I don't know. But it did. Let's drop that down, and uh, there's no way for me to move it. Oh shoot, did I just break the puzzle? I think I broke the puzzle, little squirt. Yep. Well, the beginning wasn't hard. It was just drop that. Well, and then... Yeah, see, it freezes to the edges if you create them there. And I'm out of time, too. So I guess this will be the last one I do. Yeah, trying to do a, a puzzle game live. Good luck with that one. Splat. Okay, now... Place on Game Boy, never tried this one. <laughs> you trapped yourself, yay! <laughs> what if you drop a fire on a fire? Nothing. Okay, now I know that. Well, at least I have this. No, this is doable. This is fine. Now we just gotta turn around. Huh? You're, you're making up words. You're not even saying anything. There's only one more. There's only one more. But, I gotta give other games a try. We do. All right, now we're gonna spin the wheel. We got Galaga. Galaga, that's an old game. Well, these are all old games. But Galaga is something that Dad even got to play. Did it come with Galaga? I'm looking. I don't see it. Yeah, it must have come on the system. Oh, there isn't a Pokemon game on here. I'm sorry. First one I met on Game Boy. Um, played one of the Zero Escape games on Twitch. It's a pretty dumb moments. Zero Escape. I have played, um... I think just... You're talking about the 3DS games, right? Because I've played, uh... Oh, I've not even opened Galaga. But here we go. Dad played this in a, as an arcade. Like a real cabinet. It's okay. You shoot stuff. Mm-hmm. I was horrible at Zero Escape. Um, needless to say, I did not escape. There was Zero Escape. Man, I couldn't... I couldn't get anywhere. I'm gonna try and, uh... 
get the power up. Yeah, oh shoot, screwed that up. There we go. You wanna make him, um, there we go, this guy, this guy. Get him to get you. Oh, he's actually trying to shoot me. Ooh, there. Hey look, I did the thing. Fighter captured. Wait, no, is that bad? No, you gotta get it back now, I think. I think it's what you do. Yeah, now you have two of them. Yeah, see, I did a thing in Galaga. I know how to do stuff. I may not be good at the game, but I can still uh, remember some of these quirks. Um, I don't know how many times it works. I'm trying to take more of them, but honestly, just two ships is good with what I'm trying to pull off, I think. Only one shot on screen sure stinks. Being any wider wouldn't be good. Challenging stage, they say. You gotta ask me for what? Woo! Ah, oh, for your hats? For your, for your uh, toothbrushing game. You're right, you do need that. Um, there's gonna be a pause somewhere on here. Good. Where? There it is. Never mind. Didn't have to pause. Mom found my phone. What kind of Pokemon are you gonna catch? Yeah, bye bye. Number of hits 37. Bonus points 3,700. I can actually have my headphones back. Yeah, I actually played this in an arcade. And it's effectively the exact same thing. I mean, if anything, um, arcade sticks, you move around a little more slippery instead of just a, a D pad. But, um, and that kind of helped you. You were a little quicker. Whoa, lost one of my ships. Oh boy. I can't quite see the edge of the screen because I'm playing on a widescreen, you know, and um, well, obviously you see the same thing. I'm playing on a widescreen and then there's the fact that like the background's black, so I can't exactly tell. There's that sound. All right, let's try this again. Whoa, I was close. Let's see if I can get my ship stolen. One more time. Okay, it's picking up. They want me dead. I accidentally blew that one up. I blew up the other one too. Ah, shoot. This is one of those games I'm surprised there's like not more, um, I don't know, modern stuff. There's so many old things that, um, fighter captured. Now, I don't know if this actually counts as losing a life. Oh, it does. It does count as losing a life. You actually have to spend both your lives on that. Didn't realize. Stupid me, I went into that on purpose. What do you do in two-player Galaga? I don't remember that ever being a thing. But I'm sure it, uh... It probably just entails a second uh, ship down at the bottom. It'd be especially awful if you have collision with each other. And, like, uh, you can't... If you, like, just bump into each other, you won't be able to keep moving and shooting. That'd be so frustrating. I've played a lot of uh, two-player games that are like that. But, yeah, I tried out um, Zero Escapes just because, um, well, Nintendo decided to shut down their 3DS eShop, so I guess that stuff's all garbage to them now. So I'll figure out... You know what? I'll go some do some digital dumpster diving. And, um... Yeah, gave it a try. Glad I didn't actually pay for that game, because um, I could not, for the life of me, figure out what to do. I was stuck. How's the first one start? I was in, like, um, I don't know, woke up in, like, a cruise ship or something, like, some sort of boat, and it's taken on water, and you're locked in your room trying to get out of it. Luckily, there's no timer, because, God, I could not, for the life of me, figure out what I was supposed to be doing. And now it's trying to take me. Right when I lost my ship. Had to wait for his attack to be over. Ready? So yeah, the ship cabin room. I could not figure out how to get out of that. I know it's probably very simple, but I couldn't do it. Challenging stage, they say. It was a lot easier with, um... Another, <laughs> another ship. It's all about lining up properly, but boy, um, just because I said I played this originally, it didn't mean I was any good at it. 
It's a real random win. I don't know. Uh, the um, Zero Escape game is worth continuing. I, I just got kind of frustrated in the beginning. Even tried looking up information online like, alright, how do I get out of this stupid ship? And the game is about figuring it out on your own. I don't want to have to look that stuff up. So I was already disappointed that I had to on the tutorial level. So yeah, I was um, was having issues. I was actually enjoying um, Secret of Cape West more so. That's a DS game that's sort of the same thing. You're like, um, it's not an escape room exactly, but you're um, controlling a character, moving around an environment, talking to other people, trying to like solve a mystery. I want him to be blue, I think. Well, never mind. I thought he was gonna grab me. But hey, we ran out of time. Uh, it was something you had to interact with on the bed, I'm pretty sure. I think I interacted with everything I possibly could multiple times. That's why I was like, stuck. Um, once you got one puzzle room down, it becomes easier, but there are some puzzles where it is like, not clear. Yeah, I was very much feeling the not clear. Oh, excellent. It's our first Famicom Disk System game. I have beaten this. But I beat it so that I would never have to play it ever again. <laughs> and here we go. We're gonna play Super Mario Bros. 2, and I guess I just booted it to make sure that it functions. Oh, you know what? Let's actually take that, because we don't have to wait for the thing to load. That's all that's here for. Alright. Mario 2. There is a real mushroom in here. And you have to, like, get it out... Oh my god. I gotta get this one, I think. There you go. Because there is a fake mushroom in one of those. And I'm not gonna figure out which. I'm noticing the music is quieter on uh, Famicom. Nothing I can really do while streaming to fix that. Sorry about that. Just like the other day, I randomly booted this up for Zack and I said, here you go. Try and beat at least the first level of... Uh, the real Mario 2. He could not do it. So I'd be proud of myself if I can... Ah! Do it on my first try. I almost did it without taking any damage, but... The games are good, but the visual novel part can get a little lengthy because you do have multiple paths. I really liked the story on one. I'm working on the second. Uh, I was terrible and played the third first. Oh! Oof. And they weirdly, like, kept changing the, the title of the series, too. It was like, um... The first one's actually called 999. Is that right? Uh, nine persons, nine hours, nine doors, I think. Ow! Something like that. And then it's called Zero Escape, which is not the first one, I think. Hit! <laughs> well, <clears throat> I think that was what I played first, 999. But yeah, and you were describing the cabin escape, so you, you know what I played. I was like, I don't know if it's actually going to be something that would matter. Like, is anybody really going to, like, care? Or, like, if I made a review of this, is Woo! 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 You know. We only have so much time on this earth to play video games. I try to be very picky choosy. But at the same time, I will do something silly like this. Just to kind of force myself to experiment and try new stuff. Uh, yeah, 999 is the real first one. That's what I was playing. Hit, hit, um, hit, whoa, oh, this goes back, doesn't it? I don't remember. But there's a new way to die. Yep, it just takes you to level two. I'll take it. World two, I mean. All right, so we didn't have to fight a Bowser, at least. Um, mm-hmm, 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 oh my god. Shoot. Some of the characters slash story translate between the games. Yeah. You know, another game uh, kind of similar to that that I tried lately that is a little more well-known was Danganronpa. Shoot. And I hated it. <laughs> it was so bad. I had to force myself to keep playing. Oh, if I do continue. Good! You actually... Right, right, right. This one actually has a bit of a quality of life improvement over the first Mario. If you die at any point... You will actually uh, continue at the last world. Now you'll have to rebeat the world, but who cares? There's only four levels in a world. A real power up. Awesome. Nice. Now that's just going to get me killed. Got to pay attention. Mm. 
But yeah, Danganronpa. I might have to- oh my god. Might have to review that, because boy, I did not like it. I hate it when they do this. I hate it when they do this. What? Oh no. Screw that. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Just no. Actually, that was a really high spring, so. Ah! It sometimes it just doesn't work. <sighs> My fiance is a huge Danganronpa fan, so he had me play all of them. Some of the characters were annoying, but I enjoyed it. Oh, there's a goody good. Is it gone? Oh my god, it's already gone. Uh, and I missed my power up. Yes! Oh, that's what I was trying to have happen. Ah! That's the end of the level, too. Yeah, um, Danganronpa was just driving me crazy. Mostly because, like... God, it's so many things. Oh, you're so cruel! If you fail that, you cannot get back up. You even heard it, but like it's it's just off screen. Now, oh, well, <laughs> and sometimes the springs just malfunction. This game's hard. Six, five, four, three, two, one, spin. Star Tropics. I think my save for this is elsewhere. Uh, is an early gift to myself. I got Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster Bundle last month for Switch. I decided to do the same thing because I was like, I gotta get into playing the original Final Fantasy games. And even though, like, most of this software is abandoned wear, if they're actually making new versions of these games, I... Oh, Star Tropics actually came on the system, so we get to back up. Then I will try to buy them, but of course it, it is expensive. Especially with frickin' Square Enix. They charged way too much money for that, that set. Like, I could've got Zelda. And, um, yeah, instead... There, uh, there I was. How do I get out of here, actually? Anyway, Star Tropics. Oh yeah, you spend too much time looking around, step on certain places, you find buttons. Which will open doors. This looks like a, just a death room. This is sort of a Zelda-like game. Ow. I never really got very good at this. Oh, it was just a trap room. I started Final Fantasy VI on there. I've, I've probably started Final Fantasy VI a total of like... I think, I think six times. What? This is a trap too? Maybe something spawns in here. I gotta. I have to step on all the tiles. Maybe a button, uh, a treasure appears or something. No. It is just a trap. Yeah, I might have to actually like to elaborate properly and get my thoughts together on Danganronpa. Have to review it. But I feel bad reviewing a game I didn't get to finish. I, I I demanded of myself you must play up to the point where you finish, um, the f waiting for the first person to get murdered because I knew inevitably it was going to happen. That's the whole game's about. And then as soon as that happens, um, at least finish the first trial, which I did. Um, is there anything up here? You can only jump across. Okay. Which opens a doorway. Well. It's all about, I guess, standing in every spot. Okay. Is that better? Alright. It's trying to teach me what to do. This is still the first dungeon. I played farther on NSO, um, honestly, but I don't remember how far. Um, I was a few islands into it. I still don't know how to explain why I didn't like Danganronpa. I think the writing was just horrible. Is probably the way to put it. Like, it, 
in a, in a game where you're trying to be like a detective and solve things. Also, it was really obvious what happened too. Like in that first case, it was so obvious what happened. And like none of the other characters seemed to understand what was going on. I don't want to spoil it in case you're interested in playing it, but the very first time I saw, um, let me just say the murder scene. I was like, oh, pff, duh, it was that person. Like, it should be, it is literally written in front of you. It is so obvious. But for some reason, nobody else seems to recognize it. Ooh, there's a secret way out of here. And, uh, get another torch? Or, rather, more torches? But anyway, yeah, and then, of course, like, you switch to one character later who's like, I'm so clever. I knew that from the beginning. As anyone should have. That was so very, very clear. Ah, opened a secret door. Jumped in that bundle, but trying to beat in order. Uh, and I never beat Final Fantasy 2, so it gives me a chance with the extras added on. Well, some of the extras. Okay, well now we have a red potion. Just in case. Though this sounds like a special room. Ooh! It mattered! Ooh, secret in a secret room. Oh, yeah. How many do you think they did? It's probably the end. Oh my god, there's more! Oh, 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 oh. I mean, obviously I have all the Final Fantasy games on here. <gasps> oh my god! That was cruel! There was nothing I could have done. That was... Awful! That was a beginner's trap. That was terrible. Also, what kind of sucks? I can't stand. Oh, I could stand there. I was gonna say I couldn't stand up here before. Well, now I gotta get all the um, all those things back. Well, my timer went off anyway. Wow. Also, you know, I probably shouldn't even save that because I just died anyway. Well, that sucks. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. I actually really want to beat this. As, um... Did they actually give me Simon's Quest? Oh my god, they did. They didn't give you Castlevania 3, but they gave me Simon's Quest. And looks like we dabbled this before, so... We got five minutes on us. Boop. Whoa! Simon's Quest. I want to beat this game. I do. Ugh, oh, what a terrible night to have a curse. Good, get out of the way. I don't know which way I was trying to get, but gosh darn it. Yeah, game tricks like that are sucky. Knockback is sucky, too. Where do we spawn? Here. Okay, cool. That's, that's just great. Oh my god. Uh, can't even whip him. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. What a terrible night to be playing Castlevania 2. Bam, bam. It sucks too, because like, I really want this game to be good. The first Castlevania is so great. And I get what they were trying to do. And it's really ambitious. But at the same time, this game is a disaster. Alright, I was pushing over, but whatever. Oh my gosh, you are so weak. Okay, should I take the stairs? I made that mistake in Castlevania 3, but here is me not learning my lesson. I took the stairs down at every opportunity, like, well, I'll just at least remember which direction I went, so if I want to go back and play a different one, then I can, because I know that I went down each time. Don't go down each time in Castlevania 3. Just don't do it. Okay, so that's not actually a house. Okay. There's a church. Can I heal? Nope! Oh my god! When does the damn curse end? Sheesh! 
And remember, hearts are not actually HP. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. By the way, you get different endings based on how many nights pass. Oh my god. Can we talk? You've got a friend waiting for you in the town of Algeba. I'm still annoyed by the shiny male combi yesterday in Scarlet File Number 4. Uh, I guess that's what you just found in your file? That does kind of suck. I got one in um, Legends Arceus, which is still my newest Pokemon game, by the way. Still, uh, yeah, just don't have the funds for new games. And yeah, when given the choice, I actually paid for... Um, uh, whoa, I have Holy Water. Look at me. Would rather pay for uh, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster than either the new Pokemon or the new uh, Zelda. But it's because I don't have any cash. Though, um, I was actually saving up. Um, I, like, I will, like, clean my grandparents' place and, well, grandmother's place. My grandfather's actually been, uh, he's been dead for wow, uh, 25 years or so. So, I, it's grandmother's place, whatever. So, um, I, I go over there and clean and, um, the rest of the family pitches in to help me do that, so they don't have to pay for cleaning service for her. Um, so I do get, like, a slight income, and I put that directly towards, like, for fun stuff, and not explicitly, like, you know, more groceries or gas, because it would just be gone immediately, and I would be like, why am I doing this? So I want to encourage myself to do it. So, um, I had 100 lately, and I was like, I could just get the new Zelda. I considered doing that for us today. Uh, who's the director's riddle in Berkeley's Mansion? No, they're not. And, um, instead, um... The Mio Figma from Xenoblade 3 finally went up. It's the first Xenoblade Figma they've ever made. I was like, ah, I'd rather do that. Nice! Full heal. Is that a door? Is this a door? Where's the door? Oh, there's no doors, right? You just walk out? No, there's totally doors. There's actually really good um, hacks of this game, and I might actually put one on here um, where people fixed this up. But I'm, I'm probably just going to play with a guide anyway when I do eventually, like, determine to go through this. Yeah, sure they are. Um, how did these people get to this? There's nothing in here. But yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about Zelda. I wasn't excited at all about Zelda uh, as it was coming out. None of the trailers were grabbing me at all until the final one. Um, seeing, um, what was it, Gleelock from the NES come back? That was sweet. I watched Zack do a little playing of it. Oh my god, leave me up! Oh my god! Oh my god. That was freaking horrible. Can I go heal again while I'm here? Because that was terrible. And I'm out of time anyway. Where was it? The, the church was between the water, I think. As long as we don't run out of time. No, this is the church. Has to be a church. Yeah. Hey, I, I stepped outside and I made a horrible mistake. Oh, my God. But yeah, I, I'm actually kind of excited to play Zelda. I just don't have the money. Not anymore. Decided, hey, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna reserve my Mio Figma because that's like. Zelda, that game is always going to exist and I'll always have access to it. My reasoning for going through the Figma instead was, one, I'll get to review it with you guys again. Two, it's the first time they've ever done that for Xenoblade. I want to support them. But also, if you don't do the pre-order, it is gone forever and you're going to regret it for the rest of your life and the price is going to be insanely high after that point. So I was like, I I feel like I'm, I'm stuck between the FOMO choice and the thing I want to play. So that's what happened. Watch no Zelda trailers, but all the crazy clips I've seen on Twitter are really selling it for me, but not for its current price. See, that's another place where I'm at right now. It's just too much. You know, like, you know they're going to have DLC for it again. And it's probably going to be $30 again. Meaning that's actually a $100 game. Punch out. No! Balloon fight. I was going to say, we've done enough. Enough of that. All right. Balloon fight. Here we go. Zelda was a gift for me. Um, though I was able to get the collector's edition. Wow! Amazing. Yeah, if I had the, um, if I had the cash, man, absolutely.
I think I bring it up probably every time I play Balloon Fight for you guys, but um, I find it interesting that um, Satori Wada actually used this game's programming in order to get um, underwater combat for Mario 1 to work. And yeah, it's just as slippery. I think if you get them while they're still inflating them in the beginning, you can already, like, knock those guys down. Oh, no! Oh, got one. Got two. Oh, oh! Oh, got three! And popping bubbles. Get him. Ah! This game's actually hard. Mm. Mm. And that soundtrack. It's got, like, a really great um, track for its bonus stage, but... Boy, this noise that it plays when you just, you know, are playing the game normally. Come on, get him. You gotta get the parachute. Okay, let's try, let's try. Can you get him before they go up? Well, maybe if you don't suck. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. I think I just had to hit him. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Yeah, I really want to play Zelda. I don't really know why. I mean, I, I'm i still saying I'm more excited about um, Sea of Stars for this year. And, um... Actually, take me to Balloon Trip. Try that. This is what I was talking about, the minigame. See, like, it's got killer tracks like this, and then, uh... It plays that, that just sound. When you're actually playing the main game. I don't understand. Ah! Um, it was nice with GameStop down the road where I have to live hate buying from them. Yeah. I, I'm with you there. Really don't want to support GameStop. I can't believe they're still in business. Oh, that was so close. Ah, it got me anyway. I enjoyed the Sea of Stars demo. It was good. Yeah, I, I played, um... I must be doing horribly. Whatever, let's just go back to this. We got two minutes still. Ah, man, I'm still never gonna figure that out if I can actually bust those guys' uh, heads before, you know. Yeah, Sea of Stars is looking good. Um, It's all but confirmed that, um... Hall Knight Silk Song is actually coming out this year as well. <laughs> I was gonna say, what happens if he falls in the water? I was kind of hoping he'd get eaten by the fish. Yes, it does work. You can get them before they even inflate. That's kind of neat. Did not know that. Actually doing a lot better this time. Boom! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Balloon Fighter Pro! I've never done so well at this before. There we go. These are the bonus stages I was talking about. Well, there's... Balloons. That come out of... T tubes. So you hit them. That's, that's the game. Anyway, Balloon Fighter. It's one of the Black Box uh, NES games. And I kind of wish... Um, Okay, I really wish. I had one of those original posters for uh, the NES Black Box. I had this sweet uh, Rob on the front. Ooh! How'd I do? Cool. This is actually going really well, so I kind of want to save this. Just so that um, future me could pursue that later. But we got another 20 seconds. Let's try and, like, snipe. Snipe. Man, that's, that's unfair that you actually get to start before everyone else. Ooh, never let anybody over your head. Mm. Mm. Good. I got him with my balloon. I don't know how I did that. Ah! Oh, no! Finally lost the life. Careful not to jinx yourself. Well, that's why we put in that save really quick. Because this is just an arcade game. 
Oh, good. But even still, I'm probably not going to save at this point because I already lost a life. But just for the sake of uh, finishing the stage, watch him get eaten. Yeah! All right, moving on. Balloon fighter. I'm going to let this spin. Unless you at least see what's going to pop up. Mario is going to do his little uh, thing for a moment. I got to do this guy so I can run to the restroom really fast. I'll be right back. While that spins. You know what? I'm curious. I don't even think it's it's showing you on screen. Are you just taking my word for each one of these? That you can kind of read it. it. Says Mega Man Three. Anyway, cool. I have like a um a chroma key on that thing on a web page, so it's so you don't see anything. You know, obviously we don't want a whole screen taking that up. This is good enough. I think this comes with Mega Man Two. Yep, just two. Did I actually beat it on here? Yeah, I did. I'm um, kind of feeling two instead, but just so I could like jump to the ending. But uh, was I playing Mega Man Three? Gaman, we're gonna play Gaman, Gaman Three. Na 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 Oh, nothing. But anyway, I don't know if I'm like the only one like that who, um, even over buying like a brand new game, would want to go for tactile media. You know, like I like. I mean, that's the reason why I want to make like perler art of stuff. Like when I like a game so much, or it's like it's really important to me, I want to have some sort of like physical way to represent it, or so I can like see it around my house and go like, yes, that thing. Like, that's, that thing is a part of me, and I love that. I want to see it. So it's not just, ow. It's not just, like, buying all that preparation, and I still took that hit. It's not just, like, you know, buying physical cartridges, because, of course, that is important, too. Ooh. How are you supposed to make that jump? Oh, this, this stage is stupid. The slowdown, too. Gum Man 3. I'm not looking forward to this. I don't know what order I'm even supposed to be doing these in. It's not a thing I never liked much about Mega Man. Like, there's a clear order. God, the flashing stage. This God, it's obnoxious. Uh, those are gonna rocket me up, aren't they? Yup. Ugh. Well, I did it. No! Oh, I thought I was gonna get knocked back into the pit. This stage! This is horrible! No. No, oh, okay. How do I get up there? You need, like, one of the items or something like that. That's the other thing. It's kind of stupid about these. Like, Mega Man games inherently are really hard in the beginning, and then extremely easy as time goes on. Oh, thank you. You need good drops. Because you're gonna have more items, weapons, and stuff to like get more power-ups as you're playing. And you're playing the same levels, so oh. There was a health thing there! Maybe there wasn't, I don't know. Just screw it, just jump instead. I'm 
music's like all they got going for them. And the slide. Which I think is actually new to two? Oh my god. Why would you do this? Th that is so freaking cruel. Th was this not treacherous enough for you? Where do I st- Oh my god. No, no, it's just here. Okay. And I learned my lesson. Go up. Luckily, you know, I'm not even sure. Uh, here's a, a real technical question. If anybody knows. If, um, the, the slowdown on uh, NES is replicated exactly of where there would be slowdown on uh, either emulator or NES Classic. Or if it is an entirely different problem. Because I don't mind slowdown. Honestly, I know some people are like real freaks about the frame rate, but the game is what it is. Maybe I gotta walk off. What the heck do I do? How are you supposed to deal with that with the power? <laughs> no! No. Oh, God. Okay. It even started me over the stage again. You can see why I fell off of Mega Man. I was like, I want to play the original retro... Retro Mega Man. I did. I beat one. It was atrocious. <laughs> um, I played two. It was better. But it was not great. Oh god. Like, you can't even make that jump. Why would they design it like this? I don't know. Though I find it really amusing how many Mega Man games were able to be made in such a short amount of time on the NES. Like, what are there, seven of them? One console. Seven. Has that ever been topped? Like, in gaming history, has that ever been topped? Think about it. Of course I fell there. Like, one series making its debut and getting six sequels. And ignoring all the other stuff that came later, but six sequels on the same console that it started with. I'm just gonna accept that I take like four points of damage there. There! Okay, no, 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 no. I can't get it on when it's going away from me. It's the only way through. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, fff, raggle fraggle. See, like, actual weapons would probably do wonders here. Yeah, they're giving me ammo, too. You have nothing when you first started Mega Man. Like, this game, these games are so difficult. Okay. Oh. Oh. Alright. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. That was so... <clears throat> okay, wait. Is there a way to jump on this dude? No. I was hoping I could get up there by jumping on him. I really just need the health. The ammo does me no good. Kind of wish you could at least start with something from the previous games, you know? What was the point of all four screen wraps? Yunk. All right, so that was the checkpoint. This is where we game over last time. So excited to give this a try again. There's probably even goodies down there. Can't recall which game uh, first gives the charge buster. Ooh, well, it's not this one. I'm trying. Good point, though. Okay. And yeah, you get one shot by the spikes on the ceiling. This is cruel. Wait, I'm out of time anyways, who cares? Forget it. Forget you, uh, man three. We already played Ninja Gaiden three. Power Blade two, I can skip that crap. Little Samson, we have not played today. And it's actually quite good. Uh, looks like we were somewhere last time, so let's just jump into that. Uh, 
little dragon guy is a boss. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird. He's your, uh, another character you can play as. And I'm doing terribly. You would think this would be like a religious theme or, or something like that. He's totally dead too! But I guess that doesn't matter. I'm 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 super dead. Oh my god. He also takes like two hits from my one. Can he hit me here? I don't think he could yeah, now he can. God, this is tough. You might want to rush, which lets you jump higher. Oh, you might have rush, which lets you jump higher. I don't know in uh, three, but I was pushing everything. Granted, I, if I went to, wait, why is he changing colors? Whoa, whoa, you didn't do that before. I feel like my only opportunity to hit him, yeah, he can hit me. God, this is hard. <laughs> it's not like like a fighting game or anything like this. It's just uh, this is a boss stage. I guess I just must have saved here, and uh, good for good reason. Oh my god, he deals way more damage than I do. Holy crap! I don't know if this is actually the boss of, uh, Samson's stage. Okay, good. I finally dodged an attack. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Does that give me that character now? Password, press start. I have no idea what that did. Alright, well now we're actually at a level. Oh, what's this? Oh no. I love the little twirl he does when he jumps. Like, look at that. Whoa. And what am I throwing? I have a throwy animation, I just uh, tend to not use it. Anyway, this is pro- I haven't really got to say it. This is probably the- mm, This is one of the best looking NES games. I was gonna say the best, but Ninja Gaiden exists, so. Whoa, 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 forget that thing. There's a lot of stuff I can't tell. Is it in the foreground or the background? Huh. The game doesn't show me lives or anything either. But it's still a very pleasant time. Well, there's a life right there, so they must be in the game. That, that is not a platform? Why is that not a platform? How many times am I gonna fall for that? Anyway, Samson's ability is like he can like cling to walls and stuff. At least that's what makes him unique over uh, some of the other characters who will, oh my God, appear later. Or I believe you get to choose them at the start. I'm not positive. But anyway, there's like a, a mouse, a dragon, and a golem. This is also like notoriously um, one of the most or the most expensive NES games ever. There you go. I don't know if I want to go that way for no reason. Oh my god! Thought I'd be walking off um, to a new area. Okay. Climbing is a little weird. Once you love it when you hit the side of a spike and you're dead anyway. I wonder if a heart is uh, money, like it is in uh, Kid Icarus in Castlevania. Who thought that was acceptable? You know. I 
At least I get lots of projectiles on screen. What, do I get three at once, looks like? God. That would have been the time to check if a heart heals me or not. These can actually go through uh, walls, too. It's pretty nifty. Alright. Let's try this again. Not sure which button it is to climb. A and B? All touching a wall? Yeah, I think it's one or the other. So I'm just pushing both. Eh? No, that extends my health. Doesn't do me any good if I can't fill it up. Eh? That's what that does. Okay. Heart is a full heal. Little hearts are half heals. That jumps. Man, this... Not even take damage from a spike. You're just dead. Oof. And actually, that was the end of that, so let's just... Whatever. I beat the dragon. Sheesh. The Legend of Zelda, and I'll once again honor that it says the original because I do have another um, thing in here for specifically the Famicom Disk System version. Where am I? I guess I'm just in the first temple. I've beaten this game uh, at least once. Um, I think on the Wii. Um... Yes. I don't know what I've gotten in here yet. Actually, well, I would know if I have the boomerang. Well, who cares? We'll start over here in a moment. It just, you don't have lives in Zelda. It just kind of kicks you out back to the beginning of the um, dungeon. Which works. Let's see. Uh, let's actually pause. I have nothing. Okay, so I need to get all of them. There's, um, so there's three things you get in this dungeon. You get the bombs. It's, it's a random drop, but you can get them. This is how you fight him. You need to have that power-up beam, or you're screwed. You get the bombs, you get the boomerang, and you get the bow. All in one dungeon. Best dungeon in Zelda history. You know, the reason I probably, I was, no, not even probably, I was, I guarantee you, I was not as excited about Tears of the Kingdom, is because, um, it still doesn't seem to understand what makes a Zelda game, like, so interesting. You need to give the player access to different tools. And those tools need to have some sort of importance across the world and not just makes combat easier, makes traversal easier. You know, and you have to hide them throughout the game. No uh, lies, but deaths are tallied at the end, which is no punishment at all. Um, this you just push. Ah, uh, is it just for the dude? Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Is assuming you already got the map, which we do. Supposedly this uh, temple is the one that is shaped like the eagle. You do have to kill everybody in each room. Uh, one, they save, but two, they can drop stuff. We're gonna go up. I could swear this is where you get one of the um, items that I'd mentioned. My guess is the bow. But you really need both. Cool. Key for progression. Uh, here we go. This is the boomerang room. And I think the bow is after this. One of these, like the last one you kill, I think drops boomerang. Which is weird. You actually get a real item. Oh, no. No. Somewhere else. You get a real item from an enemy in here. Oh, I should trigger that, too. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I messed this up. Ah! Darn it. It's like this one, this one. There it is. Yeah, it's the bow. Hey, at least I got to something. As soon as you take a hit, you're in so much trouble in Zelda 1. Mm. But still, I need it. Even though it fires with... How do you move? 
How do I move on the screen? B, A, D pad. Oh, I guess I, oh, I don't have arrows maybe and it won't count it. But you don't have arrows in the game. You have rupees and you spend the rupees like they were arrows. There we go. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. But um, I gotta get the boomerang first anyway. I don't remember if it's... I think I have to go like down and to the right. Because I think it's actually south of this room. Though we could luck out and this is the room where it's dropped. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Well, that's something. Yes! And I got the beam sword back. I can miss all games without dying, but Tears of the Kingdom has a lot of moments which you may not expect, and then an enemy takes all of your health. Whoa! Yeah, I've also seen in uh, Tears of the Kingdom as a new mechanic where the enemies will actually, like, um, just deal damage to you in terms of, um, like, your unhealable hearts, which is, they do less damage, but still, that's really unfair. Still, uh, they never killed me when what little I played. Zack brought it over and we played a bit. Got another heart! You need to buy arrows, but then arrows take the rupees. Right! It's been a while. I haven't played this game in so long. Oh, I forgot to put the timer on. Stupid me. Oh well, this is our first uh, actual entrance to the overworld. Now I gotta remind myself. How do you actually get to world or level two? I almost always go to level um, three next on accident, and I shouldn't be. Um, let's. Oh boy, those things are like unkillable. You know, a a mod of Zelda one, where you can like identify where uh, certain goodies are, what to bomb what to burn with your lantern. That'd be uh, really helpful. Considering the game was all designed to be like, for you to make a map yourself. I guess kind of like adventure on Atari or something like that. What's this? Buy something, will ya? Well, the bombs are nice, but like you can get those from anything. Um, I don't have enough for the arrow and I don't have enough for the big shield. Cool. Well, there he is. A guy. I don't know how they make their living. Alright, we're in Moblin territory. I genuinely do not remember where level 2 is. Level 3, like I said, I almost always accidentally go to level 3 instead. I'm, like, just out of range. There we go. No money, though. That stinks. The flash, I, that always got me, the flashing rupee. There we go, see, bombs, random drops, you can just get these. Though I may just turn it in late while I get to Sonic 2 Chemical Plant theme stuck in my head randomly. Well, if I were playing on my um, Super Nintendo, we could have actually gotten some Sonic. Should I explore the coast? I feel like that's too far. What am I thinking? I've got a boomerang. Oh my god, these controls, like, this is like the jankiest controlled game. Good. Level 2 is close. I don't know where, though. That is suspiciously organized. Still, we're getting some cash. You know, um, this reminds me. Like I said, I got um, Atari working on... Oh, I think I went the wrong way. And I was fruitlessly trying to get Acer's customer... Yeah, here we go. Ace's customer service on the phone because my laptop is failing to boot. Uh, oh boy. Good luck with that. Typically when a problem like that occurs, nobody wants to talk to you. Alright, well, we're, we're getting a good amount of money, too, so this is good. Luckily, like, whenever you touch something, you keep it, too. Because, like I said, there's no real lives in the game. 
you just keep coming back with everything, so it's pretty nice that it auto-saves you like that. Alright, I think once you hear that, that sound of the ocean, you're close. Oh my god. I should use my boomerang more. Yeah, that was helpful. Good! An another ability that just, like, gets forgotten. Back in the forest to the east. R really? Well, if I die here, we'll fast way back. Works out. Forest to the east? What? Let me see. Koji Kondo. Well, I'm gonna investigate the forest to the east. Trying to get to new tiles we haven't been to. That are not Moblin territory. Maybe this way. Well, it's new. You know, just fire. Or not. Forget it. Uh. Whoa! Yeah, Moblin territory. I think we fought our way through this one, so forget this. Let's just keep screen wrapping. Hmm. I think I've gone too far. Shoot. There goes my ability to fire. Beams. That's a burnable thing, but it doesn't matter. Hard to explain sometimes with uh, chat feeling slow. Yeah, yeah. And I have it on the faster speed, by the way. I have chat on as fast as possible. There's options. That was close. I shouldn't have risked that. We're still in Moblin territory. I'm gonna go south, east, north. Try and follow this weird... Oh my god. Okay, that's not bad. That was bad. That was pointless. Uh, well, I beat Bloodborne last night, so that's something. Awesome! You know what? I have been st stuck in Bloodborne. I, like, don't know where to go. And I don't want to blame the game for it, but boy, it's not as fun as Dark Souls. I don't know why. I'm, I'm waiting for it to get better. I beat, um, where was I? The first, like, th three or four bosses, I think. Okay, I've at least fought three or four bosses. But still. I, I don't know. It's, ugh. The loading is horrible. I really wish so badly that, like, they didn't make me grind to heal. That bush is level 8. believe level 2 is north of that. Well, now we're north. Or whatever that's worth. Where are you at? Dude, I don't know where I'm at. There is a hidden place to bomb here. Oh, you know what? Well, I have bombs, so why don't we try it? I think it's here. Could be wrong. Is it here? Well. Getcha. A lot of stuff feels samey in the game at first. I mean, it's, yeah, it's designed to mess with you. Well, that works out. Darn it! getting no cash too gotta get back in the forest shoot those things come alive too I think oh my god dropping nothing I can take them I just need to focus man the, the controls are so wiggly wobbly and now you drop the timer. Is this it? No, this looks like a trap. Boom! But why? Whoa! Oh my god, he's so quick. What is the point of this? Okay. You 
Stop. Okay. Ah! Oh, that's it! It's a secret to everybody. But still, I got- I got something. Ten. That's all you gave me. <laughs> yeah, bombable points, you have to be like, on top of it. I have beaten this. Oh my god. I think I know where you might be at, but don't want to spoil anything. Dude, I, if it's gonna make me enjoy the game more, spoil away. Because, like, I, I'm, like, uh, so not enjoying the, the fact that I have to grind to heal. That system is dumb. Or, like, yeah, for just regular heals. Oh, blue candle. Blue candle. Blue candle. We need that. Alright. So now we can burn bushes. I don't think it's gonna matter yet. I mean, burning, getting arrows is important too, but... Getting out of here is also kind of important. And I'm out of time. We're gonna have to switch games. I just like Zelda 1. You know, I'm pretty sure this is a burnable one, so let's test it. Nope! Let's not die. Henwick or Forbidden Woods? Pfft. Based on you saying first four bosses. Uh, well here. Um, problem is like, I just don't really know where to go. From the hidden rupee, level two is over to the left two screens. The hidden rupee. Eh? Excite bike! Here you go. Put that through. Okay. Uh, this had to come with Excite Bike, right? Yeah, it did. Okay. Now this, I'm only a little bad at. Let's do like a random one here. Do I accelerate with A? Yeah. I don't remember what B even does. Ah! Who set this up? Whoop! Oh man, I just missed that boost! Zelda 1. Oh, I didn't get my timer on. Uh, you can find hearts in hidden bushes. But it, the fire needs to burn right on the bush right away. Wait, right on the bush. Yeah, like, it needs to land on the bush. Yeah, I remember now. It's... I haven't beaten that in a long time. Loved Excite Bike when I was a kid. Yeah, the, um, the fast scrolling on this is actually really impressive, what they managed to do with this game. Ah! Uh, at least there's a boost here. For whatever that did. There was, like, a speed up, too, right? I forgot how to use it. Clearly not start. Was it, st was it select? Yeah, I agree. Grinding for blood vials is kind of bad. It's really bad. Like, it discourages me from wanting to play the game. As opposed to, like, Dark Souls, where... It's, it's trying to... It entices you to keep playing by taking your souls from you and making you want to get back to that spot again. And then there's Bloodborne that's like... No, you lost that, and uh, you no longer have what you grinded for up to that point. It's like you, it's just an outright loss. And then, what I think is probably the stupidest choice in the entire game. When you get to a new lantern, or just any lantern in general. Sure, you can go back to the, the something of dreams, whatever it's called. And um, you can heal there for free. But you can't heal there if you just touch the lantern, like in Dark Souls, where you touch like the... Uh, the bonfire. Why then is the game forcing me? Forcing me? Wait, uh, turbo kind on the arrows, but ground could. I'll check that in a bit. Um, why is the game forcing me to just use the load screens? You know, because that's what you have to do. You have to go to the lantern, load the uh, the dream place, get your heal, and then go back again 
Just so you could heal. That's just bad. I don't know, because, like, the PS4, it does not load very fast. They made a PS4 Pro for a reason, and I don't have one. Uh, I know um, you can play it on 5, and um, I'm actually very, uh... It's, like, the only reason I want to get a PS5 lately is just so I can finish Bloodborne and not have to deal with the horrible loading to beat the game. Or rather, just within a reasonable time frame, because it is just, like, frustrating. Like, the game isn't hard. It's hard enough, you know, it's supposed to be challenging, but it's more frustrating that I have to keep loading the main world again, and then go all the way back, and then, after I heal, go back again, and maybe, like, waste some of my, my souls, whatever they're called in that game, to buy more blood vials, so have a chance, and then you have to grind some more to even have a chance. It's, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Uh, five, sure, why not? I've never played this one. Ooh, new colors. You have turbo, kind of, but the arrows on the ground cool the temperature of your bike. Uh, oh, really enjoyed Excite Bike World Rally on the Wii. Oh, no. It's not very well optimized on PS5. Load times are better, but that's it. That's all I need. Just the load times. I don't care about resolution. Oh my gosh. They're getting this all on camera. I don't care about the resolution. I don't care about the frame rate. The game needs to actually perform. Because boy howdy does it not perform well on PS4. Where like, load shouldn't matter. You know, like, it shouldn't be a part of the game for me to continuously keep going back and loading just so I can get the heal. Like, it's not a, a, it doesn't make the game more challenging. It doesn't give me an advantage as a player. All it does is waste more of my time. It's just bad design. Which is shocking, coming from, um... Whoa! Oh, that was close. Can't believe I didn't... Like, wipe out earlier. Ew! So, if you haven't even seen Excite Bike or know what I'm even doing, um, aside from just holding the A button, you actually have to, like, flick uh, the analog back and forth like this in order to... Well, one, you could do silly stuff like wheelies. But you have to, like, tip back when you go up on hills and, like, lean forward to try and land flat. I love tumbling in the game. Well, sure, four. Didn't try four. The yellow place. So yeah, um, I fell off of Bloodborne. I killed. Let me think. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and describe the bosses that I fought, just so that Cameron can, I guess, help me figure this out. Um, the first one I fought was uh just like a random dude, who, um, after I thought I killed him, he turned like into some giant vampire-ish, no werewolf-like monster thing. S father something. I don't know. Um. Well, you can sort of heal back what you lost by fighting back, and there are uh, places you can grind the vials. Yeah, but... I don't want to grind them! And I, I'm trying to get used to the game's mechanic of, like, you gotta attack to heal back stuff? I, I don't like it yet, at all, but hey, I'll get there. Uh, tilting in this game helps with ramps. Yes. That's what I was trying to... Trying to say there when describing this, but I'm trying to talk about two different games at once. One is, um, Excite Bike for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And then there is, of course, um, Bloodborne. Father gas Gastration Problems, that guy. So, um, I killed him. And, um, then I found this big, I don't know what it was called, um, just a generic horror beast thing on top of a bridge. I killed him. I didn't know what that did. Or like what I'm doing in the story or anything I'm gonna kill him um let me see I went to a new environment uh, oh I'm out of time I worked my way to the back of like some uh, church um, grave site area and uh, there was a large cathedral in the back with this blood monster I say blood, but that's the only thing I could think of, because it was it looked like it was just made of blood, but it was like a wolf. 
I killed that thing. Um, and I'm like, what do I do now? Like, it was a dead end. Like, the game doesn't lap around anywhere. It's like, Dark Souls was so cool because of, like, the open Metroidvania-esque. And Bloodborne kind of has that, but I don't know where I'm going. Like, did I miss, like, a whole area? I had to have, because I, I don't know where to go. I found, like, two other new paths. Like, probably three. There's a lot of new paths I found, and they all end up in dead ends. Like, nothing goes anywhere. So, it's frustrating. Toastrave! Oh, well, he wants to play Batman again. Now we're going to roll again. Um, I'd like to thank you for being like an adoptive, uh, brother to me, as I have no siblings. Toast! I appreciate it. I, I'm glad that at least some- oh, Star Soldier is a new one. I'm glad that I get to be there for some people out there. Because honestly, I- oh, shoot! I have siblings, and I- I don't like them. Well, they could be okay. More so, I had- I- narcissistic parents. And didn't find out until very recently. And, uh, they're unhealthy, toxic. It's, it's very bad. So the whole relationship for my family was not good. So I actually intentionally tried to play, uh, different games on purpose. It's kind of why I do, uh, Retro Roulette, to just play tons of different random stuff. <clears throat> and, um, just show other people new things. We get to experience them together. And not so much you know, like, chase the new trends and just play the new stuff. I would rather, like, be there for people and, uh, introduce them to new things and have a good time. Star Soldier. There we go. This is also an NSO. Um, sounds like you're in Forbidden Woods. I don't think I'm anywhere near woods. Ah, uh, my timer. I don't think I'm anywhere near woods. Um, I'm in... Let me think. Oh, I also fought this other boss. I think it was a boss. It sucked. Um, it was this dude who was a sniper on top of this building. It was so frustrating. Oh god, I guess that's background. Oh, it's foreground? Anyway. Um, oh, this is so- oh, this background is obnoxious. Anyway, yeah, I kill- I killed that dude. Because he kept shooting at me. It was frustrating, so I killed him. And I kept exploring, and there was nothing in the rest of the world. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm gonna go now. Why did I come here? Hmm. Have you ever played Jesus on Famicom? No. But I need more, um, Famicom disc system, and just Famicom in general. Stuff to put on here. Anything that, um, oh, shoot. Oh, old Yarnum? Yeah, that area was not helpful. I found nothing of use there. I'm dying so fast in this game. I'm trying. But yeah, this is on NSO. Who made this? Was it like Konami? Konami did a lot of space shooters. I can't even see anywhere. No, licensed by Nintendo, copyright Hudson. Oh, Hudson. Hudson did a lot of these too. Then you fought Bl Blood Starved Beast. That was the name. Yeah. I have no idea what to do after this point. See, so yeah, I fought those characters. And I don't know where to go. Somebody said something like a new door has opened up. And, uh, I can't find it. And, um. I. What else did I try? I feel like I've done so many things. I don't even know what this upgrade does. Oh, I can't shoot in the background? Uh, it's an RPG with a fan translation. Hmm. No, I've actually not heard of it. I've got a, a majillion RPGs on here, though. And I'm actually intentionally trying to find other things to play lately that are not RPGs, because I have way too many RPGs on my two-playlist. So it looks like the green stuff I can blow up. But only sometimes? You die so easy in this. How am I supposed to keep a track of where I am? Why would I not fire like this? If you hold down B, he just does this. Can you imagine? Can you imagine trying to beat this game just holding B? Gosh, no. No, 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 no. They move so fast! This is ridiculous. How does anybody see anything 
farther than the first 30 seconds of this game. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to say we tried it. Cool. Bubble Bobble 2. I did not even know there was a Bubble Bobble 2. Um, Zach had to point it out to me. Should have went the other way. But it's going to be right around here somewhere. Yep, Bubble Bobble 2. Yeah, essentially Old Yarm is just for the chalice you get off Bloodstar Beast. Uh, okay. And then I was in some other area. Um, with lots of those werewolf guys running around. Um, no, maybe that is Old Yarnum. Um, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I think the last thing, Cameron, that I found was I... This was so stupid. I went to some new area that I thought was a dead end for sure. Um, it was underneath the church, I think. I put my timer on. Uh, here we go. And I, like, found a way to get inside of this large building. Now, it's the beginning of Fantastic Story. Make, make a journey to cave the monster... Whatever. Um, I got inside. Ah! What? Oh, now I gotta touch all the desserts. Yay. Um, and I, I, like, dropped down. This took so many tries. I was dropping down. Just on the off chance, it would bring me to a new area. And I thought for sure that it was not intended in the game. Because it was way too hard. And, uh, no. It, it turned out it actually took me to a new environment. And weirdly enough, the environment was the dream place. But sort of, kind of, not really. I, uh, have no idea. But that's where I was. And it was another dead end. Of course, it was another dead end. Alright, gotta give me my, my vegetables and my parfaits. And a heart. I don't know if a heart actually does anything, but... This, uh, looks and plays exactly like, uh, the first Bubble Bobble. All right, well, at least some sort of simplicity and comfort. Look at that, I actually took damage, and it kept going. Whoa, whoa, what did I touch? Well, I don't know what happened there. Okay, bubbles can't go through there. Uh... Oh, you touch the bubble and you instant. Oh, the green ones. Okay, so now I know don't touch the green bubbles, but how am I supposed to get in here and fight these guys? By fight, I mean like, you know, shoot bubbles. That's how you progress through Cathedral Ward to get to the boss there. Are you, are you you're insane, right? I mean, I was supposed to drop down. Oh, right, I did find a new area. Hold on, but it was super small. Um, what was that area? Um, because yeah, if you, you fell down in the proper way, you could find that way to take you back to, um, thank you. You're welcome. You could go back to the opening, or the, whatever the dream place is. I did that. But also, um, I found a way, like, you, you go down to the bottom, and I fought, like, these giant boar things. Oh my god. Yeah, you fight these giant boars, I think. Oh, kill him. This guy's so bad. Anyway, um... But I even killed all that stuff, and it didn't matter. Because there was, like, another giant werewolf thing at the bottom. I killed him. I've never had so many troubles in a, a Souls-like, and it's not because of, like... The, the, the challenge of the game. I think it's what's really was driving me nuts. It's not that the game was difficult. I didn't know where the heck to go. I mean, sure, the game's really hard, but... I feel like it's hard for all the wrong reasons. Like, eh, hard and challenging. Not the same thing. Yeah, you went to the old workshop down in the pit in the tower. But where am I supposed to be going? Uh, how do I even... I guess that's what the heart did. 
Wow, something actually took multiple shots at Bubble Bobble. Uh, is that a life or something? Uh, corn! Corn. Never ending game. Round seven. Well, I'll get somewhere eventually. Maybe. At least I landed on a parfait. Oh, there's another one. Eh, can I get my pumpkin? No, he automatically jumps too high. You push A and it's not like you can gauge how high you want to jump, he just goes. Candy! Munch. Don't touch my pumpkins. Yeah, anyway, it's been probably like half a year since I played any of Bloodborne. I was just very, uh, tired with it. Wanted to like it so bad. So bad. But yeah, it, uh, it did not want to like me. I guess the... Does that loop too? Oh my gosh. Yep, it loops. All the way down in the pit, in the tower, through the door, and believe your way through the Grand Cathedral shouldn't be too complex. It was a dead end. I'm thinking the the, the place with the boar, right? That's what we're talking about. There's two boars. And there's, like, nothing else down there. Well, there's a lot of enemies, but... You can go in either direction, and it doesn't take you anywhere. Well, we're out of time anyway, so... I'll just put him here. Anyway, I had no idea what the heck to do. I was even checking guides, and I was like, "What? where am I supposed to actually go, though? Shatter hand. That was actually kind of fun, but we're going to keep spinning. Mega Man 1. Lord. Here, we'll, we'll go back to the home screen. No, actually, Mega Man 1 was not included on here. Um, I don't know what this locked one's for. Oh, it's just because I can go to the front of Dr. Wily's castle, and these are the different stages of the boss fight. Um, I'm going to assume the one that's one minute later is the one that we want to see. Let's try that. Let's just fight the final boss of Mega Man. Hey, I worked for it. Oh, no, this is just watch the cutscene. Hey, look, I did it. Nah, man. Well, you can do better than that. Let's actually play it. All right, let's see if I can actually beat the boss. I doubt it. See, I don't remember any of the weapons. Oh my gosh, she actually aims those at me. Uh, probably got a switch. Cinnamon gun! Hey, it works. Whatever it was. Okay, this is actually working really well. Whatever this gun is. Mm. It's gonna take forever. He's probably weak to something. That's how the Mega Man games go. Oh, one more shot. Ow! How did I screen wrap? Did I really do that on my first try? Oh yeah, sweet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I am finally good at something. Um. God, yeah, I have no idea, Cameron. And it was honestly, um. It wasn't even, like, losing stuff that bothered me, like, not leveling up. I, like, I don't know what level I'm supposed to be at, if I'm even playing the game correctly, because, like, there apparently are only two shields in the entire game, and I had one, and it's terrible. And I want to play it like I'm sneaking around and stuff, but the game just doesn't want me to do that. This can't recall boars in the Cathedral Ward. Um, I went somewhere from the Cathedral... Okay, so, if you're in the main, that Cathedral, where there's some NPC... I went downstairs, um, I think I found like an elevator or something, and it took me to like a, t a tower. I fell down through the tower, to the very bottom of it, fought like a giant werewolf thing, exit there, and um, there's those, uh, there's another lantern down there I think. And then there's the, um, <clears throat> I'll start it over. There's, um... That's really it. Yeah, there were just, like, giant boars down there. Um, I don't remember much else about it. It's been a while. Um, 
I don't remember who you wanna... Cutman's got the metal blade, so... That we need. Like, immediately. Breaks the game. However, the game's really hard. Uh, you don't want to use shields in Bloodborne. They are 100% useless. Yeah, I found out. Which sucks, because I want to use a shield, but... Oh my god. I also, like, want to be able to learn how to play the game properly, because I'm supposed to have a gun in one hand and then a sword in the other one. Which seems so stupid. But it's what it wants. Just ammo. Oh god. I remember playing this particular stage quite a bit when I was younger. Because this is what I was trying to review to beat Mega Man. To make a video for Ocarina Hero. And I could not beat this stage. This stage is really hard. As you can see. It's a little BS. Mm hmm. Good. Stage is dumb. Mmm. This is little things from Yoshi. Yoshi's Island. Yoshi is an actual game. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Mmm. Give me some health for crying out loud. Okay, he takes damage, at least. Alright. What am I supposed to do there? Okay, good, good, good. And that's it, just two little... Yep, game rewards aggressive playstyle. Which is fine, I just need to, like, get into the habit of understanding, like, what I need to physically do. Maybe I need to watch somebody, like, do a speedrun or something so I understand, like, okay, I'm supposed to just attack through being attacked? Am I really supposed to be attacking like this? Oh, dear. Oh, oh my god. Uh -huh. This is so long. Oh my god, stop, stop, stop. I'm hoping something would, like, spawn infinitely so I can get some health. There! Oh, this is unfairly placed. I remember this. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Like, I did it! And my five minutes are up? You serious? On one stage of Mega Man? Well, I did beat uh, the final boss. However, uh... Hey, I actually did. I killed him. Okay, come on! So many things with shields. Oh my god, we're close though. We're close. Oh my god! And he deals like 10... T oh my god! And I'm all the way back here. No. Nah. Nah, man. Adventure Island 1. Um, I'm at the point where I might just like choose one game that I actually just want to play. Instead of all these uh, randomness. In fact, you know, I might do that. I'm gonna legit start playing something after this. I'll just select what I want to do. Like maybe Rogue Dawn, I don't know. What is this? Oh, is this just where you start? Yeah, the controls in this one suck compared to two. Well, I mean, two didn't have good controls either. <sighs> Could not stand original Mega Man. Uh, yeah. Original Mega Man is a steamy hot pile of garbage, but I beat that game, darn it. It's not that terrible. But it's pretty bad. Oh, now I can't go backwards. Well, there goes that. 
and death. There's no adventure to be had in Adventure Island. Just pain. Lots of pain. What should I play? If it's up to me, like, we, we got through the stream, what should we play? Choice. I could do, um, Zelda 1 Famicom. I could do, um, Metroid 1 on Famicom. If there's anything you're curious that we haven't played. Like I said, basically anything on uh, NES or the Famicom Disk System, though there's a lot of games I wish I had on Famicom Disk System that I just don't, that I can't even find backups online anywhere. Oh, we lucked out there. That was a cruelly placed bird, by the way. How was I supposed to know that was... You attack it. You attack it and nothing happens? Here we go again. This is a real game they expected people to play. And for some reason, it's popular. I don't understand this. That was close. What's going on? So this is my regular jump, okay? But sometimes he jumps higher. I don't understand why. Complaining about Mega Man. Have you played Adventure Island? You know, talk about jank. Oh god. Oh my god. I'm just gonna focus on not dying. See, that is a trap! That was designed deliberately so you would lose your power up. Alright, don't touch that. It's apparently, uh... Alright. Look at this, we're scrolling in both directions. We're showing off. Look at how advanced this game is. Oh yeah, you're invincible now, right? Got this in two. Three? Do we play three? Or was it two? Okay. Frog's dead. Was I supposed to kill that frog? G. I got to a G. Any requests on what I should play? If I just actually, like, turn something on. For no reason. Even if it's the rest of the stream. That's fine. I'm thinking of something that we like. We can just like sit back and enjoy. Like we did our our dabbling today, of trying out new stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What I get? Okay. Fire. Well, at least it doesn't have that awful arc. Should be a little more helpful here. Oh my god, you're so slippery! Fine with whatever. We could continue to play that, uh, that new Zelda game that everybody's talking about. A Hyrule Fantasy. Zelda 1 on Famicom Disk System. Alright, 3. I'm gonna beat this one on my first try. Yo! Get touch veggies, get money. Duh! That thing distracted me in the foreground. I thought it was an enemy. It might have been a platform. Dude, I don't know. Hey, look, I'm out of time. I'm here. Did it. I did my I did my due diligence. Alright, um, forget Adventure Island. Apparently there's two more Lolo games, I don't even know about that. Batman, Battle of Olympus, Battletoads, Bionic Commando, Blaster Master. We actually played a lot of this today. Bucky O'Hare. So freaking hard. Alright, Dracula's Castle is for some reason showing up here. Oh, because the first two Castlevanias actually came on the system. I want to see more Dragon Warrior, but it's good, not sure. Uh, I'm not really feeling RPGs, honestly. Like I said, I was saying before, I've been playing so many lately. Like, even if I was picking one that I really wanted to do, I would probably get into um, the original Megami Tensei games. 
But then eh, I should probably have split up um, Famicom translation in its own folder versus, uh, you know, NES, because clearly it's overfilled in this. Clicking like Contra, uh, Crystallis. Yeah, these two. Eventually, we'll get to those two. I basically made sure that they booted. Um, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Dragon Warrior. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go to um, the uh, Famicom Disk System. Gunsmoke, we didn't try that. Oh my gosh, Kabuki Quantifier. This game is like the Batman game we played. It's so hard. Um, Life Force, Little Samson, Load Runner. All the Mega Mans. Oh yeah, and the other Metal Gear I have on my other system. Um, Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3. Clearly I beat those on here. You can tell by the little holes on them. Uh, the Popeye. The original Popeye. Uh, Princess Tomato. I have no idea what the heck that is. River City Ransom. Shatterhand was actually kind of fun. Uh, Wrecking Crew. Zoda's Revenge. Which is actually Star Tropics 2. Messed up. That's Star Tropics 2. Oh, you know what? Um, I think we only got to see one of the hacks in here. You wanna see you wanna see some lols? Let's try Super Mario Forever. This is the worst. Okay, this is the absolute worst. This is a real game. Well, I, I mean of course it's not real, but there, okay. Alright. I can do it. I can do it. You have to jump instantly. Anyway, I've gotten like halfway through that level before, but that's the first level. And the whole thing is like that. And apparently it's possible. It's like what uh, Super Mario Maker's impossible levels are, but they're all on the NES and it is old. It's an old version. Oh, by the way, it didn't have any cover art, so I just put the European art for Mario Brothers on there. Uh, Metroid Rogue Dawn. I really don't know where exactly I am, but... Here we are. This is a mod of the original um, NES Metroid. Oh, damn. I don't know if I was supposed to be going up. There is a map. Was I supposed to be going up? I'll try and go back up. Uh, Death Tone would drive me over the edge. Actually, I think, I think there is no way back up. Yeah, but, like, can you imagine? This is a mod of the original, um, Metroid 1. That's crazy. Uh, I can try and get to that goodie over there. This is supposed to be, like, I guess... Samus in like a Federation outfit. It's before, um, I don't know. It's supposed to be like a prequel story. They actually made their own thing. Look at the water move too. Wow, that's nice. Like, how is this a mod of one of the earliest um, NES games? And it looks this good. I probably should have been on top of whatever that was because... I don't know what powers I have, if any. It looks like I've got Morph Ball and Missiles, which we don't want to fire. I completely don't remember what I did. Uh, there's a way above here, it looks like. Don't have a lot of energy. Could go down here. But this looks familiar. I feel like I already went down here. It's hard to tell. How does he even have, like, new music and all of that, too? I don't really play a lot of modded games, but this is just impressive how much they managed to do in here. But anyway, I gotta get through that eventually. What I'm thinking we'll try is in here. We didn't get to try enough of this. Oh, but if you're curious, just to, like, see that it's even functioning, I, I turned this on in the one minute to make sure it worked. Let's do this together for a minute. This is the earliest um, incarnation of a dating simulator. And from my understanding, this random guy going to high school or something at home keeps getting, like, phone calls by some pop idol. 
and nobody believes him at school, and it's the corniest thing. And apparently it just started this whole wave of an entire genre. And uh, it was recently given a fan translation, like, like a, I think early in the stream I said this, sometime last year. And um, I decided, you know what, I can't find any other Famicom Disk System games to put on here, so fine, here we go. This is Tomiki High School. Your dad relocated for a job, so this is your first day here. Hamster, what kind of school life awaits me? Only one way to find out. By running in anime style. Switch disc side. And now we're in trouble, because that's really hard to do. I forget how to do it. Um, I made it like a, a button input command. I don't remember what it was. So... That is extremely hard to do on these systems. It's the worst thing they can ask for us to do. Um, you know what? Where was I? Sure. I think I was actually just playing this the other day. We'll get invested in this one. This is the Famicom version. So we played some of the original earlier. Well, this is the original, actually. Famicom Disk System. And I'll turn the volume up for the rest of this, too. So you can actually hear it. Well, sort of hear it. It's very quiet. At least it's making noise. Alright, so we're going to try again to find where level 2 is. I did beat level 1 in this one, uh, but as we... Wow, what a weird sound. That's so weird! Sound effects are all different. I do not have the blue candle, nor do I have the arrows. Ugh. That sounds so strange. But this is the original. This is what it really is. And it was the, uh... The port that we all are familiar with. Oh, I didn't mean to waste a bomb there. That's a bummer. At least I got eight of them. Um, maybe Joe, you can try and help me get back to... Oh, that's suspicious. I'll oh, shoot. I'll oh, shoot again. Help me get back to where I need to go to get to this... Um. Oh, need a big shield, I think. Um, this might be a bomb. No, it uh, might be a uh, candle. I don't know. Shame, it's nothing. Uh, okay, so this was a merchant, I think. Fighting from afar is just the way to do things. So the sparkling rupee is actually just one. The dark blue ones are the ones that give you five. Let me see if this really is what I thought it was. Yep. Um... Arrows would be nice, but we don't have enough. And I think the blue candle is more important. Okay, we don't want to go to the desert. I think it is still in the woods. Um, we might have to go through the Moblins area to get there. I'm not sure. Where was the It's a Secret to Everybody guy? We gotta find him, too. You would think if I'm gonna do this, I would just get a map. Probably should just get a map. Need bracelet to move the rock. I think it's a warp. Ah. Uh, now, this one. I could try and be more particular about where I drop the, uh... Ooh, nice. Of course, not nice. Where I drop the bomb. I could swear this is bombable. Uh, I'm gonna guess that tile. That tile... That tile. Yeah! Choose one. Well, there's an obvious answer here. The left one is a full heal potion. Screw that. You want another heart. And that was definitely worth some bombs. I knew there was something there. See, I told you, it's been a while, but... Quite a while, actually. Ow. Oh my god. Hey, at least we got another heart out of it. Uh, we don't want to fight this. There's gonna be some way out of this. Maybe south. Just gotta comb this place. This, um... I think he charged 60 for blue candle. Yeah, we should just do it. Alright. You're gonna need blue candle. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 
It's fine. It's all a net gain in the end. Oh, good. Like, even if you die, you'll just come back in the beginning with more stuff. It's weird. Famicom is actually quieter than the NES. And there's no way for me to actually make it louder. Hopefully the volume for you guys is at an acceptable level. You can still hear it. Ah! There we go. What? Nothing. Time stop. Boom. 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 Nothing. So, uh, I don't exactly remember where Joe was telling me before I had to go. Um, and the best part is this isn't even the Lost Woods. Those, those woods are bad places. Okay, good. So I can block arrows. Boom. Got another heart. All right. We'll chip away at this. I don't know if I really even should be bothering. I think if you go over here to the right, that takes you in that secret path. Which may or may not even uh, bring us anywhere. It doesn't. Yeah, having the uh, map would be really, really nifty. I'm going to work my way to the right instead. God, they always die. They always get me. Oh, come on. I didn't even get the money. If only you could, like, actually swing your sword instead of, uh, you know, poke it forward gently. Whoop. Okay. Just one. I think there's another bombable, uh, place in here. Oh, yes. Just hoping I can at least get into a, a, a level already. Though I am, uh, fairly confident we have more than passed it. It's not this far. Hmm. Okay, cool. I got three rupees. Yeah, it's another shop. Buy some! Looks like he has the same price as anybody else. Bummer. Maybe um I can work my way around and find it eventually. Wow, that guy didn't even, like, flinch. Shoot, this is a dangerous room. Okay. Oh my god. Sheesh. Okay, good. That was at least, um, getting me back to where I was. And we're here again. Um. Crap. I think to the right was the, uh, secret to everybody guy. He only gives you ten rupees, though. Ten measly rupees. Missed the bombs from the screen wrap again. No, this is not where that is. Level 2 might actually be, like, in a cruel spot where it's, like, you have to burn a bush or something stupid. Zelda 1's full of that nonsense. We're gonna die. At least I would think we're gonna die, but we seem to be okay at the moment. And I don't want to get too high up and go to the desert. But I feel like I have combed this place and I still can't find where... Oh, there it is! Oh, God, don't die now. No! No! Boom, we're in. Okay. <laughs> we're playing level two. I think it's level two. Hello? Oh, good. That was gonna be like flip discs. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't remember how the um, layout of this place goes, so. Bomb cap is eight right now. Works out. Get our health back. Game over. Those are actually different sprites looking different directions. So it's like, it's like a cheap cheap and a dragon looking thing. Come on, give me a heart shoot. It's weird, the sound effects, I hope you can hear it okay. If you want it higher, I, I will try and get it higher. I'll have to get into my computer settings and tell OBS to just play louder. Um, I have two keys, I could just take the right door. Um. Right as I am typing help, you find it. Mm. Getting these stupid snakes, man, they're fast. 
Yeah, that's why you want to kill every enemy. Sometimes it opens doors. Okay. I mean, they're dropping goodies, and we want that stuff. I don't understand. Like, they got the boomerang to work diagonally really well, but Link can't do it himself. You know, like, he has to do this nonsense to turn. I can hear it loud and clear. Excellent! I can never tell, because, like, I listen to something totally different than what you guys do. Just in case there's another key. I'm getting greedy. I've already got two. I think I have um, an extra one that I didn't have to spend in the last dungeon. Because there's a bit of a glitch with the first one. You can, like, enter um, the dungeon, get a key, and leave without using it. Oh my gosh, these guys are tough. We need a better sword, too. Oh, why'd they just die? Why'd they just die? Mm. Oh my god, snakes. Boom. Yeah! Four keys. We need a map. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, okay. What the heck is this? I don't remember this. I guess it's just a regular enemy. Good thing I could see where I dropped that thing. This dungeon's shape is very odd. Oh no, don't. Don't steal my beam from me. Uh, boom. <laughs> the question of life. Why'd you just die? Uh, I like the master key in this game, so you need more keys. I like the master game key in this game, so you need more keys. What? Some enemies trigger and all kill. That's weird. I do not remember that as a, whoa. No, Link, oh my God. I do not remember that feature. Oh, we're getting so much cash. Okay, random, it just spawns bombs in the corner, which we can't use. Oh! You don't even need to use the... We gotta go back in this dungeon. We're gonna fight Dodongo. This is Dodongo, by the way. Boom. Boom. That was Dodongo. <laughs> but uh, we gotta go back in this place. I never even opened a single locked room. Bum bum. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. Didn't even get the the map. There might be an actual item in there. There probably is. Oh, you gotta actually leave and then go back in. Huh. Okay, so we need to go up one, then to the right, I think. It's our first locked door. No? Did I ever go to the right? Uh, maybe, who knows. But either way, there's a new locked door. I say we take it. Ugh. It's unsettlingly close. Alright, um, well, compass, sure. If we're looting the place, it's helpful. No! Oh! Right, I think we're the green spot. Let's see if we move. Yeah, all right, so we're the little green dot. We want to go up to that blue dot. Or the blue dot might just be showing me the ending area, which we have already been in. Oh, nice, it happened again. Uh, we don't need any rest of that stuff, because apparently my cap is at eight. Quest two, and this is cool, since the dungeons shapes spell out Zelda. There we go. Yeah, it's actually just showing me how to get there. I don't know if level two actually has any real goodies for us, but uh, looks like on our way up, we gotta keep opening these. I really didn't have to be wasting these keys like this, but good. Here we go. Let's just open. Uh, oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is totally gonna give us a reward, though, if we can do this. Oh my god, oh my god, this is crazy! So much on screen. No! I haven't even killed one yet! One. Two! I got it! I got it! Oh, is that the better boomerang? <laughs> Oh my god! I got it, right? Did I get it? Yes. Yes, I got the, the better boomerang. Which is weird. You get that immediately in level 2, but... Huh. Some of the locked rooms you can bomb upwards. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of, um, a lot of trickery in these. Oh! Game. Game. These are a, a lot easier when you have a map. Are you telling me they all have the good boomerang too now? Because I see them all using the blue one. Good, that helps at least. Get the heart. Alright, we were like three of them up, I think, when we got to this one. The one that gave us the goodie. Uh, so let's go four. Oh my god, of course. At least I'm getting cash. Good! Man, it's got like a boom! It's a boom! It's a good sound. And... Not worth that! Mm-mm. That might be a one we can bomb up, though, if I can't get in the room to the right above. Oh, it's a key door, though. And there goes that ability. Unless I can get a key. Or a heart. Oh, well. Grind of roops. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, nice. Boomerang can kill the... Oh, it does damage now. Oh, that's amazing. This is actually a very worthwhile upgrade. Did I spend a key on this? Use bombs. What happens if you get back in that room again? You know, like after you've beaten a, a boss, what happens if you go back in? Hmm. Oh! Good thing you guys can't see. It sure feels like you can't see. Oh my god, fairy. I don't know how I, I tied that out, but I did. I can't imagine... Yeah, Dodongo doesn't come back, right? I need to replay this game again. I don't remember the last time I played this, Joe. Yeah, what happens? Am I just here? I'm just here. Time to go home. <laughs> Isn't there a fast warp out of a dungeon? But I'm pretty confident I know where level 3 is. Granted, we got a lot of money out of coming back in here, which is good. Got a net gain on killing enemies as well, and I got my hearts back up. This game is, like, inspired by so many things, and I'm glad that, um... Like, it's only real innovation is the save feature. Isn't that funny? Like, everything that people think that Zelda is so great about, it's actually just the save function. That's what makes this game so special. The rest of it is really just, like, a better uh, graphics and control version of um, Adventure on Atari. You could argue maybe, like, Dragon Stomper on Atari. But those are more so, like, D&D. It's like a D&D kind of game. Well, killed them all and nothing happened. Just lost some, uh... Ah, shoot. Now we went all the way to the left, I believe, as well. Just to gotta kill that snake, and we already did that. And we're out! So now I gotta figure out how to get out of level 2. That is, like, really, really, uh, convoluted how to get there. Let's see if I can remember on my way out. 
Or kill this guy, too. I need some cash, man. And a heart. A couple hearts would be great. Ooh. I've never actually played um, the second quest, and I didn't ever really want to do it while naming my character Zelda. I wanted to, like, replay the whole thing and then play it again on the second quest. Hmm. Yeah, I was pretty close the whole time. I was just making all the wrong choices, wasn't I? It's not that far, is it? We're directly below it right now. I'm trying to memorize the map here. Well, there actually is a map. But if we go farther to the left... Uh, I think we actually wanted to go that way. Because there's like an incomplete bridge or something over to the left, I think. And it'll prevent you from getting to level 3. Could be remembering wrong, but... Ooh, yes! I don't know if anybody actually, um... Like, who paid attention to that Zelda timeline video that I made, but I felt like it was something I just had to make. After all this time. Pointing out how convoluted and stupid it all is. Gets even stupider when, uh, you realize Link Between Worlds is actually canon, somehow. I think Nintendo even came out and admitted, like, Oh, we're back here, good. Um, that... Tears of the Kingdom doesn't even make sense on their own timeline. Which I, I, Zach has told me, yeah, that makes perfect sense that it doesn't work at all, knowing what he knows about the game. He hasn't tried to spoil anything for me, of course. He doesn't want to do that. Yep. We want to get across this river, and I think there's a bridge above. I never really cared much about the timeline or anything, but... Well, I guess it was kind of invested in it back in the day when it, you know, there was only like seven games and it mattered. Because, like, they kept referencing stuff. It was weird. Um, we did buy the blue candle. I, um, can't get the big shield. I remember seeing that video. You and so many other Zelda enthusiasts made videos like that. Yeah, it used to be important. Ain't important anymore! Nobody cares. Yeah, I don't even need that. You know, um, actually, let's go down. There was another cave thing over here. Tombstone. Okay. You know what? Normally you can anger them. I'm surprised I didn't. What was that about? Tombstone. Probably just some sort of hint. As if you need hints to be cryptic in a game like this. Give me the money. Boom. Alright, what do we got? What the heck? I think some of these you could attack the fire or something weird too. Anyway. Anyway. Now I think we gotta go down. Say, I'm gonna nope right out of this area. Yup! Level 3. At least I think this is level 3. <clears throat> Takes a while to load actually on Famicom. Level 3. My sprite actually changes colors in here, too. It's based on color limitations of the system, by the way. I'm surprised that, um... They allowed him to keep that. I, I kind of like these colors better. Now that I've seen him. He looks a little more, uh, flesh-toned. Oh my god, keep my beam, keep the beam, keep the beam. Oh, right, the boomerang is gonna destroy these. Um... You have to bring a letter to the lady in those rooms to have an option to pick from two items. Which I assume will be the heart? Oh, you have to blow him up first. Ah, he shot towards me! That sucks. Yeah, they, they explode in any direction. That's, that's unfortunate. Just in case. Yeah! That's why you do it. Sometimes you even clear a room and you have to, like, push stuff. Dark Nuts! This is awesome. Um, can I get you from any angle with this thing? No. Alright, so... Oh, God. These things are so hard to kill in this game. Mmm... 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, bombs might work. I don't know. This is totally the Zelda game you all wanted to see somebody stream today, right? We already got the key out of here, so forget it. Oh god, I gotta get through this, though. Um... Mm. Man, you miss with the blue boomerang, and it goes on forever. Well, now we gotta do this with three hearts. One hit. Two. You take a whole heart, too, and you get me. I can only take one heart. No, I can't even take one heart from each. Well, now I could. Got a double shot there. It's pretty good. Oh my god, this analog. Good. You better give me something for killing these guys. Nothing. Bombs do wonders to Dark Nuts. I know. Oh, I should have done that. Alright. Can a boomerang kill a bat? Yes. I'm gonna do that. Open the door. What a win. Oh my god, no. Good. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Joe. Just, just don't even. Don't even. Probably should have tried doubling them up. Alright, I'm gonna save some bombs here. I can't blow all of them. He's actually gunning for me. Okay, stop it. Hmm. What? Did he block the whole attack? Whoa! How many hits are you taking? They took three before, didn't they? This is stupid that I can't, like... Ah! Oh my god, I was, I was in him. I was in him, Cameron. I was in him. I was in him. I was inside of him. Holy crap! I think that's Dungeon Boss, by the way. Which means we would go back if I, I actually got in the room. The question is, do I fight my way into the room? Is it worth blowing the bombs? Just for killing Dark Nuts. They're just regular enemy drops. I'm waiting for a good, like, random opening to just gun it for the door. As soon as that puppy garter gets off of it over there. Get off of the door. I don't think I can drop bombs here, can I? That's hot. Oh yeah, this room in particular, don't you want to take on, uh, what, seven Dark Nuts at once? What was, like, the scariest thing that Twilight Princess Link ever did? Did, like, what? Oh, oh my god, three Dark Nuts at once? Four, actually. You could go back into that if you know what I'm talking about. This isn't doing crap. I gotta get past them. Oh my god. Get past them. Just get past them. Okay. This is actually important. We need this. Just kill the bats. Kill the bats from afar. Nope. No. Kill the bats. Kill the bats. Kill the bats. Kill the bat. Fine. Touch the raft. I have the raft. Okay, good. This is actually important for progressing. I knew they were guarding something really important. Whoa, that was strange. Why did I just spawn? Because you can get screwed. That was actually good. I'm glad they thought of that. Only got one bomb left. I dropped all those bombs in there. It didn't even matter. Cool. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Ah! Clearing this room might matter. Get the sparkies away from me. Nothing. Was hoping that uh, there'd be some reason. This is them just trying to screw with me here. Shoot. Okay, fine, I'm just taking it. Mm -hmm. Killing him might have mattered. Where's that bat? Yeah, just to, just to try and... Yeah, okay, okay. 
Okay. Mmm. Pop. 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 Mm hmm. Give me something. Give me something. Sure. All right. Um. Well. Mmm. Looks like the way out of here correctly is um, gonna be to the west of here, so we don't want to go that way. Do I really have to push everything from every angle, or get lucky with double shotting these? I'm really gonna have to do this with like no health. No. Sounds so weird. <sighs> Use bombs wisely. Drop a bomb on his face. Ah! Uh, well, at least they're giving you the key back that you spent to get here. Okay. You know what? Just to say I did it, I don't think anything else is gonna spawn here. Oh, it opens the door! I didn't even realize they locked me in. Thanks, old man who just lives inside of this dungeon. Well, we say dungeon. But a dungeon is for imprisoning somebody. Or something. As far as I'm aware, nothing's actually imprisoned here. You know, I, I had to point out how stupid the story of this first one is. How, like, what, Ganon took over. And then... There we go! Oh, it's the swastika level! What is that noise? What's making that noise? Is that my health? Oh god, I have to kill three dark nuts? Are you nuts? And dark? Are you dark? Oh god, so yeah, like, what was the original story? It's it's absolutely stupid. <laughs> there goes that. Um, so anyway, make it all the way to the top corner of the swastika. We already got the raft out of here, so... At least getting my health back is, is good enough. Um, so Ganon takes over. And Impa decides to, to keep Ganon from getting it. Or to, really, to challenge a true warrior... Who wants to uh, save the kingdom? Oh my god, it's never worth it. Don't even fight those. Um, to shatter the Triforce and hide them in dungeons all over. So the bad guys didn't do this, is my point. The good guys did. They took the Triforce and hid it all over for really no reason other than just to test Link, test his patience. Here we are again. Now I got two hearts because I tried to poke a jelly. All right, two hits. It really is four hits. So yeah, the bomb will do nothing if you get it from the front. Ow! This is going really well. Mmm. Tongues out. Ah, uh, nope. Wow. This game's hard. <laughs> So, you can notice, uh, even if you're not listening to it, that this is the Famicom version because the font is actually slightly different. We did play Zelda 1 earlier. And if I guess you noticed, the font is slightly different. Um, I should probably try bombing those Dark Nuts. God, there's like no good way out of this room. The problem is like, you see this, like you can... As you swing, you could, like, turn and hit another direction. And that happens all the time where, like, I'll, I'll attack one direction and try and run. And now Link is aiming the other direction. Good. Uh, yep, just ignore them. Get out. Go to the right. Get out. We're getting close to the boss in here. I don't remember who this one is. This might actually be Gleelock. No, it's just this room makes that sound. All right. Use bombs wisely. Use bombs wisely. Yo, they were even walking straight into that. Why'd that work? All right, fine. I'm just going to poke this one then. 
I can do it. I can fight a single Dark Nut. Oh my god, can I? Oh my god! One. Two. Three. Four! Got my bombs back, too. The symbol uh, is the way, but the Nazis reverse the direction. Right, I, I, I know, I know. Ooh! Nazis effectively stole all of what they were- Oh my god, this room is terrible! Who did this? No! Who did this? This is butts, man. This is some serious butts. Oh my god. Oh my god, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. These are so much worse than the ones in the later Zelda games, where you can actually predict where they go. They just opened the way out? Get up! Alright, here's the boss room. Oh no, it's, it's freaking manhandler. How am I gonna fight that? <laughs> I have nothing to fight that! Um... Oh... We heard manhandle earlier, that was the different... It was a different room. I could throw bombs at him, but there's seriously like no... What if I burnt him? Yeah, that's not doing anything. Okay, so we got over 100 rupees. Oh, whoever made this game, who hurt you? Shigeru Miyamoto, who hurt you? Ugh. All right, you know, God, I need more health. Do I have to actually kill those dark nuts now to open that door? Or can I just gun it now? It's like I did it once. Nothing is dropping anything. There's a way to game like how certain enemies drop stuff, by the way. It's kind of weird, I don't understand it. Well, it's really based on, like, counting the enemies. And, like, what type of enemy you kill in certain brackets. See, I killed everything and I got nothing. Bombs. Manhandler goes down to bombs. Guys, the door. Get away from the door. Get, get away from the door. Get away from the door. Get away from the door! 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 Yeah, you're really close to him, that's all it is. You're just one tile away, so you can hear him in that room. You actually have to kill the Dark Nuts in order to get to him. This was ridiculous. How am I supposed to... Boom. Two in one shot! Ah! That was baloney! I like that bomb sound. How are you just taking these? One. Yeah! Oh my god! This is level three. Like, three. Are you out of your mind? I beat this. I swear I did. I think the game gets a lot easier as far as it go. Also, um, like, the, as far as it goes. But also, um, it'll get easier in the sense that if you're paying attention with a map... Oh my god, I seriously have to clear this room each time. Uh, Joe, it's something about Link to the Past. Sorry, I'm like, really focusing. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm just gonna throw bombs and hope for the best. Um, though he can't hit me. Whoa! Whoa! I got all four in one go? Uh, like in Link to the Past, when you stun an enemy, you always get bombs, and smashing a frozen enemy, you always get magic jars. Alright, there's like ways to game it. Ba -na -na -na, ba -na -na -na. Where's level 4? I think you need the raft to get to it. If I remember correctly. <clears throat> it was them trying to do like a little bit of that Metroidvania-ish action. To uh, control where the player is needs to be. Oh god, these things are horrible. But I've got my beam back and we're good. Um, now I think the arrows cost about 100 rupees. Am I remembering correctly? That might be better than Big Shield. 
I don't remember what you need big shield for anyway. I mean, he doesn't have a shield, so... See how far that got him. Sorry, you get rupees from stunning enemies. In this game? I don't think so in this game, but... I don't know. Feels like an episode of Dragon Ball all over again. Use Raph to get to level 4, yes. I just need to figure out where level 4 is. And where Raft can be used. I think there's like a little uh, point where you can walk across. It should be pretty obvious. Well, there goes that. Oh my god. This game is one of the worst control sets I've ever played. Oh, hey! It's only 80. Yeah. I'll take the arrow, son. Alright, we're a little better now. Not much, but a little bit. I'll have to go back. Oh. Well, this is this end is very dead. My god, they take a lot. No, I'm Link to the Past. Link to the Past does all the weird, crazy stuff. I finally got Kim to play that, by the way, for the first time. Just uh, the other day. I stunned you! I guess they all go they all go down together. All for one and one for all. Mm, mm, mm. That was worth my time. Ow! Ah What a win. Ah shop now Oh in the blue ring. Dude. If only I had the cash now. Oh, well, oh, and the meat, too, is also another important one to give to somebody else, but... Uh, there are cheaper shops in this game for the big shield. I know there was uh, shops with different prices all over, um, but I think that was a good price for the arrows. I think someone was charging 100 somewhere else, but... Yeah, boy, do we want this. I think that's um your damage upgrade. Or your, your, your defense is what I meant to say. That's also really good. You give it to another character. Buying keys, for the most part, I think it's just a waste. You should, if you keep exploring everywhere enough, you should never need to buy a key. I'm pretty sure you never need to buy a key. It's just in the game just in case you, like, you got into a situation where, um, you screwed yourself over. That's where you use the raft. That thing. Whoa! God, that was close. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, blue ring. I always get early. Blue ring is really important. <laughs> hey, you know what? While we're here... This reminds me. If you guys haven't already, and you enjoy yourself some Zelda, uh, watch um, The Legend of Neil. It was this, like, special, I think, on Comedy Central or something for, like, a long time ago. Um, it's hilarious. I'm already dead. I always save state for getting rupees from getting money-making game. Um, you know, I think this would be the first opportunity I've ever... Well, no, I also... Did I play this on NSO as well? I don't think so. I played this on the Game Boy... I'm just, uh, yeah, Game Boy. The GameCube uh, pack-in disc... Um, I also played this, uh, I bought it again for the Nintendo Wii Virtual Console. Um, neither of those will give you, um, save states. So, this, I was just saying, I think this is my first time actually playing this game where I would have the opportunity to even use a save state. But yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, what is this? Oh my god! And, and you, you attack it, and bats come out. Which take... Two swings? But still, if I defeat them, nothing happens. What if I push the blocks? What am I expecting to have happen here? I don't know. They can't do something in every room. Let's open the key door. Got a Oh, no. These, these types of rooms are the worst. She can't see where you're freaking stepping. No! Mm. 
Okay. Um. Uh, okay, good. I say good, but... You know, just give me that. Just, it's worth it. Just touch it now. We got into the room. We don't have to kill all the enemies. Do we? What happens if we do? We kill the enemies. I don't, I don't, mm. It might have spawned something, but... With, uh, with one heart left, eh. The goodie was already in the room. I think. That's the thing. It, it's how the game functions. Okay, come here. This I'm so glad we went back and found this boomerang upgrade. This thing's amazing. Uh, the hard part about these push and block things is they only go in one direction. This room already had a key in it. It's probably the end of that. Oh, boy. I don't know if Lantern actually helps you in here, by the way. You'd think so. Yeah, it does. Well, now we know that. Alright. Good. Yeah. Good. Eh. Okay. Mm. Nothing! <laughs> Why do they do this? Oh, well, it was just like a dangerous room to get through, I see. Alright, another key. Money-making game. Anyway, that's what I, that was from. It's from uh, Legend of Neil. Like, money-making game. It's a good time. It is a very inappropriate show. And uh, for that reason, I think you would all like it a lot. Um, you can watch all of it online for free, by the way. You don't have to, like, pay to watch it anywhere, or, like, get Hulu or something. It's, um... It, it, it is, like, surprisingly low budget. And then, like, by the end of it, it gets, like, the, uh, an actual budget, and it's pretty fun. Don't care what's in here. Apparently, I got a blue candle. Whoa. Blue candle actually, like, hurts these guys. Whoa. Why can't I blue candle again? That's kind of weird. Uh, uh, should I go across the water? Let's not. Oh my god. Okay, good. We can see in here. Oh, I can't raft in here. I thought that was the purpose of the raft. Oh well. Need that money bag. Well. This might be a good uh, point to stop anyway. I have to stop at one point regardless. Also, it is about time for the baby to be waking up. Um, I am not sure what I'm going to be streaming for next week. Like I said, I, we just finished beating the game. Uh, I just haven't done a retro roulette with you guys in forever, so here we are. Um, and I actually kind of started this the other day, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep going. I enjoy this game. Is uh, is painfully difficult as it is sometimes, especially with the controls. Yeah, I gotta see. I guess I'll go one more life. Um... Oh, yeah, the bow and arrow would probably help us a lot. Uh, hold still, all of you. Yeah, just forget it, because killing him didn't do anything. Um, yeah, I'd love to play Zelda. I'd love to try the new Pokemon. It's a money thing, honestly. We just can't afford that right now. I've had a lot of, a lot of expensive health problems lately, unfortunately, so it's... Um, Got a very expensive bill out of nowhere. Even started looking it up thinking, like, this can't be legal to charge, like, you don't tell somebody, like, how much you're gonna uh, charge them, and then just, like, give them this ridiculous surprise bill for, like, 700-something dollars. Ladder lets you cross shore water. Hmm. I always thought they were the same thing. Stupid me. Maybe I got to the point where I got ladder and I was like, what's that thing good for? I already have one. Mm. Okay. Uh, it looks like killing them all is going to get us the room to the right, but that might just be a room for a key. Well, if it is, we still want to get it. You got to pay attention to get all the... Oh my god! Open the... Kill the... Boom. 
Uh, what's in here? Oh my god, like likes. Um, burn. Is it gonna work? Ah! Uh, can I like do that like once a, a room or something? Oh my god, get off! Okay, let's try again. No, you just can't do it again. Okay, um. I hate those little random things. The balls. They're the worst. No. Oh my god. Get off! Oh, it's got my shield. Or it's got my sword. Does it have my sword? That can happen? Where is my sword? No, I got my sword now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. It probably had my sword at one point. Kill these. No, 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 no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nothing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mm. Oh my god, get in there, get... Don't you guard that! Stop it! Mm. Playing this myself on uh, NSO, but on second quest, I've apparently, uh, have a- Oh my god, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention and not die from something stupid. Yes, because you needed this to beat the dungeon. I've apparently beaten three dungeons, and I randomly stumble into the sixth one. It can happen. I think that's what happened to me, too. I, um, I played my first run completely out of order. I didn't play the second dungeon until, like, it was, like, one of my last ones I did. I could not find it for some silly reason. Well, let's open the door. Certain death. Hey, right, the map is gonna help. Well, the map's right there. Oh, right, that's just what I've charted. Oh, good. It's just these things. Assuming that I don't accidentally get killed. Yeah, but ladder only takes you one tile away. So that's a wasted key. Sword temporarily disabled by the smiley faces. Smiley faces. Not my sparkle balls. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh my god. What am I thinking? I'm gonna walk right across. Red takes sword and blue restores it, if I remember. Hmm. Oh my god. Somehow didn't kill me. Joe, do you know why, um, only sometimes I'm allowed to use my, uh, blue candle? Oh my god! Stick it, boomerang. All right, all right, all right. Whatever. Oh! I'm gonna tell it continue just for the sake of getting my state here. And you just lose um, quite a bit. Can't think of the right name. We never got to play um, Mysterious Marisama Castle. Really sucks that this wants me to flip discs frequently like that. I'll have to find uh whatever I did on uh, RetroArch to tell it to switch discs, because I got it to work on Mysterious Mirror Summit Castle, this plays on the second half of the disc, but it was hard. As you can see, like, it took me, like, 20 minutes or so to finally get this to work, and then when I did, I locked the save, like, I'm never doing that again. Hitbox decided to take a break. Yeah, I was, like, boomeranging right through them. Anyway, this thing's a lot of fun, this system. Was able to put all sorts of stuff on here. Maybe next time I'll just showcase the uh, the Super Nintendo. Yes, blue candle is once a screen, but red candle is multiple times. Interesting. Okay. Didn't know that. Or I'm sure I knew it at one point, I just forgot. That sucks. Is this like a font up here? Display, options, ah, language. Legal, notices, manuals. Manuals. Here's your original game manual. Ah, it's just a link to a website. 
I'd love to see original manuals of um, these games, but you know. By the way, um, why are we not playing on this? Screw Pixel Perfect, we want a CLT CRT filter. Yeah? Yeah, like, let, let me just really quickly, I can't believe I didn't have that set. Let's quickly, like, just, uh, sure. What was that, 8-4? Oh, it's harsh. It is a harsh CRT filter. Ew. I actually don't like that. And I like CRT filters. I don't know. I guess I'm doing this now. I'm gonna beat Mario 1 before we... We started it today. You know, why not? Mm, don't be greedy. Stupidest place to die in this level is on that Goomba. This is the harshest CRT filter I think I've ever seen. The blur is awful. Now, I like CRT, usually. But this is, uh, this is rough. Oh, no. Good. All right, see you around, Alex. If I ever get to Bloodborne, I will get back to it. See if I can help out going through New Game Plus, and it hurts. I can imagine Bloodborne New Game Plus would be very difficult. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I don't trust if I can walk under there or not. You probably can. This is one of the few NES games where um, your hitbox and hurtbox is actually kind of in your favor. If you can outspeed him, this is the way across. Otherwise, Hammer Brothers are just freaking luck. Probably should have ran under him. That's how I die in this. Hammer Brothers, right at the end. If you can outspeed him, you don't have to worry about it at all. Yeah, once I played at Dark Souls and then went to Bloodborne. I think that was my mistake. If I played Bloodborne earlier, maybe I would have appreciated it a lot more. But just knowing what Dark Souls is, and I'm like, this is the spiritual sequel? Oh my god! I got a 1-up out of that. Alright. See, Bowser's Castle is actually not that hard. I say that as in, like, 8-4 Bowser Castle is not that hard. Once you know where you're going. I'm, I'm curious, could you actually run on the top of this? No. That would make it too easy. Or it would kill you, because you'd get to the end and there's no way back in. But anyway, balloon fighter physics. As I mentioned it. See how things all come around? Alright, here's my thought. Darn it! I was gonna try and outrun him. Jump. Jump. You- You can't get under them that fast, man. I'll at least burn out lives. Why they put a hammer, brother, at the very end? Like, that's just mean. Buttholes. I think I gotta turn out the CRT filter. I mean, I appreciate they made one, but... This has to be the blurriest one I think I've ever seen. I mean, obviously you want it to blur. But I can't even, like, see the sprites anymore. I don't know. I'm complaining about it, but maybe it's fine. I'm surprised I had it off for so long. There we go. Me and my one coin. Can you actually stomp an enemy uh, underwater, like a blooper? Because you can stomp them on land. Weirdly enough, because you fight bloopers and cheap cheeps on land, which you can stomp, but you can't stomp in the water. I think that's just the rule. All right, here's my thought. Wait for the plant to go down. Run. Jump. Ah, the fireball's timing, man. If I, I, I let go of my jump early just because of the fireball. And now I'm de freaking determined. I guess I am going to beat this today. Again. It's the best way to end this. Just like that. I can do it. Can't believe that happened. I don't know a better way to make that jump, by the way. That was a mean start to the level. Like, I was saying, like, oh, it's not that bad. That's a really mean start. I've seen people do that. That jump right there is a run, and I don't know how they do it. 
You can also, um, clear a lot of Piranha Plant jumps without even slowing down, because apparently Mario's hitbox is really small. Hurtbox. Different. No. Hitbox. His hitbox. Hitbox and hurtbox, it's all the same thing. But, uh, depending on, like, whether it's, you know, attacking or taken. Right, if I can get one coin, I got another life, too. We gotta find wherever that coin was that I got somewhere. This music gets stuck in my head a lot. I don't know why, but it does. All right, so that's my best shot here. Don't let the Hammer Brothers spawn. Wait for the plant to go down. Run. Hubba, 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 hubba. He's right there, man. He's right there. I swear I've done this. Like, not even with um, save states. I have done this, like, legit, too. For some, I don't know why. This is, like, the only NES game where I'm like, I gotta do it legit. Probably because I'm pretty sure this is the first game I've ever played. Um, and I'm pretty sure I actually played it on NES, too. At a cousin's house. Never got anywhere near this far back then, but... Um, how, did I, how far did I get? Well, I'm, I'm sure I found the initial warp pipe uh, world trick thing. Whoa! Oh my god. I've never died to a cheap cheap in there. That was close. Bum, 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 bum. This really threw me off when I got here the first time. I was like, why are we underwater? This is like a weird gauntlet of everything you've had to do up to this point. All culminating in the worst part here, where I keep dying. Right. Should have jumped farther. But even still, like if, if he doesn't get me, it's gonna be the fireball. How did I do this? I had a thought. I was like, maybe that's how they do it. Maybe they back up, get a little speed, and then jump after that, but... I'm gonna do what works, do what's safe. How many times am I gonna die on this stupid stage? At least it's not one of those stages where, like, it keeps looping. Actually, it is. It will keep looping if you don't take the correct exit. I don't know what I was thinking there. Those stages drive me nuts. You have to memorize which is the correct way to go, otherwise it goes on forever. If you just keep running to the right, that is not the answer. That's why you have to even... This is the mean one. Get in that pipe. Because if you don't get in that pipe, you're going to keep looping. And you'll figure it out pretty quick. Something's not happening correctly. Speedrunners do some wild stuff messing with that, um, that segment, too. You can, like, push the camera forward just a little bit to make it think that you're uh, on the next warp pipe on screen. And you go through the last one. And it will take you to this point because it hasn't loaded. All right, already loaded the la next one. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Come on now. No. Oh my god, it's the Ah, oh, he threw a short one. When has he ever done that? Oh my god. I was there. I was there. That's how you do it. Oh my god. Nothing to prove. No reason to do this. And yet, here I am anyway. Hope y'all love this music. It's the only track that I'm like, don't like this one. It's that one weird track in Mario 1, the castle. Though it's certainly, it's certainly, um, oh my god, I've never been eaten by him either. It certainly makes you anxious. Well, what is that, four? Now, here's my fifth try. All right, come on, little little jump, man. Got your pearler over there. I gotta find a good spot for you on the wall. Good, good. This is like cruelly hidden too. If I had the uh, the CRT filter off, it'd be a lot harder to see where that jump was. Buzzy beetle. You know, I've never beaten on round two of Mario either. You know, just like Zelda, there's a round two. Mm -hmm. Uh, requiring you to, um, play the whole game again, except enemies are a little more difficult. Goombas are all replaced by buzzy beetles. Bunch of crap like that. Alright, alright. 
right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Speedrunners can do this game in like four minutes, 59 seconds, or something stupid. And here's me spending, uh, like, what, five, ten minutes just on this one stage? I can do it. I promise you. I've done it before. Y'all saw that footage. Maybe. If you watched the Playing With Myself episode on this game. I have a, uh, an epic battle with this game in this level. I've not gotten to do it live before. Actually, yeah, this would be the first time I'd start to finish actually show you guys the entire game, too. Ah, that's the, the guarantee coin. Must have got here at, like, 98 coins or something. Woo! Oh, that was close. Luckily, the um, piranha plants have the most forgiving hurt box I've ever seen. Like, look it up. It is really small. That's why you can, like, jump through them and stuff sometimes. Mario's is pretty accurate to where he is, but the piranha plants, it's pretty small. All right, go left. Wait for that. Maybe I should clear him. Ah, uh, he didn't throw it that time. Of course he didn't. Just gotta get a good opening. There! Why weren't you running? Why weren't you running? Oh my god, Mario. Like, you can hold B, and it's just a vague suggestion sometimes. He's like, mm. Like, there, if he chose not to run, I die. And then, it, random bad luck, I can just hit the wrong side of a Goomba. I think I played enough NES today. Boing. There, see, I swear, like, I landed on the same spot. <laughs> Is it just because, like, I'm on camera? I swear, like, it only took me, like, a minute or so to get this on recording. Well, not a minute or so, you know what I mean. Just to f get the footage I needed. Wow. I'm doing badly. Alright. Focusing. Clear the jump. Back up to land on a Goomba. No! I'm so good at games. I swear. I can do it! I can I can save the darn princess of the vegetable kingdom and That was a different game. I've still not even booted that one. <laughs> okay. 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 Weirdly enough, like that pipe right there, it's like it might be the only pipe in the game like this where if you touch the side of it, the piranha plant instantly disappears. Maybe because there's, like, another enemy on screen or something. And the game's, like, trying to load that. I don't know. I've never had that happen! Oh. Oh. Random. Bad. Luck. But anyway, yeah, there's a piranha plant in that pipe. I love the little sproing noise he makes when he's, uh... Jumping. I don't know, that's like such a satisfying little doing. Makes you feel, like, tiny and useless. And I like that. Alright. There's, like, no dying in this phase. I don't think I've ever died in this one. Eh, might have taken a random shot from this one right here before, but you shouldn't have to. You just be patient here. Nice! Oh, I even clipped into it the way um the speedrunner's supposed to. All right, here we go. Oh, he didn't throw anything. Come on, Bowser! Don't do anything nuts. Oh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna run over him. No! Oh, he came on the frame walking towards me. God, back to square one. 
I could have save stated where I was before. I just don't want to do that. I don't like doing that. It's like taking away the, uh, the whole experience. <laughs> the fight. The only times I've ever, like, really tried to say, well, there's probably a few when I think about it, but only time I remember needing to save state through something was, uh, whoa! The Ninja Gaiden bosses. There. All three games, all of the phases. They're all bad. Boom. For some reason, I keep thinking it's gonna be like that one. La 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 Not worth it. Though it's probably doable. I don't like probably doable. We're on our last life, I think. Alright. Alright. Nope, he's chucking early. Oh god, I'm lucky though! Alright. Give me a fireball and chase it! I had plenty of time to get under him. What happened? There was like slow down there. Did you see that? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I didn't expect to do this for 20 minutes. I swear, if I can't make it in this next one, I'm done. I should probably turn off the CRT scan lines. It's actually really hard to see. Alright, yeah, so 98, I see. So I get, um, a life in, um, two runs. Assuming I can get to that point each time. Yeah, like, that Piranha Plant's never there for me. It's weird that it actually ate me that one time. Like, every way you can possibly fail on this level, I'm finding a way to. And, like, I've never jumped on a Cheap Cheap in this one, either. Probably never played 8-4 uh, as many times as I have today. I swear it's not that bad, considering the stuff we were playing before. Okay. Alright. Don't give him a chance. Ah, I would have done it! I gotta do it the hard way now. I'm focusing on him and not the fire, then I focus on fire and not him, and... You know what be, like, makes this way easier is a fire flower. Did we have a power-up? And I don't think we had a power-up when he, uh, we actually started all this, did we? Oh, whoops. That's the one we want. Um... We might have. I think we actually had a fire flower. Could have actually tried seeing what happens if you kill Bowser at the very end with the Fire Flower. Well, he just falls into the lava. There's no decoy or anything, but... Yeah. Could have done that. Were it not for me and my Butterfingers. And then saving over it. Mm. Woo! That was close. Almost got a death in that room. Oh, well, not fast, but who cares? I'm not here to speedrun it. This is not for glory. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Oh! Well, I'm over here, at least. Come on, fire! Yes! Okay. Um. Um. I'm going under him. I'm going under. Ah! Why does he take so long to move? You saw that I, well, I, I'm sure you could see it, but I was pushing run right when he leapt up and Mario just like slow-mo runs, like starts to, starts to scoot. Like the game falls apart on me right when I get to the very end. And this is all, there, you saw him disappear that time? Got it on camera at least. And there's no other enemies there, I really have no idea what that's about. It's like this game really just does not want me to beat it on camera ever. I think I tried this in a hitbox episode too. Come on, get in there. 
I can do it. Blub. Blub, blub. I actually think the physics in this game for swimming are a lot better than Balloon Fighter, weirdly enough. He did mod them on top of it, but... Alright. Is that it? Am I done? Nope, we got two more. Alright. I swear, these two and I'm done. I really should have put the save state where it was, just for the sake of letting you see it. If, okay, I'll tell you what. If I can get to that point again, I'll put the save state there so I can stop playing this beginning a million times. I mean, I'd like to know, again, that I could do it still in one run, but I think I just got really lucky that one time and, like, the... It's all about that hammer, brother. Well, and apparently the, the lag, the slowdown, that's why I died to Bowser both of those times, which is really weird. I've never seen, like, slowdown like that on his fight. Which, it really, there should be slowdown anyway. I mean, he's throwing eight hammers at once and trying to breathe fire. Maybe that's what's slowing it down? But I don't remember slowdown ever in this game. Maybe that's just, uh, I don't know. Because it had more of a clear opening before. Go oh my god. Oh, got him! Okay, okay, you know what? I said I'd do it. I said I'd do it. Here you go. There. Whatever. Alright. Let's beat him. Watch, this is the time I'm gonna do it and it doesn't matter. <laughs> what even happened? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, I thought that was totally gonna be the time too, but... No, I'm, I'm barely nicking the guy. The, the trick is to get by him in this first moment. If you don't do it right away, you're gonna be suffering. Alright. He ain't low. Uh, quit chucking those at me. Oh my gosh, he charges you. This would have taken me so long. Alright, looks like I can't just go for it. Can't go for it there. A lot of the Bowsers, you'd be surprised, you can actually beat just by doing that. <laughs> Alright, well it worked last time. You gotta run immediately and jump. <laughs> now I'm now I'm just getting safe state happy. Alright. Alright, no. Alright, nope. Okay, his box must be huge. That that's the only explanation here. This box must be enormous. Alright, so don't go above him anymore. Just wait for the he saw that! I was running and he's like, duh, 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 going super slow under Bowser. I, the game is refusing to let me have this. I'm even safe stating. I'm practically cheating here. BAM! And he didn't slow down that time. I don't know. Whatever. Rank you, Mario. Your quest is over. We present you a new quest, press B, to select a world. But if you push B button, you just get sent back to the main screen again. Da -da. I don't know if this time it uh, is like already giving you buzzy beetles. Yep, it is. Good luck with that. Mhm. Mm well, I guess I can play that now if I really wanted to. Now well, I'm here on one one. We worked for this. Let's enjoy the pain we just gave ourselves of now buzzy beetles instead of um. Does my score? No, of course my score score doesn't stay the same. But did you like permanently just like change your copy of Mario Brothers? You know, now I'm thinking about it. Like, is the game perpetually, like, like this now? I kind of stunk. Could have gotten one-ups out of that. I think. I think you can get a one-up fast enough with this. Oh, well. Okay. But still. There you go. You got it. Uh, I you might as well save that I'm running through that now on the Buzzy Beetle version. Whatever. So, that really looked terrible um the crt scan line is really strong i'm surprised they even had it on pixel perfect for so long normally i don't really like that i i want to run crt but it looked really wonky um but it maybe it was just too strong maybe there's still like a slider a slider that would let me 
to turn it down a little bit. But I'll turn it back to pixel perfect. Oh well, but either way, that is all the time I have for um, hit, uh, hit, bo hit, got hitbox. It's been going on for too long. Um, Retro Roulette. Next time, we might be doing this with my Super Nintendo, and if I can get this working properly, we might even mess around with my uh, 3DS. The one that has, like, freaking everything else on it. But anyway, that is all the time I have for the stream. Thank you all for joining me. Remember to like the videos, excuse me, and sur uh, subscribe for more. Oh. And I will see you guys in the next stream. Bye.